Jay, catch. Easy there, Slick. I can always, always find something at the Game Room Trading Post. Really, how can you not? Dude, I mean, come on, you got some yeah. good ones. I mean, Bandai. I mean, huh? freaking Bandai? Come on, man. It's like, come on. I would probably be willing to come up to probably about 20, 20 bucks on Panda Dragon. Why are you laughing? I'm being serious. <laughs> and we still gotta fit a Heidi and a Jared in here somehow. Hang on, bananas. Nice shutting the door on the camera. Hey. We are taking a small, well, a big road trip to the land of Canada. We've been planning this trip for months. Everybody's got their vacation time from work. You know, we're, we've rented this SUV. I got my passport. You're gonna get a fucking in your picture, dude. Look. <laughs> What's wrong with my <laughs> What's wrong with my photo? Dude, you look Going to Con Bravo? I've never been out of the country before. He looks like a He looks like a fucking like <laughs> serious <laughs> video. Oh, they're the same thing, aren't they? <laughs> I always wanted to go to Canada my whole life. I really haven't gone up far that north, so I'm hoping it's not too cold. Now, we decided to take a road trip as opposed to flying because A, it's cheaper, and plus we can go to lots of game stores. That being said, it's gonna be about 30 hour trip. So yeah, I, I'm looking forward to it. I think it could be fun. There's not many things that I hate about doing long road trips. Uh, the one thing, most important thing is uh, that I'm away from my son for so long. I miss you. I'm be gone nine days, bro. Huh? I'm gonna be gone nine days. Uh, I can't call in for a week straight. Uh, they'd expect a doctor's note. So I'm gonna have to use some vacation time. Actually, I'm using all my vacation time for this trip. Can you stop picking your toenails right in front of me like that, please? Can you please, for fuck's sake, stop picking your toenails? <laughs> I've never actually been to Canada or even outside of the United States before. Thankfully, I was fortunate enough to have my friends Billy and Jay offer myself and my girlfriend a ride. I can't tell if Jared's gonna really enjoy this trip. Gauging after about the first 20 nut jokes that we're gonna do on this trip, I'll be able to tell if he really likes me or not. I know the ride is going to be long, which is going to suck, but these guys also know where all the good game stores are, so that part I'm looking forward to. It'll probably be worth it. Game chasers? More like lame chasers. More like gay chasers. Am I right? First up on our route is going to be Game Room Trading Post, Malvern, Arkansas. This is one of the most impressive game stores I've ever seen. Well, last time we were here at uh, Game Room Trading Post, Billy found that Metal Warriors for five bucks. I caught him slipping with the Metal Warriors. Got it for five bucks, hoping Jimmy doesn't punch me in the face. It's, it's whatever. <laughs> it's just whatever. <laughs> well, at least he's uh, apparently in good spirits about the whole thing. But hey, it was their price on that game. It wasn't mine. See? She's a handful, the kind of handful I like. You, dude, dude, it don't work, man. Yeah, I'm sorry. Um. Actually, I saw this as old as the and this looks just like the same color green as little Samson. I, I like, got excited. Oh, Zoda. I can always, always find something at the Game Room Trading Post. Really, how can you not? And first, right off the bat, Chip and Dell. But I did see these games up on the shelf and I knew I had to have them. I have Chippendale Rescue Rangers already. However, this copy looks near mint. The label is perfect condition. The one that I have, not so much. Now I'm also seeing here Batman Returns on the NES. Pretty uncommon game, you don't see it very often. And Blackthorn. 
Blackthorn's a Super Nintendo game. Now Blackthorn I don't have, never played it. However, it does look really cool. And I actually saw ProGR's review on it and it looked like a really cool game. I saw these on the shelf and I knew I had to have them. <laughs> really, that's what you wanted to tell me? Huh? So so stupid. You're so stupid. <laughs> this is the most games I've seen in a store, period. I'll be damned if I'm getting caught slipping today, so I'm just grabbing every game I can and making a maybe pile. One of these is Jay's. It's not all mine. Son, you know. <laughs> One of my goals in collecting is I want all the Nintendo 64 wrestling games complete in box. There's a couple I'm seeing here that I need. I think I'm gonna pick them up and I don't care what price he gives me. I'm gonna try to get it cheaper because, well, it's a cheap bastard, I guess. A box more skins, five bucks. Two, five, seven, three. Fourteen. Three. <laughs> he said fourteen. <laughs> Two fifty. I'm just, I'm just being cheap. Two twenty-five. Every time we come here, we always. How do you go down? Three. <laughs> Two seventy-five. Three. Two eighty. You fucking penny pitches. Three. Two eighty-five. Make me feel like I'm getting a deal here. Look, that's the name of the game. You get as much as you can, as cheap as you can. If, 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 if look, if we're paying retail prices, we'd be broke. Er. Well, sports games, sports, sports. Man, dude, just pick out what you want, man. What the hell are you eyeballing this? So freaking that you. It... No, I'm just a cheap son of a bitch. That's well, no sh to. Yes. You are a son of a bitch. We'll give you that. <laughs> J Jimmy's good though. He's working with me. It is. All right. It's heavier it's in there. What are we at? Two, two fifty on the sports games. Oh damn! Just, dude, just, just the sports, the sports games boxed. I'll do two fifty. Okay. The rest of them, I have to stay at ten, unless y'all get a decent quota. Huh? Gotcha. I have to. Billy and myself, we played the uh, the wrestling games on Nintendo 64 a lot, um, and those were very good. Young adult memories, <laughs> not even childhood. Oh, Ooh, I didn't even see all these. Yeah, Let's go back there and look. Yeah, come on. I want to come too. <laughs> uh, I'm first on it. Two fifty. Unbelievable. That was awesome. That really just happened. Please don't do that again. He does. He doesn't have to do it again. He's already over here. I love me boxed NES games. Double Dragon's a great series, so I'd love to have a complete Double Dragon three. And if the price is right, I'm gonna pick this one up too. Well, one day I just don't come up to work. Mike comes up here, the store's closed, keys and money's left at the house. Next thing I'm five grand richer and I'm gone. I'm just very excited to be a part of this trip. I feel very rewarded. I'm just trying to get this tape off without ripping up. Uh, WD-40. WD-40, trust me. WD okay. Things are winding down and I have picked a huge stack of games that I'm just wanting to get. <laughs> nice. Uh, 65. That's saving me 10 bucks, man. Dude, I mean, come on, you got some yeah. good ones. 25. I mean, Bandai. I mean, huh? freaking Bandai? Come on, man. That's like, come on. If we're ever, like, out game chasing together, Eric will always, like, look at me. You know, see what I think, see what I would do. What about 25? <laughs> Don't be scared. Hey, well, this is how you negotiate. Yeah, they, this Let's is how you do it. 40. No. You came up way too quick, too soon. Well, I'm new to this. Oh, Eric. Dude, I'll do 60. 60. I don't really have that much money to waste this early on the trip, so I'm hoping to get a good deal. Would, would you me, move? Would get you off me, dude. Each? No, I will not do 250. I'll do 3 piece. I'll do 3 piece. 3 piece? 3 piece. All right. I'm not going to refuse it. I think I'm going to go for it. 45 bucks, so about 3 bucks each, but it was something that I didn't have, like Indiana Jones. RBI Baseball 3, Roadrunner, Beetlejuice. Beetlejuice on the NES is one of those titles that you really don't hear anything about. It's not that great, but it's one of those games I always wanted to play. Um, it's a $10 mission fee and... um you say? <laughs> for, for newcomers. Newcomers. Oh, that's fine. Oh. I always want to go see the back room or the top room, the back top room, always. You want to buy my Panzer Dragoon Saga for the Sega, Sega Saturn? Ten yes. bucks. Complete. Ten bucks. Five hundred. HJ. <laughs> <laughs> I, I would probably
probably be willing to come up to probably about 20, 20 bucks on Panzer and Dragoon. 20, 30 dollars. Why are you laughing? I'm being serious. <laughs> I'm, I'm being serious. I knew I had to have it. It's a loose a ET. That's a coaster. You should pay him to take it off. You the should. Hands. And I'm offering to take it for nothing. Mm, you dollar. Take it. Do mm, <laughs> mm, dollar. I don't know about that, Yimmy. New. Dude, it's two dollar trip. Billy had to have Damn it. Right. Hey, Little Mermaid box. Hey, actually, hey, actually. All right, here we go. Here we go. You see that? It's a kick ass. That truly is fucking a. That's fucking great A N sixty four. Well, for wrestling games. Yeah. Catch. Easy there, slick. Let me see those. That was that one. Don't have the buck or the insert. You got so many WrestleMania two thousands in the box, but I want the best condition box, the best condition label. Buy it this morning. Pay twenty bucks for it. Pay twenty bucks for what? Uh, Ninja Gaiden trilogy. Wait, what? I'll give you 30. Nope. No. Hell no. 50. No. No offer. <laughs> no, I've been looking for that game for 20 years. No. Damn you it. got stolen from me when I was a kid. No. How much did you fight it for, Billy? Uh, no. Uh, I bought it for 25 bucks through the store. Billy bought it for five. Wait, wait, you bought it market. in this store for 25 bucks? Yes. Okay, well, now I don't feel bad for good finding the Metal Warriors for five then. Okay, well, that's cool. How much? I wouldn't buy it. I said you had. How much did you say for that? Bucks. You ever use oh, one of these? Yeah, if you don't know what Bleem is, Bleem is an emulator for your PC to play PlayStation 1 games. That's how people used to emulate PS1 games, and that was how I first played Final Fantasy Tactics. This is how I first played Final Fantasy yeah. Tactics. It's a PS1 emulator for your PC. I kind of want it. I'll buy Bleem for a dollar. Uh, hell no. <laughs> Why not? You got like eight of them. Dude, Bleems are fucking rare. He had a stack of them, like eight or so, it's right there in the corner, clearly not being bought. Five. Two bucks. Five two bucks. bucks. Five bucks. Okay, I would three. Do two bucks. I'll make you the middle do three. Three bucks. All right, I'll do three. See? Three bucks. See? Three. Uh, you know what? I have no purpose for this, but it's because of Bleem I got to know Final Fantasy Tactics. <laughs> I saw Clash of Demon Head and I knew I had to have it. Man, you know how old some of that is? They're all f***ing taped. A lot of my parents had to tape a long time ago to keep people's fingers out of them. I did tape. Oh, now it comes out. No, 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 listen. Truth be told, it was orders from the higher ups. Like I said, this has been back, dude. It's like a conspiracy. It's like the Illuminati. I do know one thing, guys. It is after seven. Yeah. Already? Yeah, I'm ready yes. to get going. Need deep motherfuckers going four years strong. Got plenty of haters really wishing I didn't last this long. Went ahead and went with some uh, boxed uh, Nintendo 64 wrestling games. Um, I had a ton of fun with these growing up. Well, I was already an adult. Thanks, Dick. I just, I want all these boxed, so. $10. He knew he had to have them. Your mind. It's gonna be a running bit all, all weekend, all week actually. It was a good. All right, so uh, what, what can you do, do for me on these? I'm ready to check out here. I got my Double Dragon 3. I got my Batman Returns on NES. I got my Rescue Rangers on NES. I got my Blackthorn on Super Nintendo. And I also picked up a Clash of Demon Head on NES. I don't have it, so why not get it? Excuse me. Uh, Bob, uh, Blackthorn. Stop. Just stop. Everybody else is getting a deal cut. I think I should get a deal cut. Oh, no, oh, you're a stand-up oh. guy. Dude. You, you, you are. All right, you know what, Jimmy? You're, no, you're the I was favorite really person. Glad to miss you. I'm you're my meet favorite you, person. You. <laughs> I was really glad to meet you. I really regret meeting you, but it's okay. Why? <laughs> what? You know what I don't understand about this damn game? This one in Jurassic Park. Why the? F did they make a crappier version for the old yeah. NES and a cool version for the why, Super why, NES and yeah, Sega? Jimmy. Actually, I think the Batman Returns hey, on that old Jimmy. Nintendo is pretty cool. Jimmy. I mean, why? Jimmy, that's just the way game chasing go. What do you say? You gonna cut me a deal? You ready for this? No. Are you ready? 25. That's saving you 10 right there. Jimmy, you're not gonna believe this, but I actually had 25 in my head, and I'm not even gonna try to talk you down. Why? Because you're an outstanding guy, 
And uh, I got that Metal Warriors. I laughed when I seen it. I knew I knew it was worth a lot more than that. I mean, I, I knew it was. But in the honest market. <clears throat> I mean, I probably could have sold the game for 40, 50 bucks, but I would have set on it for a long time. And honestly, I mean, it's, you know. Uh, 25 bucks, I'll take that. Five bucks a game. Basically, you took $10 off the box Double Dragon 3. is normally 15, so I'm happy with that. What were you saying that you wanted this to look for for you? Um, Tales of Destiny 1. Can that game my stepdad bought for me back in 1998 one summer. He got it really, at, at, actually at J, uh, what is it, J and J, no, JR Video Game? Uh, Jar, Jar Nintendo. Yeah. Jar Nintendo. They actually bought that for me down there back in 1998. It's one of the ones that got stolen from me, and I would love if, if there's any possible way y'all could find it. Give me a phone call before you buy it. Let me know if they have it. And if it's in a decent price, I will hands down buy it. Jimmy will do. Keep an eye out for you, man. Gamer Trading Post, like always, did not disappoint. Went in there, we got some, some good deals and some games that we needed. It's a very good way to start off the trip. I think I did pretty good, honestly. Paid $10 for three complete box Rasslin 64 games. Rasslin, I'm happy with that. So just like always, on these long road trips, we're not gonna stop at a motel. We're just gonna keep th driving through the night and taking turns. Well, we're in Nashville. It's like 3 a.m. We just got done eating White Castle. I wasn't impressed. I've actually always wanted to come to White Castle. I gotta say, I think the frozen ones at Walmart are better than the fresh ones here at White Castle. We're actually on pace to get to Hamilton a little bit early than we anticipated. It's been kind of fun, I'm not gonna lie. It's been a lot of mom jokes, a lot of am I right? It's pretty quickly into the car ride that I just got into like that sort of zen state where it just... Um, <laughs> Is that on camera? Yeah, no. <laughs> and then Eric said something stupid and I got out of it. We asked everybody if they had any, if they had any felony, if they knew about felony or if they had felonies. DFW to Canada, felonies. Got any felonies? Oh, you fell on these nuts. Oh, over and over and over. <laughs> the entire way he's just trying to make Billy and Jay laugh and he's succeeding, by the way. So it's just the same joke over and over again. I asked if they had any felony and then I said, oh, cause I heard you fell on these nuts. <laughs> And we got everybody with it. <laughs> yeah, we did. Oh, I got Jimmy. Game I got... didn't get it though. Game Show's like, I don't get it. I'm confused. I texted, dude, like anyone and freaking everyone. We're like, heard you can't get into felony and get into candy if you got any felonies. And they respond with, oh, I don't know if that's true. Well, you fell on these nuts. Oh my God. <laughs> we got Norm. Oil up and hit the gym with me. We texted. Let's see, Gamester, Johnny Millennium, Metal Jesus, uh, Pat. You ever watch a group of children run a joke into the ground? That's what I experienced the entire way and back. <laughs> <laughs> well, I'm a floating head, huh? I told Jay that if he found another white castle, that you would tear this car That's apart. not how I phrased it. I, I pulled into a White Castle that was close. I was like, okay, I'll just find another one. No, you're not. Like, what the fuck you mean, no, I'm not. Yeah, I'm gonna find a White Castle. I'm hungry. If you find, if you another, find another White, white castle, castle, I'm gonna tear this car apart. <laughs> <laughs> I immediately pictured him on the roof ripping the sheet metal off. Like, like, I know everybody was hungry, and Billy's like, "You're not finding food, or I'm tearing this car apart." So just like always on these long road trips. We're not gonna stop at a motel. We're just gonna keep th driving through the night and taking turns. And, and that's why we're always tired when we get to these conventions. We're entering a town called Mason, Ohio. And we're gonna go to a place called Game Swap.
they have a plethora of games, but they also have vintage toys. 14 for the set. Hey, this is my kind of store. Not only games, but toys too, because I love to collect toys. You know, for a brick and mortar store, this place has some pretty good prices. Let me get this just because I have it with the two dollars. The double. It's common, but still, it's two dollars. Most people want to put five. Pretty cheap. I don't even have some of these. I mean, there's a lot of stuff here that I'd love to pick up. Um, I gotta narrow it down because pacing. We gotta pace ourselves on these trips, so. A little bit of a budget I have in my head here. At this rate, I'm gonna run out of money before we get to Canada. Oh, that's a pretty good price on any of the Predator. They're very reasonable with it. Um, and it's an okay game. It's nothing like the arcade by any means. I'd pick it up if I didn't already have it. Do you have this? What is it? Tecmo World Wrestling. No. Tag Team. No. Only 99 cents. I'm going straight for the bargain bin. I'm going to get all the 99 cent games I can get. I saw the great prices on these NES games on that shelf, and I just knew I had to have it. As cool as this place is, nothing that's really jumping out at me, nothing I have to have. I'm, I'm really trying to save some money for Canada. Hey, do you have any felonies? Don't yuck it up on the camera like you don't like that joke. <laughs> no, it's funny, but I'm not falling for it, you dickhead. You fell on it, all right. So I'm going to pick out a few things and see what I can get. Ah, and finally I spot it. I'm looking in the counter. I'm just looking at this Jetsons. Ooh, that's an uncommon game. I'm thinking to myself that I know I have to have it. Jetsons on Super Nintendo. Now, of course, it's not as uncommon rare as the NES and Jetsons game, which, by the way, they're two totally different games. But this is very hard to find on Super Nintendo. You don't often see it, and when you do, it's a lot more than what they're asking for, which is only fifteen dollars. I'd be a fool not to pick this up. Nintendo Power, because I don't have it, and I want to have every Super Nintendo game in existence. So I'm all on this one. I was wanting to get a Super C from me. Cool. Billy's telling me I should get the Super C for twelve ninety nine. It's a game I've wanted, and it's eluded me because it's usually high in price. Get the Super C. If you don't get the Super C, you're a super idiot. Oh. Well done. Billy. Ninja Gaiden 2 or 3? I need Ninja Gaiden 3. Yeah, me too. That's what I'm missing. You saw that, right? Yeah. Get it. <sighs> Dude, I can't spend any more money, man. You can't spend $3? The, the, the butt face guy, the... He doesn't like you. I don't like you either. You'll be dead. Because I have I have the game. I'm just looking for the box for it. Right. Yeah. We don't. Yeah. We couldn't just sell a box, unfortunately. Oh man, it's a nice looking box too. Look at that. So Jay went back to the car. I think I just caught him slipping because there's a box of NES boxes here with some pretty good ones. So this is just an empty box of Mega Man 2. What would y'all do on that? I'd love to have every Mega Man box. Like, I love the Mega Man series. To have each game box would be amazing. I'm gonna take down this computer down here. Okay, I'm also interested in that as well. I don't even know what he's gonna be asking. Just hook me up, man. Hook me up. No, you don't. This one goes for a ton. <laughs> This one I'd have to, I, I could only do about 30, even being crushed. He's going to eBay. Even like smashed ones, like yeah. this guy right here. Yeah. $25 is what it sold it is for. Sold for <laughs> it sold for that? It sold for that. You know what, I'll give him credit actually. He went to the sold listings and saw what people are actually paying for them instead of going to just some outrageous buy it now, like I've seen a lot of other stores actually try to do and get away with. Oh, this game's worth $700. No. No. Once again, if I wasn't going to Canada, I might actually consider that. I understand, I understand. Do 15 on this. I can do 15 on that one, yeah. Journey to Cilius, and it is like near mint. I mean, pristine condition here. This, this is called the hoping the credit card gets approved pose right here. Look at that, approved. Oh, success. <laughs> so I'm getting the complete copy of Journey to Cilius, and I'm getting the Jetsons, 
and I'm also picking up a game called Excalibur 2097 because it was only $4 and I heard it was pretty good. I got a couple of uh, Sega Saturn games that I was always looking for but never actually found or even played before. Legend of Oasis, complete and really, really nice case and disc and everything. And I also got Mystaria, uh, all for Sega Saturn. What is a uh, Legend of Oasis? I don't know. <laughs> got me a, like a pristine Journey to Cilius box. That's it? So overall, I think I made out pretty good in this place. Not impressed. Yeah, we'll show your ignorance then. Okay, still not impressed. Okay. Are you cranking? It's your turn now. It's my turn. It no, is your turn. It is your turn. The three of us, Billy, Jay, and myself, we seem to rotate. You know, the other two would be fine, and, and one of them, one of us is just angry and and sensitive and and just just belligerent and just you know just just asking for a fight. You know. <laughs> I heard there's a lot of felonies in, De in Detroit. <laughs> I'm, a, I'm a maybe slightly nervous. I've never been through this, through customs and through, you know, crossing borders and whatnot. We're about to go over the bridge and make our way to Canada. I'm excited and I'm scared out of my mind. So we're pulling up to the Canadian border. <laughs> the f***? Well, it's actually kind of exciting. Then we hit border patrol. How's it going, eh? So, so I play this straight? Yes. <laughs> You're scared, Heidi. I know. Hello, hello, hello. How are you? Good. Hold this back window down, please. Yes, sir. Where do you live? Texas. Well, I'm getting a little nervous. I'm afraid we're going to be detained at the border. Where are you going? Uh, Hamilton. How come? Video game convention. Jay is sass talking. <laughs> The Border Patrol. <laughs> Got some for you guys. Okay, first point of business, Heidi is the only one in the vehicle that has signed her passport. <laughs> her signature to make them legal document. Got it. <laughs> Just a bunch of dudes carrying a bunch of video games. Any goods to declare? Anything other than your own clothing in the vehicle? No, sir. No, sir. Did you? For some reason, Border Patrol had a problem with us. We had to say that all the t-shirts and video games and stuff in the back were promotional items. Because if, I guess if you say it's goods or services or anything like that, you'll, they'll inspect it or you'll get in trouble. Didn't stop them from pulling our one car off to the side, making us all get out and going into the little office and doing background checks on all of us. And guess who was in trouble? <clears throat> You're not, not going to say why they pulled I'm not going to say why they wanted to talk to us. <laughs> Look! We're not, we're not perfect. We're Texas, so. When you get pulled Dude, over, Dude, I just, love just that that guy was Texas all like, accent. knives, this and that. It's all legal in Texas. <laughs> not here. I yeah. <laughs> love that you said that. Demerits for not wearing a seatbelt? What the f does that even mean? Everything has to be. Well, you guys saw Canadian yeah, bacon. Oh, that's nice of them. Guarantee you they had some dumb Americans going. Is that 100 miles per hour? <laughs> yeah, I can totally see that. Yeah, that's nice... Luckily, we have a place to stay tonight thanks to Mike Dodd. Um, he's a friend of ours and he offered us a place to crash for the night. So we're gonna go and head there. After all the felonies jokes and all the other fart jokes and us actually farting. I think everybody's just ready to get out of the car at this point. We got a four hours ahead of us. Let's go and let's keep running uh, felonies into the ground. So we're sitting here about 15 minutes from Mike's place and we're at a stop sign and I see a UFO. Do you remember the UFO? Oh my God. <laughs> <laughs> Stupid Billy, there ain't no UFO. But sure enough, I look up and I'm like, holy crap, 
I, I swear, I shit you not, I will go to my freaking grave saying this. We see a UFO. Jay slammed on the brakes. So we're all like, oh wow, UFO, that's cool. And Jared's in the back, 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 back seat, and he's like, that's just a star, you guys. You guys kidding me. It's like these guys have lived in the city all their lives. I grew up in Wisconsin, Green Bay, Wisconsin, by the way. Oh, the stars are bright, and you city boys aren't used to seeing the stars like this. There are not UFOs. It's not a star. So we're like, oh, okay, yeah, it's a star. Sure, Jared, that's a star. And the thing starts moving, like going up. We're like, yo, b stars don't move, motherfucker. It started doing UFO things. And everyone's staring at this UFO. That's not a UFO. It's a goddamn plane. And I'm, I'm trying to get this through their head. It's a damn plane. None of us thought that we should pull out our cameras. We had a whole thing of camera equipment, iPhones, Android phones. And then the fucking thing just like starts fucking blinking. It's a plane. Which one is it? A star or fucking plane? What the fuck? I don't know how many times I can scream. It's not a goddamn UFO. I'd be damned if I'm getting abducted. Move the car. We're so close to Mike's. I'm so tired. <laughs> how, are you gonna, how are you gonna pick something that I'm holding from? Unless I'll take the <laughs> headphones. I don't want all of it. Okay. Is it DS accessories? Well, what are you, what are you gonna trade me for it? Three DS accessories. Um, Whoa! So we finally make it to Mike's place, and he's greeted us graciously with a box of random stuff for us to dig through, which is always cool. Do you uh, have no, a 3DS? I, 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 yeah, I do have a 3DS. What do you take me for, a mongrel? Normally the game chasers always have the cameras rolling, no, to the capture those little special moments. But for some reason, these brain dead idiots decided to not shoot any footage in our backyard of the barbecue and the fun that we're gonna have. No. You know, we're ready to just kind of just relax, chill out for a minute, eat some eat something. <clears throat> 36 hour freaking trip. And someone is like, I got video games a block away. We're like, oh really? And then it, it was a UFO. And then it oh, went yeah. up. It went up like this, and you could see the clouds like like going underneath it. And then it turned into like it stood in it's a one spot. Balloon. Uh, Bitly and Jay coming over it sounds like a good time. Uh, it was a little short notice, but it's all good. I'm going for a full NES boxed collection. Nice. Those are all doubles. Two bucks each. Are there price tags on them? No, there's no, them? there's no. There's <laughs> no price tags. I don't know as far as I can tell. That's my brother's. I'm not sure what he wants for. So what you're saying is two bucks. Okay. What about this? What do you want for that? Um, I could probably go 15 on it. Hmm. On what? Let me see. Okay. It's just a matter of pacing ourselves the entire weekend, you know? I could blow everything I have right here in this house. I wouldn't have any for the convention. You were looking for Genesis stuff, right? Pirate carts? Thinking two bucks on that one. He's got, he's got some, he's got a lot of games here. He's got some pretty decent stuff too. I don't know if Pat has the uh, panic restaurant that I have. <clears throat> okay. Five bucks. <laughs> Fifty. No. Fifty-two. Um, Fifty-three. I'm really <sighs> hoping to hold on to that one. Panic restaurant, which is a game that is on top of my list, if not more than Little Samson. That panic restaurant's really sexy. I know. <laughs> My brother. Got That's it why it's for, in the plastic. I think he got it for 14 bucks, and I'm like. So I'm not really getting anything here at Kevin's, but that's because I'm holding out. Because Jamie says he has Turbo Graphics. All right. So I was promised some uh, Turbo Graphics. That's not. Oh, it. that's at his place. That's my oh, place. Okay. We're going there next. All right. Before we go to Jamie's and look at his cool stuff, apparently Kevin's got some more stuff up in his bedroom. You better like my place. <laughs> oh. Do you have more stuff? Oh yeah. I have to, I'm the one with the store. So we go upstairs to Kevin's room, and it sounded really bad. <laughs> you attached any of these? Not really. I can always find more. I'm trying to get it's in there ahead of you, because now you're going to grab the good shit. Uh, no, I have Donkey Kong, so go ahead. Old, he has a game that I have actively been looking for for quite some time now. Sculptor's Cut. Clay Fighter. Is it? Sculptor's cut. Oh. <laughs> I need this game. Okay, what's US price? Two bucks. <laughs> <laughs> Two bucks. Um, hundred dollars. 
probably the rarest game on the console. Um, highly sought after. Now, what's Jay's price? Two bucks. <laughs> I've made the jokes before about two dollars, and I'd do it again. I'll give you two bucks for it. It's part of my personal collection, but he's a game chess here, and he's in my house. I might as well give him a good deal. I meet you halfway. Fifty dollars? Yeah. Just because you're here. He's gonna blow his load before he even gets to my place. Sixty-four sucks, so I don't care. <laughs> I'm not gonna find it any cheaper than that yeah. in a retail store. I don't have the sculptor's cut yet. I've seen it a few times, but the price has never been right. I would consider hang that on, a hell of a deal. Hang on, hang on, it is. Why does he even have to think? We'll be here all night. If you don't get it on the way home, you're gonna be like, man, I should cut it. That's the thing about Jay. He, um, even even if it's like a really good deal. He wavers around whether or not he wants to spend the money. He'd much rather take the chance that he would run across it at a flea market or for two dollars. You're staying here tonight, so if you if really you want to think about it, I'll give you it over. 60. You know what? I'm I'm gonna take it fifty dollars. So thank you very much for that, Kevin. I really appreciate it. I thought it was a good deal for him, and you know. Like, he's up here, I might as well give him a good deal. If I saw that game in a flea market for five bucks, I'd buy it just to slam it up against the wall. <laughs> no, you wouldn't. No, you wouldn't. You'd make a video, look what I found. Yeah, you would. No, I found Sculptor's Cut. Look at right here on my shelf next to Earthbound. Click, click, Luke. The hardest thing I've had that I've been looking for is probably Metal Warriors, but I actually found one recently. How much did you pay for it? I didn't buy it yet. What is with that game lately? Metal Gear is awesome, I dude. Really yeah, it's just, just like a great game. Dude, I refuse yeah, to have I mean, you not really, played it? It's so good. I want to play the real card. So good. <laughs> I, I've got a game in your, your stack that's deformed and mutilated. Um, how, oh, much, how much could to, for me to take it off your hands? Um, <laughs> I'll do 15 on it. 15 dollars is actually really, really good on this game. But again, do I want to spend the money right now? Two bucks. <laughs> <laughs> when I got home and was recording these interviews, I really started kicking myself in the butt because I didn't get it. Like, what was I thinking? This room here is... So now we're going right up the road. We're going to this dude Jamie's house because huh? he had... What are you looking for on Dragon Warrior 4? Uh, that one we sell up here for 80. I keep hearing that Canadian game prices are way higher than US game prices. And it's true. The first thing I'm seeing here is Splatter House on Turbo Graphics. And I've wanted it for, oh, I caught myself slipping a while back in Vegas. They had it for $20 there at the convention. I said, I'll think about it. I came back 10 minutes later and it was gone. And I've regretted it ever since. So I have it here in my hands and I'm. I'm not letting this one go, unless he wants too much for it. Okay, so you sell this up here for 10, this for 10, so 15 for both? I have to look those ones up. I don't know those ones up. And Raiden, I mean, he can't go wrong with Raiden because it's a really cool shooter and I love shooters. I suck at shooters, but I love shooters. I'd love to have these two games. Can you look at these for me? It's just a matter of whether he's going to give us a bro price or not. Um, yeah. Billy, those are marked at about 50 each, so it's... Yeah, I'm gonna have to put them down. Well, yeah. hold on. Yeah. I'm, I'm not like the guys that you guys are doing with, so... What would you like to offer on them? I'd honestly be tops at 30 for both of them. 30 for both? Yes. And that's because I have $30 in my pocket right now. Anyone want to loan them 10 bucks, I'll do 40 $40, $20 a piece for these two games? Like... That's a deal that nobody can pass up. Okay. Cool. You can do that. Okay. Awesome. Thank you. I'm happy and I'm set. So I owe him $5, <laughs> which I'm perfectly fine with because I got an outrageous deal on these games. When he says 30, at first I'm thinking, I don't know if I can really go that low. But then I kind of thought back and I'm like, you know how much I actually paid for the whole lot? I can still deal with it because you know what? I'm helping out a fellow collector. We're getting hooked up with bro prices with, with games from Jamie too. Well, up here, you saw how far you drew, like drove yeah. and seeing how many towns? Probably like five. Yeah. And a UFO. Seriously. And a UFO. 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 Oh, Chaz and UFO. We did not hey, see do a have, UFO. That was a UFO. And she got scared. But do you have any? Um, what part of, what part of my package? reaction to that did, did you no. interpret as scared? Uh, part you screamed. I'm pretty sure I told you guys to shut the up. No, you were like, you oh my god, a UFO! I heard that. Kevin and Jamie, pretty nice dudes. 
They hooked it up with bro prices all the way around, not just for me and Billy, but for everybody. I'd shop here again. <laughs> We're all exhausted. So we're gonna crash here at Kevin's basement. He's got Sim Ant. I like how he looks oh, at Sim Ant, not the Earthbound. But he's allowing us to sleep down here in the basement with a big case of games here. That's trust. That is trust. Definitely don't have a Venture Island too, even though it looks like Jesus, Billy. What did you do? With this game? Hey, hey, that's a chunk. I'm I'm saying, that's out of that's it. a little rough wow. for my collection. So here we are at the hotel. We are literally right across the street from the convention center where Com Bravo is going to be held. I am moments away from making the biggest trade I have ever made for one of the best games out there on the NES, and one game I have wanted for so long. Why don't you look these over quick, and why don't you give me what you think? A fair value is, and then I'll kind of just go over it too and see if I agree. Or, or why don't we just do it a game at a time? And okay. I've got this huge trade worked out with my buddy Scott. Basically, you, between bro. phone sex, cool. Jay and I work this deal out. Get you fresh. Why don't you give this to me, man? Because I need it. Oil up and hit the gym with me. I can smell it in the room. It's calling me. It's about to be mine. It's about to go down. But before that, Let's flash back to yesterday and see what went down then, because uh, suspense, mofos. Hey, you ever seen nobody put a galaxy in and have a poop right in their mouth? The game's hard anyways. Watch this, though. You know what that means? Fuck you. I saw it. My quarter's up there. <laughs> we woke up from Jamie's place. Jamie gave me a Superman on NES, which was a good because I need that game. Uh, I like getting shit I don't have. Stuff I don't have. Keep you from having to bleep it. You want that one? Yeah. I do sure, Billy got himself a little Turbo Graphics 16 Bonks. Bonk. Bonks Adventure. Bonk. Uh, what the f was the game? Gave me a Bonks Revenge on the Turbo Graphics 16. So I can scratch another game off my Turbo Graphics list um, and one of the better ones on the system, which is really cool. I wanted to kind of give them. Give them some hospitality as a Canadian. Did you guys still want the uh, turbo graphics? And go lower on it. It's not really a business to me. Yeah. I was doing it for a collection, and I do it to get like you know collector friends, and I help them out. So if you want to do forty bucks on it, you'll have a turbo graphics sixteen. It was thanks to him that uh, I was able to pick up a turbo graphics system, complete system, everything in it, for forty dollars. You have felonies. Later on, we ended up going to the Gauntlet. It's a comic book store, and didn't really find much there. What the heck? How come I can't attack? Does you suck. So there's a mall we're heading to right now that has a game store in it. Let's see what we can find. We're gonna be meeting up with Stalker Scott. He only lives like an hour away in Buffalo, and he's, I hate to admit it, but become a pretty good friend of ours. Yeah, they're making fun of us for our accent. They thought I sounded like you guys. Now they see the difference. Yeah. I already don't like them. <laughs> this is Scott we've been talking about. Jared. First of all, he needs to turn down the New York a notch or two. So we're at a local mall here in Hamilton. We're at a game store called Video Games Plus or VGP. Uh, I see one actually. It's pretty uncommon. Which one? I don't know. Game Boy? No. Hey, uh, do you mind if I take a look at this RoboCop 3? Uh, the, the one box? inside the NES? Yeah. For the NES? Yeah, sure. RoboCop 3 in the box. Thank you. It's marked for $25. I do not have it. And um, you don't really see this game out um, too often, uh, especially complete. Two bucks. Would you do two bucks on this? <laughs> two bucks. No, in all seriousness, would you do 20? Yeah. You do 20 on yeah. that? Yeah. Awesome. That's, yeah. You know what? I, I haggle at pretty much every game store I go to because you don't know um, if they're set on the prices or they're not. Some are, some aren't. Actually, can you throw this on there? How is it? Well, I already rang it through, but that's $4. Okay, never mind. Pay for my game? Then, then I wouldn't. What? I'm not paying for your game, Eric. So now I have 
RoboCop 3 in the box, complete on NES, that's awesome. Um, a huge RoboCop fan, RoboCop 1 on NES is okay. Um, RoboCop 2, I, I like a lot more, a lot of people diss on that game. Never played 3, so I can't wait to check it out. I was like, I knew I had to have it. Is it as bad as the movie? I can't believe those guys hooked you up, dude, with friggin' $50 for Sculptor's Cut. I know. This is crazy. And that game is so horrible. So, so bad. I played it. It's friggin' terrible. The only difference is that it just has um, a few extra characters. Yeah, and they took stuff out, too. I don't know about the rest of these chodes, but I like to sightsee a little bit, especially if I've never been there before. Oh, gee, I'm walking like Eric. Ooh. Eric really is rubbing me the wrong way. I don't think it's intentional, but he's definitely got my blood boiling. Like, I never heard that one. Oh my god, I'm short, guys. No, it's That's new to me. Dragon. It's not the short. I'm gonna fucking be dragging these fucking nuts on your fucking face. <laughs> Saw a UFO on the way up here. I'm tired and I just don't want to put up with any shit right now. And he's pissing me off. Oh, and then we also had to sit at the border for like an hour because these two chuckleheads don't know how to fucking behave like fucking adults. Can I get an honest opinion about something? This this hairy Mexican guy right here, do you think he's cute? Am I cute? Sure. Nice. <laughs> don't say <laughs> sure too. just to make him Say he's ugly. <laughs> Eric's just like his See, ego look, is like, I'm fucking exotic up here. I'm exotic up here. So after a day of pretty much futile game chasing, we get to the hotel and hook up with Keeb, the joking gamer. I am freaking stoked to meet Keeb. I've been waiting my whole entire life. Probably our only opportunity to ever meet the guy. Oh we're guys, friends. we're about to prank Norm right now. Keeb has become a really good friend of ours. We talk to him on Skype weekly for at least the last year. You're gonna be, you're gonna be on this bed. Norm's gonna walk in. Right? And he's gonna come and he'd keep. He's gonna walk in and he's gonna see you on the bed. Okay, that's, sure. that's it. If you don't want to trade some of this, let me know, but I'm gonna pile up the shit that I actually want. So even though we kind of struck out yesterday for the most part, it's all being made up here today with this trade that's about to go down. I came across a game that I knew Billy was looking for and I know Jay's gonna want the box and manual. Please get out of here. What's wrong with the Mashin 2600? No, it's it's the fact that it's... Are you filming this? You want hey, to do that now? Hey, check it out. Climber 5. Atari oh, age, 2004. It's a homebrew. Yeah. This, I would think, would be cool. Now, this trade was talked about weeks ago before we went to Con Bravo between me and Scott. I brought a bunch of doubles. Cool. I don't have That's any actually Atari pretty games. uncommon. I don't have any Atari games at all. I think some manuals in this. The doubles that I had actually been holding out to give to Greg for his little Samson. But I don't need that one. Because Scott's hooking me up with a little Samson right here, right now. <laughs> little Samson! Little Samson! Little Samson! Little Samson! <laughs> You know what, before you take ownership of this, I would ask the expert if it's trending up right now. Holy crap, I finally got little Samson. I guess everybody in the room except me is gonna have a Samson now, the way it looks. Uh, I think you need to uh, let your viewers know how much it feels to uh, put that game behind you. I can finally stop crying about it. I, I've been crying about this game for literally, what is it, three years now, ever since I gave it to Jay. And I can stop. Little Samson. Look at this. <laughs> That's one you've actively wanted, right? Yes. Okay. Uh, actually, when I was down in Texas with the guys, uh, Billy and I were both looking for Samson, and I actually was lucky enough to find a complete copy, but the box on the Samson was just a little roughed up, so I was on the hunt for a replacement or an upgrade, and I actually ran into another complete copy. I'm just gonna give one to my wife to play. She collects Game Boy. Oh my god, I actually need this, like I have the box and manual. That's awesome. No, I've been saving up some of my doubles to give to Greg for his little Samson, but Scott is just hooking me up big time on this one. I, I have to get his, he's, I've got a lot of games here that he really, really wants, so he's putting them in a lot higher value than Greg would, because Greg pretty much has everything. All this looks like it's about 385 in value. And you're giving me the game for what value? I'll do five. 
five. So you just buy Portland, maybe? Just give me the other stuff when you find doubles and stuff? Where the hell is my Samson at? I swear. One of these days, I'm going to get Samson. No, you're not. I'm going to. You know, you have a lot, a lot, a lot of rare games on the NES that are just absolute crap. And people say, well, why would you still want to collect them? Samson is definitely not one of those games. It's one of the rare games that are actually really, really good. Ah! Ah! Actually, this is going to be normal. You have now. no trades? Why don't I trade it to you and you no, just no, hey, hey, want to get it from Jay, get your thing seriously. Are you guys no, the I mean, I'd love to have it, but if this part of your trade, Sorry. I'm not going to interfere. We're using the, the app just to trade on even terms. So okay. whatever it says is so the all value. So all the inflated <laughs> prices, they all even out. They all even out at the end of the day. Someone had a bad flight. You know what we could do? <laughs> you know what we should do is every time we say one of the prices, Pat can come in and be like, or. <laughs> so I'm getting the game, but Jay is actually getting the box. Basically, Scott has a, a second box and a second manual for this game because he wasn't happy with with the way his looked. Okay, so this is all yours now. He, he basically wanted a box upgrade. The box I'm getting is not in horrible shape, trust me. I appreciate it, Scott, thank you. What, what you appreciate more, Jay, is on I faith, do. I'm gonna give you this and just, just make it up later. Oh, wow. Box and manual, that's awesome. He definitely didn't bring uh, enough stuff to trade uh, so Jay's gonna go on a payment plan. Obviously I got the game already, so now I have a little Samson complete in box. Hopefully my great grandkids will uh, be able to settle this debt. I can't complain. Uh, I'll trade you. No, I'm good. You sure? I'm good. I'm I don't sure. want fun stones. I wasn't gonna trade you fun stones. No, I didn't want it, so don't even say I... it. I'm giving him a couple of things too, like a Conqueror's Bad Fur Day, a Super Mario RPG, some you know rare high dollar stuff and some common stuff that he needed. You know, I'm honestly not trying to kill them on this. Um, I really just want to get back what I invested. Little Samson was released in 1992 by Tato and Takuru, or Takuru, or Takuru. You know what, I, I can't review games. Let me just put on somebody who actually knows what they're doing. Gameplay is one of the game's strong points. It's a platformer, and a really good one at that. There's plenty of jumping, climbing, shooting, punching, and flying. Levels aren't memorable, but are fun to navigate through. The controls are extremely tight and responsive, and makes the challenge more about skill than bad design or control. The graphics are some of the best on the system. So why did this game completely flop? Sales were extremely low, and many people aren't even aware this game exists. Well, problem number one was Taito released Little Samson at the end of the system's life. Second of all, there is little to no advertising or press for this game. Taito has published a few other hard-to-find games, including Panic Restaurant and The Flintstones, Surprise at Dinosaur Peak. If you're able to find a copy of Little Samson, congratulations! You have one of the rarest and best games on the Nintendo Entertainment System. Oil up and hit the gym with me. You said because I, I had the Mario Golf, you're gonna throw in this is way, you look it up, it's way more than Mario Oh, I know Love. it is. I don't and need to look it up. it's a freaking good game. Uncommon. Uncommon game. That game is it's not as exciting as going to a flea market and finding it for $10, but in reality, this was the only way I was ever going to get a Samson. Ah! I would f*** a horse for a Samson. <laughs> like legit? Legit. Not a horse banging me, though. I'll bang the horse. Eric now owns another $5 game, Donkey Kong 3. Even though it says 25 on the app. <laughs> no, I know. You didn't catch him slipping, he's being nice. I'm catching Billy slipping. That, that you don't have that? No. Oh, I almost forgot. There was something else that happened yesterday. Eric got a game. Two. There we go. Oh. <laughs> 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 this tossy. <laughs> this is guys. <laughs> I'm game hungry, and I'll do anything for a game. I will lick Keith's nipple for, You're okay with this? for one of the games that's not, yeah. that I don't have that's in that box. There's some good games in there, too. Okay, it has to be a dollar. 1943. Yeah. I will lick it for nice. All yours. You can have it. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> 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 I don't think I can. <laughs> I don't even know I did. <laughs> I looked at the 
first nipple when I couldn't do it. Keeb's not gonna call me out with that. Keeb's uh, nipple. Lip. I can't do it. Do it, do it. Dude, his armpit fucking stinks. <laughs> do it. I'm kind of like, God, just go. Like that? Yeah. Dude, you gotta leave it. Okay, you gotta at least wait for the flash. <laughs> no! Do it. No! Do it. No. Do it. <laughs> You're gonna put it on Facebook. I can't put it on Facebook. This shows up anywhere on Facebook. Come on. Eric, man up. Eric, man up. Do it. Come on. Man up. What are y'all gonna do? Not do it. that. We can do it. Screw it. Let's do it. Let's make some game chasing history. Come on, Eric. <laughs> Which game? 1943. 1943. 1943, that's what I'm screaming. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> oh no! <laughs> I can't believe he actually did it. Oh. It's not the first nipple I ever licked. It's the first little person's nipple I've ever licked. Oh my god, I gotta f clean my f mouth, dude. That was fing gross. <laughs> it was it was weird. <laughs> weird, but it was kind of a funny prank. I, I enjoyed it. <laughs> yes, yes, get it, get it, get it, get it, get it. <laughs> do that again, please, God, do that again. Do it again. Do it again. <laughs> I would like keep for Panic Restaurant. Eric, here is your well-deserved reward. Pause the camera. But hey, I got a game out of it. Granted, it's only 1943, which I don't have, and I needed, so. Yeah, it's not rare, but hey. The only reason I did it is because Keep goes, do it, you bitch. <laughs> I'm like, well, come on and do it, you freaking chicken. <laughs> oh, God. Dude, that was so gross. Look at that little nipple. <laughs> Not only will I be known as a guy who slips, but as a guy who licks. Eric's such a nasty motherfucker. <laughs> it was hilarious. Come <laughs> the gym with me. What's going on? It's true. At least for his rest. Oh, wait. <laughs> Damn it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I was just having a gay old time. I was a Genesis guy, you fucking chode. God damn, quit like fucking saying hey, that. You don't like shooters. Hey, Tiger Hell is the best shooter hey, on Nintendo. You don't like, I love that game. You don't like Battletoads, you fucking still after me. No, I'm yeah. only been in Canada for two days now, and it's been pretty crazy. There's no telling what the rest of the weekend's gonna be like. I'll bang the horse. Slip in, slip in, slip in, slip in, slip in, slip in. So Con Bravo's in full swing. We've done some panels, had some good times. I'm pretty excited. Never been to Con Bravo. First time here, first time in Canada. We found a couple of video game stores in the Hamilton area. What you doing right now? Not much, man. Just like, no, I mean, like, right now. Oh, just about to pop, pop in the convention center and grab a badge. We are going to take Keeb game chasing. Uh, you want to get game chasing with us? Yeah, sure, man. Let's go. No other reason than why the hell not? He's a cool little dude, so let's go find some games, Keebler. <laughs> For some reason, the blocks in Canada are four times as big as the blocks in the United States. Not only did we have to walk 30 minutes in the heat, that wasn't that bad, 
But they were closed when we got there. And they have a sign on the door saying they're at the convention that we were at. They should have stayed open at least for Keep the Joking Gamer. Not, not a lot of the game chasers. Game where you have to go like this and you have to try to play this. So yeah, I like that game. You like that game? <laughs> wow. So what game? Nothing. <laughs> I haven't done a lot of game chasing on the floor yet, so let's go take a look. Where did you run across this? Uh, Storm Bell Bell. Lot slots? That is crazy, man. I'm ready to just hopefully find some games. Get it, get it, get it, get it, get it. Games, 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 games. Games, 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 games. Dang. I think he's on N64 or like NES or oh, Super NES what's going on here. Okay, okay. But I think this is the more rare stuff over here. Do you price these or the, the guy who's... Uh... James is probably a better at it. I think one of these he mentioned was like the last Sega Saturn game made. This Two bucks? <laughs> Two dollars? I did need a conference box. So is there anything in here that you're like... It depends on the price. If the price is right, then I'm interested in Well, stuff. these are Canadian prices, so that's $100,000. Mm. We've got a Box Conquers Bad Fur Day down here. Uh, that was one of my favorite games on the console. Um, it is, it is, I remember enjoying that game immensely. Yeah, prices are not even on this stuff or what? What are you looking for? What are you thinking on the Conquers? Yeah, yeah that one's, uh... <laughs> thought so. That one's, that was a bit, but, um... I'll say 50. 50? Both me and Jay immediately look at each other because $50 for a complete inbox conquers is a really, really, really good deal. <laughs> huh. You know what? I'll pay $50 for a box conquers bad for a day because you're not gonna find it any cheaper. I'm not a huge N64 collector, but I do like Conquerors. It's one of the only games I like on the system. I have a loose. I do not have it boxed. So this guy was telling us this was the last Saturn game made. That was one of the last. Uh, it's not. It's not the last Saturn game because I have heard that's the last Saturn game ever made for the Saturn. And this is the Foo edition because they were the, all. All three had different discs. One for the one for Foo, one for uh, the girl, and the other the other Boomy, So. Oh, I see what you're saying. Yeah. Okay. One of the things that's really catching my eye here is Magic Knight Ray Earth on the Sega Saturn. To do 30 on that. Yeah, all right. <laughs> I, I, yeah, I got to jump on this one. What are you guys getting? He just, I'm getting kind of sides. How much? Uh, it's 20. All of our friends here at the convention. I don't know if they just they just smell video games or something because all of a sudden they're like vultures. He, he, he gave me such a good deal on this, like a ridiculous good deal. I felt bad, so I just I gave him sixty. He wanted he wanted fifty, but I gave him sixty. I mean, this is an insane deal. Because you're the opposite of us. Yeah, yeah, I don't want to be a douche. <laughs> Showing up out of the woodwork, out of nowhere. I didn't. I, I mean, I don't even know where they came from. Bunch of damn blood sucking leeches. Yeah. Holy crap, it's goof trick. I can find it. I came all the way this far, and the best thing I've done so far is lick a midget's nipple. What are you looking for? That Judy Cot race that's caught by eye right about that. Which one? This baby right here, because it is sun faded. <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah. All that's, the guy, that, all that's, the, a, that's a pop guy. What have you learned? Uh, it looks sure, like it's been know. used at yeah, least exactly. like six, seven times. There's just label, label wear and... Label I mean, wear, yeah. Hit, hit and there's him, marker. Hit him, hit him with $5. Yeah. Yeah. We got a bunch of swindlers over here. <laughs> I was wondering how low you'd go on the... Uh, $5 Diddy on the Diamond Cop. Oh, Com, my gosh. There, there is, like, Diddy Cop Racing, there is label damage. Considerably, the car's in really bad shape. The uh, uh, plastic is what? He's kicking, like he's kicking the tires over Plastic's here. a little worn. I'll give him that. The label's definitely got some sun bleaching. Yeah. The chip has definitely been played. <laughs> um, yeah. Maybe twice, three I wouldn't times. do five because I definitely paid ten. What'd you do? Uh, what did you say? You paid ten? I certainly would have paid okay. ten. Okay. You should do ten on it. 
Am I willing to to pass the buck to you? Are you gonna Are you gonna take the world's greatest care of this Diddy Kong racing? Yes, I am. Are you gonna beat Wiz Pig? Yes. Deal. Ten bucks. This game is gonna get Look my collection. Look at that. Oh, what up, games? Nice. What? That's like ordering on Jedi mind trick right there. Oh yeah. That did is. you Jedi mind trick him just then? Yes, I just did. <laughs> you just Jedi mind tricked him. Yes. <laughs> Sweet, nice. What? So I've never met the Game Chasers before, this is the first time I've ever met them. We get to the hotel, me and Norm from uh, the Gaming Historian. So we walk into the hotel room and I get a text message from Jay saying, Eric just threw up. So I don't, I go, Norm, this is for you. He looks at it, he doesn't know what it is. So we get to the hotel room, we open up the door, and Eric <laughs> is laying on the bed with a beet red face, and he doesn't look like he's doing too well. And it's, it's weird, it's like, it's really bizarre. They go, you guys gotta see this. Oh, uh, he, 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 he uh, Jay gives uh, a game to Norm and says, how much would you pay for 1943? Like, the, 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 it's like a really cheap game. Norm goes, five bucks. And then he goes, okay, watch this video, watch this video. How would you critique the nipple kiss? Was it a quick little yeah, in and out? It wasn't, a, no, but see, that was the thing. It wasn't a, cr a quick little lick of the nipple. You went in full score, man. You were there. You were there for the taste test. Jay told me to pose for a camera picture. Got a Samson in the hotel no, room. No, no, the Samson was already Billy's. That is how you meet the game chasers. <laughs> What, what does everyone see when they look at this? I'll give you a hint. Veiny balls. This is the kind of content that really belongs on the Game Chasers. So this here is a motion controller for the PlayStation 1. I've never heard of this. Uh, the people I bought it off of told me it's the worst thing they've ever bought for the PlayStation. So we're going to try that out and see if that's actually true. But this has got to be crap. No, you want the worst thing you ever bought. Oh yeah, sorry. The worst thing I ever bought personally is Pat the NES box on DVD. Unfortunately. That's banned in five countries, by the way. Yeah. Uh, I, well, I got uh, Son Goku Shi uh, 2 and uh, Femi, uh, what is it? Uh, Femri um, Stadium or, or uh, Femri... Uh, and a racing game. <laughs> my, my brain's not working in Japanese right now. Uh, both in the box for uh, for like five bucks each, and uh, a couple other Famicom games, uh, Highlight and Babel, and uh, a Mahjong game that I haven't had. Uh, Mahjong uh, Super Mahjong Three, and uh, I actually got these for a screaming deal for uh, twenty five bucks. So good stuff. You got Sega Master System games that are hard to find, Kinsaiden, King's Quest, and Galaxy Force. Got a good deal on these. I also got a Neo Geo Pocket Color for 20 bucks, got a half price. Oh, wow. Yeah. So, Calm Bravo's coming to a close. As you know, we're from Texas. We have no real, you know, game chasing affiliation in Canada, and especially not Newfoundland, right? So we need somebody to be a game chaser in Newfoundland. We need an official game chaser. And what better way to commemorate the events to, of making you an official game chaser than to giving you a game chaser shirt. Oh, thanks guys. I greatly appreciate it. Thanks very much. I think you should take an oath. Put your hand up. Put your hand up. I keep the joking gamer. I keep the joking gamer. Promise to always catch a big Eric slipping. <laughs> <laughs> Even when you're like 7,000 miles away. Even when I'm 7,000 miles away. And I promise to lowball people. I promise to lowball people. And never pay retail. And never pay retail. So help me game chasing gods. So help me game chasing gods. <laughs> okay. It's official, keep. Yep. All right, everyone. Go, go and subscribe to the channel. You will definitely have the best. What? No, my channel. <laughs> <laughs>
<laughs> Good thing to say to the fans, he just goes, go to my channel. <laughs> yeah. I just want to grab that little midget and just make out with him because he is so adorable. Wrestling games. Oh, uh, are they all mine? Those are one for each of you. Well, I'll take the, uh, the black label. Jay? Yes, oh. From Cabe? Hey now, oh, buddy. I need this one. But guess yeah. what? I want mine autographed by Cabe. You want yours autographed? We're you know what? Screw yeah. it. There's a Sharpie over there. He's got one. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Can we borrow this Sharpie, please? Thank you. Have you got On the actual manual. The only way you could describe Keeb is to say that there is there's no one like Keeb. He is truly unique. There you go. Thank you, sir. I want Keeb the joking gamer, like real big on it. Okay. I've had fun, man. I mean, I, I got to be honest. It's just, it, it was fun getting here. It was fun meeting a lot of people that I, I have only, you know, seen online or talked through through Skype or, you know, or maybe a phone call to actually meet. You know, some of these people has been uh, great. You know, that that to me is one of the best things about coming to any convention, not just Com Bravo, but getting to meet, you know, new people, making new friends. That makes three autographs this weekend. You know, it's it really cool. It was an honor to meet you. Yeah, same I, I look forward to seeing you again. Same I hope here. I see you again yeah, someday. It's going to be sad to There will be another con, guys. All right, keep it. Time to start heading back to Texas in a minute. We're going to a store tonight. We've been told by everyone we have to visit this store. It's the biggest store in the Toronto area. And so tonight we go and dine on turtle soup. Uh, uh, uh. I'll bang the horse. So the convention's over, but we're not done game chasing yet. We're headed to a game store that's supposed to be the biggest in the area. We've heard a lot about this place. We are definitely intrigued and I mean, it's a no brainer. We're heading to ANC Games. Jason for three kilobytes actually works here and he's the one that said we needed to come check it out. I see about 75,000 things that I need in here. Two things I noticed right away. One, it's not that big. Two, they got games everywhere. There's even more than this, but I think we kept it in this sort of, uh, this style. I am bum rushed with nothing but games. Actually, you guys want to meet Gar, the owner? What's up, Gar? <laughs> What's up, man? This place has a ton of rare games, a ton of stuff. Uh, that I've never seen. One of those things is a panic restaurant. I want panic restaurant about as much as Lil' Samson, if not more. Everybody's got Samson. I'm getting the hell over that game. You know what? I'm never gonna get it. Screw it, okay. But I'm gonna get panic restaurant. Nobody else has it except stupid Pat. The Lost Level. Signed by, I think. Signed by Greg. Cabbage. Yeah. Walked around the show, we've seen him in his boxers. The great thing is they have a bunch of inventory that they haven't gone through yet. It's just sitting in buckets. So we get to dive right in. So all know, of this, all of this stuff was literally traded in probably today. So this is like stuff that we haven't even looked at. Nineteen forty-three. <laughs> Game I licked the nipple. Hey. There's tubs and tubs just everywhere. I'm dick deep in games. I'm digging. <laughs> dick deep. I see a stupid Eric's arm just reach right in, pull something out from under me. Hey, what was that? Mighty Eric, hey, no, what was that, Eric? Mighty Final Fight. Let me see it. No, nah, dude, I'll show it to you after I uh, look into it. Tonight is the day of reckoning. Welcome. To the Thunderdome, bitch! If only I could pry it from his stupid hands. This is not the game you're looking for, Eric. Oh, shit. Oh, I thought that was Sculptors again. <laughs> hey, in all seriousness, let me see that. Billy, <laughs> I learned my lesson in Dude, Roswell, it's... New Mexico. All right. I have it, so can I see it? I own the game. You're Please. his fucking goon. Scott needs to back the hell off. He needs to turn down the New Yorker. 
I'm not in the mood for anything today. Oops. I get that. So this is like overstock from what is on the floor. So there's... Everything's here. Oh, really? Hey. Oh, this is sweet. Eric no longer has anything to hold over my head. I've found Mighty Final Fight. I don't think I like that too much. I want to find Mighty Final Fight. Very uncommon, if not rare. And a lot of people dog this game, and I think that's because they compare it to the 16-bit beat-em-ups that were so great. But Mighty Final Fight really holds its own on the NES. I would really love to own it, but that'll all depend on price, so it's gonna go in my maybe pile. I'll Welcome. take that. Oh! <laughs> Did you find another one? Jay, please. What? I'm going through these boxes, and I find a Battletoads Double Dragon. Battletoads Double Dragon. Don't do it. Mm. Oh, too bad. Don't do it. <laughs> don't do it. Jay, don't do not let that Let's go. see if there's another one in here. Just don't know, Eric. Jay, do not let it go. Now Eric's gonna be like, it's not slipping, not slipping. I think it's slipping. I think I got I think Eric got caught slipping again. That's what I think. Dude, I almost freaking caught well, I guess I no, you're not slipping anymore since you found it. <laughs> Even when you think you do, you don't yeah, go. I got this, dude. All I get is freaking slipping comments. I'm tired of it. Why am I a son of a bitch? Do not let that There go. will be a Battletoads Double Dragon in here. The last time I had this game in my hand, I literally had it for five seconds. And Billy told me to go ahead and not get it because the label didn't look good. It was a little messed up. I didn't say it was fixable, though. Bottom line, you were just like, you don't want that game. Look at the label. Ah, the label's effed up. Yeah. That sticker on that label could have easily came off with Goo God. Eric, are you a dumbass or something? This is not gonna happen. I'm not taking that sh anymore. Today's the last stand. <laughs> this is my Battletoads Double Dragon. I say he's just weak minded. <laughs> is this your stack, Jake? It is. Okay, good. I'm just making sure Eric doesn't smash. Well, he ain't gonna take it. I'm not it. gonna steal his game. He ain't gonna take it. it. This place has so many rare games, like, there's just. They're just in, in boxes. I'm in hog heaven right now. Hang on a second, I'm looking at these yeah. Turbo Graphics 16 games. Did I hear Turbo Graphics? I pull out Deep Blue on Turbo Graphics. Um, I don't know much about the game other than it's a shooter. And I love shooters and I love the Turbo Graphics. So I think I'm going to get this and put it in my maybe pile. Do you think there's a lot of games waiting to take you boys downstairs? Really? Oh, yeah. What it's do you mean downstairs? There's something down there for you. It sounds so dirty. I know. Little did I know they had a whole month of building next door. Tubs and tubs and shelves and shelves of fucking games galore. All right, one Let's second. Go. You're, still, you're still on that? Just you didn't catch me I slipping. I had a temporary victory you for a minute. You didn't catch me slipping on that. For a so small weird. victory. This is like Game Room Trading Post, except instead of an upstairs, there's a downstairs. All right, first things first, main room on the right. So I know I said this place was small uh, when I walked in. However, I didn't know they had a whole building next door uh, with a basement in it. Uh, don't go in there yet. <laughs> All right, so where, what areas and crevices sh should we yep. penetrate? <laughs> Let me show you the library. Penetrate. There's everything in this room, so. I mean, you open a box and there's just random there's so, things. As if there was not enough games up above, there's like 10 times this amount down below. Well, what's up with the arcade room? That's where you just were, right? Yeah. The lights keep going out. We think it's haunted. Oh, shit. All this stuff, like tons of stuff has been traded in and not sorted yet. It's yeah. In there. So, so why are we in here? In there. I just wanted to show you this. Oh, okay. Well, it's all cool and all, but we like to do. All right, fine. You're like, whoa, whoa, whoa. Find another Battletoads Double Dragon, Billy. Could you pull it out for me, please? Well, Did Jay get that out. other one? He grabbed it. 
That's not slipping. <laughs> How is it not? It's not. We're all both looking through the same box. No, I wasn't. I went up and he said, hey, look what I got. It doesn't matter. You should have been at the box first. Hey, I had a momentarily slip in a billy. Let's see what's down here. More bookage. I think I have that one. I don't even think they know what they have, honestly. You want to look at these? Mm -mm. You sure? Mm -hmm. Might be something that you want. Mm -hmm. These guys are gracious enough to let us go invade their space and dig through every single tub. And it's awesome. You want to see the secret stash? Yes. yes. Take, just take me a billy. <laughs> secret stash. So this side on the right. Watch your step. These are bins that we haven't even went through. We got lights? No. No. We're going to have to take them out of here and put them in that room. All right. Well, this one has NES games, so. These are the places I love. We can just dig for buried treasure. Excuse me, guys. Nice job. I was helping you out, man. Excuse me, guys. I was going to grab it. You were going to grab it. Nice. Master 2 and the Drunkard Hue. Uh, I don't have this game. I need it. It's unlicensed. It is uh, Color Dreams. Um, you know, they did stuff like Captain Comet. A um, couple of other games. We're gonna put this one in my maybe pile. I don't usually do maybe piles, but this is maybe piles depending on price. I, I have to keep in mind that I am in a store, so I'm not gonna get everything for two bucks. Nice. I don't think so, dude. You don't even have it. So what? Look at him. Oh yeah, I want. I want to hear you freaking whine. You grovel, please. I don't care. I have that game anyway. Boxed. He's lying. He's waiting for me to put it down. I don't. Because he knows I don't want Aaron. it. He doesn't even have a Vetrex. I have a Vetrex. I don't Here, care about the Here, Billy. There we go. <laughs> well, that's just rude. It, it's, it's never ending. It's like heaven. You know, I almost peed my pants because there's a stack of turbo graphics schemes just chilling in this box. However, I have all of them except Military Madness, but I don't want that one. Who wants a stupid strategy game? Hey, Scott. You might want to look through this. You should probably look through that. See, I knew they were going to find those bars, those bins. <laughs> hey, Billy, boy, swarm you. Stay there, MC. Don't start fire. Yeah. It's got things in it. And uh, things and stuff. Battle toes. Don't see anything. I'm helping you. Yeah. Let me check to see if I have if it. You do, if you have that, can I have that? Yeah. 1985 Atari Corp. Man, this is just crazy old. And we're in Canada. This is from California, you know? I found Hugsley Scavenger Herd, which is really getting really hard to find, getting kind of expensive. So I'm trying to get it now. And they missed it. They didn't know. So I caught them slipping. Look at them over there. They're over there trying to find one themselves. <laughs> I don't like that I wasn't included. Grab those rubber bands. You're trying to get to that back wall, aren't you? Yeah. <laughs> I'm working on it. The way game chasing go. That's how Jay always does it. He gets to the back wall. Eric? I feel like I've jumped into a big vat of, of ice cream. And I'm swimming around, except it's games. And I'm swimming around going, ow, 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 ow. Hey, are we putting Billy in the, the circle of trust? Are we? Are we putting Billy in I the circle know. of trust? He's kind Why, of shattered you know me in time I don't? Or two. Yeah, there's NES games in here. I don't know what's in here. That one? Yes. All, All right. right. Put it over here. Billy and the rest of the guys are are off like in another room. I mean, dude, there's like three or four rooms of just video games everywhere. Well, me and Eric formed a little circle of trust. Um, and a, little, a, a little alliance, if you will. I'm not f***ing leaving until I get a f***ing Battletoads and Double Dragon. So everybody can stop f***ing saying I got caught slipping. Hey, Eric, here. Billy, just wait. What? We got tubs coming, dude. So me, Billy, and Jay decided to finally stop screwing each other over. We're gonna make a circle of trust today. Okay, hey, Billy, hey, hey. Circle of trust. This is circle what of trust. Doing. We look in this one. One tub at a time. Here. Let's pull we it out. We take it out there. We distract everybody. This house is works, man. You guys are so conniving. This no one else with stupid Scott is, is looking at. Dude, that's not cool. That's mine. Nice uh, sports games. Why would you take it out? So it's a distraction box. Yeah. Lid. So wait, you've had this planned out the whole time? Shh. Just for stupid Scott. Wait, we gotta wait on Eric on this one. 
Well, y'all got me a couple times with this, didn't you? No, we pulled the boxes right out. Hey, no, you that, just weren't here. Hey, that first one was Scott. No, I knew something was up because you sat it down and go, Scott. Hey, look at this. You don't do that. You don't do that. I knew something was up immediately. All right, maybe you got me. Hmm. Circle of trust. I'll put that in my pile. I have it. Another game I'm seeing here that I think I gotta have is Young Indiana Jones. We're gonna put this one in my maybe pile. Eric, get away from my. Oh, that's a look through. Jeez. <laughs> Excuse guy. me, guys. Jeez. Bunch of sandwiches. <laughs> Damn it. <laughs> look at Jesus. Let's take, it, let's take the tub out. So let's take it out. Me and Jay take it yeah, out. Yeah, you move. Go. You're a uh, king shaft. Hell oh, yeah, you are. <laughs> king shaft. Hold on. Ooh, let me see. You can have those. They're not. Eric is so, like, definitely going to have somebody slip There he is. The thing is, is he's going so crazy. That you already had that. Can you two please stop touching my hands? Y'all are nasty and sweaty. God, you stink. I'm a little worried about my maybe pile here. Um, I think it may be a little too expensive. My back hurts, y'all. Because you were digging like rats for like hours. It's the way game chasing go, dude. This, this was awesome. Really cool. Like we haven't had a, because it is cool. <laughs> we haven't been able to dig like this in a long time. I'm looking on the Super Nintendo games and boom, Space Mega Force. Space Mega Force is a shooter on the Super Nintendo and. So you want to head upstairs? Why are you trying to get us out of here? It's kind of hot. Yeah, down we here, can do so that. That's fine. Because we need to see what the damage is going to be. So we got all our stuff together here. I think instead of trying to do Billy's pile, my pile, we're going to put everything together and just have a pile. It's all from unsorted inventory. There's no price stickers. I have no idea what they're going to be charging for this. This what do you think you in this like by itself? Because like, uh, I, I don't know the value of Vetrix games, so I just pulled it up. Remember average they were 20 to 30? like for when we had games, they were yeah. on we had, I think we had that up here before. Okay, we'll put this yeah. maybe. You know, it's all about negotiation at this point because every one of these games that we've got have just been sitting in boxes for however long and they haven't been able to go through them and price them yet. So, I don't know, we'll see what happens. I'm really feeling these, this other stuff. I'm, I don't know about, I don't know which of the is yours though. Mm, out of my stack, I really, nah, I'm about those, I like those, I like these. I can't live without them. Alright, so are you guys paying separately? No, we're gonna do this together. Together? Yeah. It's usually the best way to get the best deal on things is just everything, boom, all at once. It's a space megaforce, which you found downstairs. Or yes, something. pretty uncommon. Yeah, I haven't seen it in a little while. Now, if they're willing to work with us on some of these prices, we'll be spending a lot more money. Do you guys have like a value in mind, actually? This? Of everything? Um, like you guys know your prices. Can we take the huddle here? Yeah, you can take Let's a huddle. Take a huddle. Tell yeah. me what you think, all right? I want to ask you something real quick. What do you? <coughs> what do you top dollar on your stack? I, I know I don't want to go over two hundred dollars. That's just not even an option. So if we have to put stuff back, we'll have to put stuff back. Top dollar we can go on this, I think, is, is 175. Let's do five more, same thing, 75 for it all. All right, is that fair? Let's just try that. It is still a store. It's not going to be two dollars a game here. Like I said, we found these down there. There's no price on them. You know, yeah. you, obviously, if you come in here and they're ever priced, you're not going to do any haggling or anything like that, right? This is kind of nerve wracking. Would you be willing to do all this for 150? 150? 150. Let me look at this. I, okay. I didn't get a good look at this yet. Okay. So you know this game's pretty good. Yep. We rarely see this game. I'm surprised we have this many games downstairs, actually, to tell you the truth. <laughs> you guys dug pretty deep. Well, so. You do have two more of those. I'll okay, you really? Yeah. yeah. Do you have one in there? Um, <laughs> one in and the actually, case, there's one more. I have events. one right here, too. Yeah. So if that, <laughs> hey, so if that helps, mm -hmm. helps, uh, I guess helps so. our cars cost yeah. a little bit. That you helps know? you a bit. 
Uh, so, what do you think? Should we? I need a second. Should we? That's, should we get a second um, here? Can we get a second? Yeah, you get a second. That's, yeah. that's fair. Yeah, so you, you guys <laughs> get a second. On. Our initial offer was 150, which was fair, you know, because it could have been 15. This is hilarious. This is. I didn't isn't it? it was like a fucking so, court drama. K or C. I mean, regularly these would be more, but because. You know, I like you guys. I'd say around 180 is what I can do. What do you think, though? Let's just split the difference. Split what is difference. it? 165. The common strategy. Common strategy. All right. I think that's, I think that's good, man. It works for me. All right. In all fairness, we helped uh, we helped clean the back area there. <laughs> that's true, actually. Or did we make it oh, messier? No, there's no room back there now. I, I stacked the boxes a little better. I hope they're happy with that. Cause we are. <laughs> I'm ecstatic. I mean, we we had we have budget in our head of what we could spend, and they they hooked it up for us. Is what they did. They hooked it up for us. Look at how stressed he is. It's like I stole 3ds again. So one thing I decided to do was I, I did find the Battletoads Double Dragon. I decided to give it to Eric because uh, I, I don't know. My heart's too big sometimes. I don't give a crap if anybody says that their freaking dying kid needs his copy today. I am buying it. You know this one's like 75, 80 bucks. <laughs> yeah. So you knock that off there and then. I hate that you're like, you're like a joker, but so serious at the same time. Like, I could just see the beads of sweat just forming on Eric's forehead right now. God damn it. Are we ready? I'm probably just gonna walk away with one. Car. Oh, this ought to be Bring good. It. Gar. Yeah, yeah. This, you, you this ready? Ought to be good. Here. For the next book. Here we go. Here we go. I'm approaching the counter and I already have a game plan down. What would Jay do? What are we going on this right now? Like, no, that game is over $200 easily, so. Yeah. Like, you, you know that, right? Yes. I'm making an offer. 300 for all that. For all this? Yes. And this? Yes. I immediately get rejected. That was just Whoa. my out the window. Yeah. That's just my offer. Okay, okay. Yeah, it's good. To, yeah, you can start good. somewhere. You can start somewhere. Yeah. So, now here's the ones I really want. Okay. Those three. Those three are just what you really want. <laughs> yeah. So these are obviously premium titles. You know that. You know. Don't tell me you're finally gonna get Battle Toads. Yeah, that's why I have these two right here. Cause now I'm thinking of seeing what I can get for just these two. They're both really good games. And Shut up, Scott. <laughs> <laughs> I don't need you in New but York you, in my. You, I've been talking about that game all weekend. Yeah, I have you're been talking about this game all weekend. That game? If anything, you get that game only. To say you never see that, Eric. This is intense. I've never negotiated for a game this bad in my life. I think I've had a lot of practice up this trip, starting from game room trading post till now. What's the lowest you would go on this by itself? Because I know this game is rare. 150. Because I know this game is super rare, and like I know a lot of people that will want this, so... That makes it tough for you. Eric is really struggling with this. He obviously he wants this game. I'm thinking like Jay. I got the scumbag mentality going on. So I was thinking maybe 250. 250? Yeah. What about 200? 200. Oh man, that hurts. Uh, <laughs> this is pretty high for a game. I don't like to spend that much. 230, I think. I think that's 230. Kind of hurts though. It's pretty good price on Panic Restaurant in, in a, a, a uh, uh, retail store. If I spend this much on one game, I can kiss in any games, not just on this trip, but anywhere, goodbye for a long time. I really cannot afford it. Really? I don't. You really can't? <laughs> no. But he thinks he wants to spend the money. What's it mean? You no might food not for a week? No food for a week? It's Panic Restaurant. You could just feed off that. That was actually pretty good. It's a one-time offer, and no one else is going to get this offer, too. I guarantee it. Can I have a lifeline real quick? Oh, yeah, sure. Lifeline. Sure. lifeline. You need a huddle? <laughs> I think you should walk away from it. If you're trying to make a deal, and you're struggling that hard with the deal, then you, you don't need it. My instinct is telling me don't get that and see if I could get Battletoads and Mighty Final Fight. I mean, he's been going on and crying and crying and crying and crying about Battletoads Double Dragon. Now's his chance to finally get it. How much can you spend? That's an important question right now. 
I could do it, but it wouldn't be a smart thing to do. I think I'm going to try to get Battletoads, Double Dragon, and Mighty Final Fight bundled. That seems a little bit more realistic. And I'm not leaving without Battletoads, Double Dragon. I don't care what anybody says. This game's mine. Yeah, I can't get Pain Rush on, dude. As so much you as I want. Started you started bring it to 120. You started 100, they're going to say 140, bring it to 120. All right. I'm not leaving this store without Battletoads, Double Dragon. All right, since I like you two guys, yeah, I'd rather have y'all get somebody to buy this and y'all profit off of it. You serious? Yeah, I don't want to shortchange y'all on this. Okay. That is very honorable. That's uh, fair enough. So I'd, I'm sure. going to walk away from that, but... Oh, here we go. He's going to walk the tall. <laughs> Would you do 100 for both of these? Mm. I think 100 bucks for both of these games is more than reasonable. Well, I think my brother seems to have an idea here. I would say you did recognize this. I think we probably appreciate that and be able to do that for him. Okay. That was pretty yeah. honorable on his part too. We're gonna do this. Okay, we'll do this okay. for you yeah. since you did this for us. Yes. Right. Okay. Pinky swear. Pinky. Yes. <laughs> this is broken. How many pinky swears do you do? <laughs> Too many. This is broken. As you can see. So. I'll, I'll, I'll do a hundred for both of these. Okay. My moment of redemption has finally arrived. One less thing to bitch about. One less thing to read comments about. Battletoads Double Dragon is mine. And I got Mighty Final Fight. I want to make a good impression of Canada for mm. you guys. And I, I figured, you know, you just got that in and, you know. Okay. So you wait it, a second. Yes. Wait a second. What was that look? <laughs> I'm, I, I need Something to say goodbye, going sir. on there. Guys, say goodbye. <laughs> Chef. That I'll, I'll run into it someday. I'll, I know I will. I'll take good care of it for now. So I guess I'm going home happy. It's a good feeling. And nobody took the stinking game from me this time. They're not going to. Can I have it? No, f you. You're a guy. <laughs> <laughs> so, okay. All right, cool. We're gonna go head out. Okay. All right. Thanks, Thanks, guys. Thanks right, for visiting. All right, actually. Check it later. Later, guys. Thanks for coming. Thanks very much, guys. Overall, ANC Games, I'm impressed. We picked up a nice little stash of, of, of games. I haven't been to a store that had this many rare to uncommon games ever. Man, it was nice meeting you, dude. Yeah, it nice really was. Um, it's like America. Let's not make it a year before we see each other again. No, I'll be going to MagFest for sure. So after this long 36 hour trip, seeing UFOs, sleeping in basements with shadow people, <laughs> licking Keeb's nipple, it finally rewarded me in the end. I think I didn't get caught slipping for once. First of all, you bought Battletoads thinking that Jay was gonna get his. No, I knew he wasn't. And didn't I actually go over and say, Jay, you know what, I'm just, yeah. Once I went to Jay and was like, Jay, f Eric, don't let him get it. And Jay was like, no, why would you be like that? And I'm like, you know what? Yeah, you're right. That's exactly how that happened, actually. Our exploits in Canada have come to an end, and it's time to make our way back to Texas. This road trip has been a win. It's been fun. Um, we saw UFOs. We got yelled at. <laughs> If we hadn't gotten hookups from people just showing the Canadian hospitality and I, I think trying to welcome us into their country, I, it would have been, we wouldn't have came back with anything pretty much. Definitely looking forward to the trip back. Now that I got some good scores, the rest of the way will be just mm, sweet victory and felonies. Oil up and hit the gym with me. Norm's a handsome dude. So I'm excited to get back. Fortunately, to get back also means another 36 hour drive with Billy and Jay and Eric and more chode jokes and more yo mama jokes and more game chaser jokes. You have felonies? So Retro Palooza just happened. We got a bunch of buddies in town here. We're gonna do a little bit of game, ch ch, -ch chasing Just look at me. But yeah, I uh, came down to go to Retro Palooza, and Retro Palooza was amazing. We started Retro Palooza. It, it was, well, it was main, mainly Jay. It is actually our convention. We started the whole thing. I don't think you even really know what kind of sausage parties they throw. 
Retropalooza is a retro convention for gamers celebrating all things games. You can buy, sell, trade. It was fun. It was, it was, a, it was a good. It's Sunday. Retropalooza is over. We had a blast. But hey, we're going to take advantage of having a couple of buddies in town. We're going to go to a flea market we've never been to before. Some flea market. I don't know where we are. There's kind of nothing around here. This flea market is pretty much dead, except for a couple of vendors. Hey, Norm. Bases loaded too. I've been looking for bases loaded too. Second, it's the second season. The second season. Okay, so here we are at this vendor's booth. We got a lot of stuff here. A lot of Nintendo stuff, Genesis stuff, PlayStation stuff. Um, okay, did someone really fart this time? Yeah. I spy Genesis. I found some Dreamcast games. Did you? Sweet. He's pretty much got a little bit of everything. He's got um, like Atari games just sitting here, like the 800 computer. Might want to pull up that red thing. There might be some games under that red thing on the top there. Okay. You got those games there. It's an actual Sega Genesis. Anybody interested in Genesis? Norm? This dude just. I don't even think this guy knows what he has. He's just got random consoles stuffed everywhere. Oh, uh, there's... Oh, well, systems, games, Saturn. Anybody interested in Saturn? Under tables, under boxes, and Billy's butt, and your mom. It's just, just everywhere. Which one is it? Uh, that's the second version of it. Second version? I didn't yeah. know there was two versions. Oh, Doom's inside of it. Doom's actually not easy to find. Oh. And there's a spider. Hey, little spider, how you doing? Run, 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 run. What you doing? Going down there, gonna play Doom? All right. Oh, uh, loose Genesis games. These Sega Genesis games look like they've been collecting dust here for the last 10 years. They're crusty and crunchy. Techno pop. Don't really see any that catch my eye, but I do find a Hyperstone heist. Damn. Uh, it's a good game. It's actually what I was looking for yesterday. Now I already have Hyperstone heist. That's that it? Hyperstone Heist, yeah, on Genesis. Oh, for real? There you go. Now, Hyperstone Heist is essentially Turtles in Time, but for the Sega Genesis. Uh, there's the, the big difference is the levels are a little different, rearranged in a different way, and um, there's actually a, a couple more levels that weren't in the Super Nintendo version. It's not as good, in my opinion, as Turtles in Time. Uh, you know, people might disagree with me on that. However, it's still very good and one of my favorite games on the Sega Genesis. I don't know. Well, what, are you ask what are you asking on the Genesis and loose Genesis games? This stuff has obviously been sitting here for a very long time. He's going to work with you. He's going to give you a good deal on it, more than likely. Which one is that? Oh, yeah. Four dollars. Four dollars for a loose copy of Hyperstone Heist, no matter the condition, is actually pretty good. Four bucks. Could be more expensive. That's a very you good know, card. Yeah. I actually might get this and just clean it up and just trade it to somebody. Yeah, if you're not going to get it, I'm going to get it. Do you want it? I mean, if you want it, man. Just the label's kind of messed up. See, that, that's my main thing. Like, yeah. I tried getting it uh, yesterday, but it just... Yeah, it's reflected in the price, though. I mean, how much does this game normally go for? Loose, like 12, 15, something. Yeah. I've seen loose go for like 20. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, yesterday, complete, and it was 45, cheap. <laughs> Cheaper than what I normally It must have been gone up. You found it first, so I'll let you make a call. Go for it. All right, I'll tell you. The way I see it, you get a game like this, if it's cheap, you can always upgrade, you know, if you want a better label or whatever, or, or it complete, you know, down the road. But it's it's too good of a game to pass up for $4. What do you do with these? Nice. Mario, oh, that's cool, Mario Land 3. Yeah. That's a good find. Pretty good, actually. Yeah, that's yeah, that's very good. I have that one. Yeah, they. I mean, you try working something. Oh, this one is actually kind of rough to find. Like Crusader. I mean, well, kind of uncommon. So one good thing about having Alpha Omega Sin with us is he's a little guy. Hey, we got a we got a Atari Woody. Let me see. Six switch or four? Oh, four switch. Ah, so he's basically like our tunnel rat. 
and he's getting underneath the tables and stuff and just just digging shit out and just passing it here dreamcast genesis here's some games so that's kind of nice because i'm getting old and i got bad knees and for the atari i'm not okay uh, unfortunately it's a lot of stuff i already have anybody want a gamecube there's a purple gamecube back here I really hope that I'm like, oh, a little Samson. <laughs> okay, I'll take this. <clears throat> if this is like four bucks, it'd be worth it. I got the tennis. The Mario Tennis. So I'm looking through all the games, and, you know, naturally you're trying to find obscure things and stuff like that, and I come across one from Electronic Arts on Sega Genesis called Galahad. So the game looks really badass. I'm looking at it on the back, and I'm like, okay, it's a side-scrolling RPG, you know, it's set in like a fantasy world and stuff like that. And, like, got the manual, got the game, and everything looks good on it. Galahand, or oh, Galahad, uh, Galahad. That actually looked interesting. It, it honestly, it, like, it doesn't look bad at all. Mm -hmm. That's that's why when I looked at it, and I'm like, huh, and, I mean, it's complete. It, it's only, like, four bucks. Okay, I'll, I'll snatch it up. I mean, the worst that can happen is I get it home, play it, and say, like, this game fucking sucks. All right, give me all your money. Do six for that? No. Two each? Uh, no. Not gonna work. Three each? <laughs> okay, we start. That's four. Now we can still talk. Okay. <laughs> I'd do three on that, and then three on this. Norm's trying to buy his Hyperstone Heist here, and he's got a couple of Game Boy games thrown in. And it's fun watching this, because I'm not sure his level of flea market haggling. That doesn't sound right. <laughs> that sounds right. I, I, I still say I'm firm at four. Okay, so how about ten? Hey, that works. Okay, I'll do 10. <laughs> look at Big Norm rolling in. <laughs> okay, now look, I need to do a deal with you. What's up? Because that t-shirt of yours is coming off. Um, Oil up and hit the gym with me. This I'm right taking here? that one I was going to say, you don't have to beg him for that. <laughs> I'll, I'll do it. I'll, 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 I'll take my shirt off so often, it wouldn't even face Yeah, we can, we can trade for that t-shirt there. So just when I'm thinking that I'm not going to find anything here, I look up and I see a Transformer. What about that green little truck right there, that Transformer? Uh, yeah. Yeah, what about it? What about it? Is it for sale? Yeah, everything's for sale, bro. Everything's for sale. What do you want for it? Okay, now, I kind of know what that one's worth. Uh, tell me, hit me with it. Uh, since you're a good man, I'll go 25 on it. Yeah, I can't do 25. Oh, come on. You know what it's worth, right? Uh, that particular one? Yes. No. I, I honestly swear to God, I do not. Okay. I want him, but I don't want him $25 want him. About $45 worth. Okay. It's about it, right, the way it's his right there. Uh, I collect all the old school Transformers, but I don't keep up on them. Exactly. All right. Well, so make me an offer. I, I also had $20 in my pocket, but I right, I, have take, a I have I have it devoted take, to take my game. Take the t-shirt off that. If I give you the t-shirt, will you give me the Transformer? A t-shirt for an old school vintage G1 Transformer? I'll make that trade all day long. I don't care what kind of shirt I'm coming back with. Sons of Anarchy. You know, honestly, I'm not, I'm not surprised. I'm not shocked. I'm not like, oh my God. This is a first. You don't have to ask Billy to get naked. Billy's just naked. It, it, it just, just like, well, okay. Traded a shirt for a transfer because I'd have probably done the same thing, honestly. I'd have asked for a better fucking replacement shirt. It'll be a little tired. <laughs> yeah. A little bit, it's a little bit tight. I'm kind of wondering why this shirt even exists at all. It, it's it's so fucking tight and it's like it cut up in such a way it's like he, he should have just been like at a fucking roller disco or something wearing the sh it's a little sweaty is that you got to wash it first heck, heck yeah i'm gonna wash it first <laughs> he goes heck yeah i'm gonna wash yeah, it first definitely thank you dude that's awesome very good, man <laughs> very good very good well the reason i really wanted that atari shirt was because me and Atari go way back. Actually, my dad, he was the very first authorized Atari dealer in the United States. So he, he actually did all the working on them and stuff. It's Sons of Anarchy, so... <laughs> it's cool, and, and I'm cool from wearing it. Take it easy. Thanks, dude. Thanks again, man. Right. That's really cool. Thank you. Yeah, Skull and crossbones. I didn't even see that. What, what do you want for that? I don't have that one. Four bucks. I'll give you. 
four bucks for it. Thanks, uh, Bill. I did... Where'd you find that? There, there's a stack of NES games down here. So... Well, there's more! Mm -hmm. yeah. Quest. There's a little stack of games here, a little stack of NES games we completely missed. All of them I have. I don't have Skull and Crossbones, however. Now, I did rent this game back in the day. I did not like it. In fact, I thought it was trash. I um, haven't played it since, but I don't own it, so I gotta get it. Especially if it's only $4. Uh, honestly, I was pretty happy. I mean, it wasn't like it was any anything insanely rare, but I mean, the Dreamcast games aren't in like beat ass condition or anything like that. Cases are kind of rough, but the discs look good. This I never heard of. I really don't know what it is. To be honest, I just checked out the back of it and was like, it looks good and it's back from when Electronic Arts was actually a decent company. I ended up getting a Beavis and Butthead complete on Sega Genesis, which is the more awesome version. I, I like the SNES version, but the Genesis version is way better. Yeah, I'm making a deal on those video games. That lady just bought that? Yeah, and she's got a bunch of systems, Nintendo systems, Sega systems, and all this other kind of crap in there. And we're making a deal on it now, so if y'all stop back by, y'all can look at all that stuff. Okay, and you'll be here about an hour? Oh, definitely. Okay. All right, we'll be back. So come back in an hour. All right, I guess we'll see this guy in an hour. Let's go find something to do. I'm happy. Transformer, new shirt. The wrestling games on 64 were like super popular. Now we're going to this other flea market right down the road. That's cool, guys. Hello, ma'am. How are you? It's good. How about you? Uh, we're good. We're good. We're good. Yeah. We're good. Just nothing shady going on here. <laughs> all right. She's like, all right, nothing shady. Yeah. How you doing? We get that kind of crap all the time. <laughs> Wow, it's like tons of NES and Super Nintendo and 64 games. Ah, but they're all just common stuff that everybody has in their collection. I'm at uh, like 5.30 NES games, so it's getting pretty difficult to find stuff that I actually need. I always go to these places thinking, oh man, you know, there's, there's gonna be like a, a cowboy kid or a panic restaurant or just something really, just something even remotely obscure, like, I don't know, Terra Cresta or, or something like that. It seems like the more often we go to these places, it's just like hoops and silent service. It's a little disconcerting. Rambo 3, more like Rambo P, am I right? Uh. <sighs> Damn. Hey, I'm gonna have to, I'm gonna have to dig. See? That's so many games on PlayStation what is, 2. What is this? Obscure? Uh, it's kind of like take a modern day horror movie, like with teenagers and stuff. Oh man, there's a killer and some kind of crazy monster. That's what that is. It's not bad. Alpha is kind of like a video game encyclopedia. How much you, uh, your Wii games? Wii are 15. These older games, I let him have them for uh, five a piece. Snoopy and the Red Baron. I'm only going to get this because of a recommendation from Metal Jesus Rocks. He did it under underrated games on PS2 and said this was pretty awesome. One Super Nintendo game that did catch my eye because I don't see it around very often is Uniracers. I'm also going to be getting on PlayStation 2, Title Legends 2, and I'm going to be getting the Snoopy game, and I'm also going to be getting Nino Kuni on the PlayStation 3 because I've seen a lot of great things about it and it looks awesome. And their new, his new games are only like $15 a piece. Yeah, everything I got was f***ing awesome, considering the fact that those were all games that I wanted and just couldn't find, like, you know, decently. Because most people know what they're worth, so, and gum for less than five bucks a piece after a while, after I bundled them all together. So, yeah, it was awesome. Yeah, Alpha's cleaning up this trip, but, you know, Alpha's getting what Alpha needs, not what Jay needs. Mission complete! <laughs> The flea market, it's getting a little late here, so a lot of people are closing up. Um, seeing some games here, some games there, nothing really to, to talk about. But then, I see that Jay picks up Pikmin 1 and Pikmin 2 on GameCube. Where's the dang manual? Oh, wow. I've been wanting to check this out, actually. I don't have Pikmin 1 or 2. No manual. I don't ever run across them either, for a decent price anyway guy in the white van over there. That's yeah. Star Wars man. Thank you. You better hurry. Okay. Let's How much are you asking for these? Uh, you can have them both for $3. Both for $3? Yeah. Okay. 
$3 for both Pikmin 1 and Pikmin 2. You can't beat that. You cannot beat that. Like, like if I took if I took this this ball right here, I, I couldn't beat it. I couldn't beat it any harder than it was beaten. All right, thank you very much, sir. Yeah. You have a good day. You do. Billy found Pikmin 1 and Pikmin 2. Um, GameCube. <sighs> I mean, what else do you want me to say about it? Were you caught slipping? I wasn't caught slipping. It's whatever. I don't even care at this point. You had it in your hand. You could have had it for three dollars. I think you got no, caught slipping. You, no, you get caught slipping. Caught slipping. Yes. Norm, caught slipping. Hang on. He had it in his hand. Wait a By minute. By the definition he gave you not more than 10 minutes ago. Wait a minute. Wait a minute though. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Let's keep in mind that I said this has no manual and set it down. I chose not to buy that game. Hey, I didn't Eric, get chose, Eric chose not to get the Battletoads that's Double Dragon. True, because it had label damage. <laughs> <laughs> no, that's completely different no, because not. Not. Yes, it is because Eric's an idiot. <laughs> well, the, the, there's the difference. So are you now? I didn't want the game. I didn't get called Simpson. I didn't want the Eric game. Eric didn't want the game. Yeah, he did. You just Jedi mind tricked his dumb Maybe ass. Maybe I Jedi mind tricked you in there. You didn't even say anything. I didn't have to. I've gotten so good at it. <laughs> oh my god. This is the shit you get deep. Wait a minute. I did not say I did not care about the GameCube at all. Okay. You didn't consider it retro, so why bother? That's not what I said. I said on the GameCube, I have most of the stuff that I want to play on it. I'm not actively going after a complete GameCube collection like I am with, with NES or 64. Just slipping on everything. They're just like, damn, I wish I could get those really good games. I better put them back. Oh shit, Shark Swarm. Oh, well, I didn't really care. I didn't really want them. <laughs> Is that what you're telling everybody? I, I don't have a good reason for passing on the Pikmin. I just did. Do I regret it? No, I don't. Don't look at me like that with your stupid fucking eyes. Your stupid fucking fuck eyes. Knock it off. Here's the definition of caught slipping. Okay. Eric has his Battletoads Double Dragon, uncommon game. And then Billy's like, the label's bad on that. You don't want it. No, I don't want it. Puts it down. Yoink! Billy snatches it. That's slipping. Okay, slipping would be if there was a bin and Billy's looking through it, looking through it, looking through it. Nothing here takes off and I come right up and go, oh, wait a minute, panic restaurants. Caught you slipping. That's slipping. I had the games in my hand, put them down, said Star Wars toys and walked off. It sounds exactly like what somebody who got caught slipping would say. There was no gamble. I wasn't gambling saying, well, maybe I should put the games down in hopes that I find Star Wars toys. I put the games down because I didn't want the games. I wanted Star Wars toys. If you get caught slipping, it's not nearly as bad as if you get caught slipping on a top loader. He just mansion. Is that Luigi's Mansion in yeah, a different yeah, case? Yeah. yeah. That's Jack. But Luigi's Mansion is kind of rough to find now. Yeah. Two. I'll do two bucks. Why not? I got Luigi's Mansion because I wanted Luigi's Mansion. I didn't want the Pikmin game. Not that the Pikmin games aren't fun because I played them on the Wii U and it's pretty decent. So a nice little trip at this flea market, but now it's time to go back and hopefully that big bag of games that Don was supposed to get is going to be sitting there. Just like he said, we see a bag with a Nintendo and some Nintendo games. Never seen that before. What, Advanced Dungeons and Dragons? Um, damn it, I should have got that one. I, I don't know why I didn't. Son of a bitch. It's a good game if no one has it. Of course, I have it. I'm sure everyone has it here, but. A lot of really good games in this bag. Unfortunately, I think everybody here has most of them. But I did find me a couple of things that are really cool. Here we go. Uh, Two dollars. Right. Yes, sir. Uh, we asked on the clean kit. But okay. Well, what about these? Nothing. I know. I know. A couple of Funko Land slip covers for NES games. I I'm buying Air. Is what I want. I want to buy the Air inside them. Let's see um, how much is Texas Air nowadays? Uh, free. I thought. I was gonna say that when sounds it's good. Okay, so three bucks total. Yep. Yeah. Awesome, thank you very yeah. much. Yeah. Funko Land was basically the GameStop of my generation. Um, and I used to go there all the time. You know, these don't really have any value or anything, but they're really cool to me because I have a lot of memories of Funko Land. 
I roast hell for cheap. You know, I mean, I could go through on the internet and pick out and figure out which each one of these is worth. But hey, I'm talking about small, four dollars each. Go. Yeah, I wish there was some games in that bag that I didn't already have, but you know, I'm getting these two fun Colan slip covers, which is really cool. And all in all, the whole day was really awesome. Got to spend some really quality time with some good friends, and that's always good. You know, I don't mind going out hunting with Norm and and, uh, and Bill. They're not vulture dirtbags like me, Billy and Eric. <laughs> Both those guys have become really good friends of ours, so it was cool hanging out. I t I've talked to them on, on Skype, on the phone, talked to them online. You know, you see their videos, and everybody said the same exact shit. Oh man, they're just like in their videos. No, I, I'm. They're worse. They're fucking worse. <laughs> when you when you combine Alpha Omega Sin and Norm the Gaming Historian together, if they had a baby, it would be a really foul mouthed intellectual, a foul mouthed smartass. They uh, make fart jokes. They burp. It's the game chasers. What's wrong with these guys? <laughs> they're just. The two dudes that don't give a f and just have fun and do their own thing and like a lot of the same exact sh as me. So I already knew I'd get along with everybody. I, I knew from the mo and, and we already said it. I rolled in and it was kind of like, oh yeah, I've been hanging out with everybody the entire time. A and Norm, yep, yeah, just as big of a fucking weirdo. Oil up. Uh, well, apparently I'm jealous. I got caught slipping all fucking day long and um, I was a loser. That's all you're getting out of me. F you go to print, use it. So in our never-ending journey to find video games, um, Billy came across a contact one day. And the guy had some pretty cool vintage Star Wars figures. So I asked him if he had any vintage games as well, and he said he did. The only problem is they were stuffed in the back and he didn't know where they were. And we're gonna go check it out today. I got Chris, my cousin, to be our cameraman. I take beer with me everywhere I go. Obviously, you know, gotta have your beer. <laughs> the government. This sounds like a job for the game chasers. Well, you, you were telling me about it earlier, depending on what all's in there, like I said, an NES at a retail store is 50 bucks. No matter where we're going, whether we have an agenda in mind or not, we are constantly on the lookout for other places to stop along the way. Now on our way to the thrift store, we see an antique store. You always have to stop at an antique store. One of the pros to an antique store, whether there's games or not, you can usually find some kind of old something you might be looking for. Uh, Jay finds a Star Trek, I don't even know what you'd call it, but it, it's, a, it's, it's awesome. <laughs> um, I've never seen anything like this and I'm gonna buy it, especially for 15 bucks. Well, don't you wanna try it out for it? Yeah, I'm gonna plug it in real quick. Is it out If it doesn't work, I'm gonna try to get it cheaper. I'm gonna take this thing up front, I'm gonna plug it in, I'm gonna see if it works because it's video games and it's old and it's right up my alley. Now, while the cameras weren't rolling, cause you know, Chris is an amateur. Well, all our cameramen are amateurs, but uh, I was able to find a vintage model kit from Star Wars. Um, these vintage model kits, I would, I loved them back in the day. I would put these things together all the time. <laughs> oh, I see, look at that. There you go, you gotta get the right angle, you see the little... Yeah, I see him. Lights come on, thing fires up, boom, we have a working video game here. I, well, vid video game, would you even call it a video game? You got a working game. So, hey, I think it's a great deal. I guess I'm getting it, because it does work. Well, it's a cheap price on it. It is. I knew I had to have it. You don't like Star Trek. You like Star Wars. Here we go. I got the Star Wars model. You got the Star Trek game. So why don't we just switch? <sighs> Here's the problem with that. Um, I don't like models. It's something that you and your son can do. Y'all can put the model together and it'll be fun. I see where you're going with that, however... I mean, you can't put a price tag on time spent with your son. You're right, and I spend as much time as possible with him. I don't need a stupid model to spend time with him. Should we not stop? I'm just saying. Well, like you said, you don't mess with them, they don't mess with you, right? I'm not afraid of a what are they gonna do? Shake us down for our lunch money? <laughs> Come on, dude. Don't film, don't film. What? I'm not filming.
I ain't scared of those stupid bikers. I ain't here. Let's go. So I called the guy beforehand. He knows we're coming. Um, he says that he has an Atari in the back room. Well, I know there's that game. The, the Atari that was stuff. still there. I, I haven't had anything come in. Okay. But uh, what's back there? Mm -hmm. I don't know. Billy's an idiot. There, there's not going to be any video games in here. <laughs> that's why I hadn't found him. I was doing the movie stuff around trying to find stuff. I mean, he said that we have free reign to look for it. I actually work for a, uh, a nonprofit organization and um, we, we help victims of domestic, domestic violence. So the company I work for, uh, we we actually have a couple of thrift stores. So I'm, I'm kind of used to this kind of thing. Oh, so if it's not gonna uh, scare you at all to step back there. No, not at all. <laughs> I mean, I'm used to that. We're gonna get to digging and see what we can uncover. This may take a while. I'm not gonna be a negative Nancy here. I'm just gonna dig in and see what I can find. everywhere, look everywhere. Digging through all kinds of crap here. I'm digging through lamps and penny loafers. Parachute man? Parachute man. I thought no, parachute. no parachutes though. Just trying to sniff out the games here. Sniff out the games, sniff out the games. But all I smell is moldy clothes. Belts. Belts. Shoes, shoes. Bunch of shoes. The more I go through these boxes, the less I find is not discouraging me. Because if it's that last box that I open that that is the, the pay dirt, so to speak, striking gold at the end of it all, then it's worth it. It's worth going through every single one of these boxes back here to find what I'm looking for. <coughs> We need to find something today. I'm all for digging for buried treasure. I think that stuff is fun. I've said it before. This is a little ridiculous. Oh, there's the one find of the day. <laughs> if you look, you will find. Well, it's something. Yeah, it's something. What is it? Spider-Man? <laughs> It's NCAA mm -hmm. No, we're not that lucky for it to be Spider-Man. Yeah. Random Super Nintendo sports game. It's actually encouraging me more and more to keep going. Not that I was getting too discouraged to start with, but this just makes me think that there has to be more stuff here. Huh? What? Hey, Jake. Did you find something? Well, on that oh, shelf, that metal that. shelf. Well, lo and behold, we've got something here. It's not an Atari 2600. Someone was selling this for five bucks. Super Nintendo. Yeah, it's a little ugly, it's a little, little yellow, but hey, if it plays, it plays. That's all that matters. I don't see any cords, but it's a start. It's not a big deal. I'm not really interested because I want the video games. We're finding little bits here and there. You know, we're looking for that big jackpot now. I hated that movie. We've been here at least an hour. Uh, we still haven't stumbled across the jackpot at this point. It's getting hot. I'm getting dirty. Er. You know, if we were the close chaser, we we would we'd be we'd be set right now. We kind of skimmed over it, but we didn't really dig into it. We didn't I don't think that's where they are. I don't. I don't remember some. I'm pretty sure I remember some. Where do Where do you think they are? He thinks they're somewhere in that area, like the back back corner or. No, the blue shelf. Blue shelf. Okay. Yeah. Well, let's dig a little bit more then. <laughs> but you know what? As long as there's still boxes to go through, let's do it. Oops. Stop. Oh! oh! <laughs> 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 2600 games. I don't even see that at the same time. <laughs> it was just oh, oh sh! <laughs> okay, let's let's be uh, let's be civil, civil about, about this. It? Yeah. This one's mine. 
pretty much what has happened here is I, I have stumbled across a tub full of Atari games. Because I'm a winner. How is that one yours? Because I just... <laughs> Okay, camera guy needs a little help here. My leg is holding this up. Son of a Taz is mine. This is mine. You got that one already. Why don't you just see how much y'all can bundle the whole damn box? Really? Really? Thank you. Yeah, thank this you. thank you for your expertise. This so one's mine. That's mine. Now, unlike a lot of people probably watching, I was old enough to really get into and appreciate the 2600. Uh, that's when I started gaming, the 2600 and then television. My earliest memories of Atari were, were um, Empire Strikes Back. Um, obviously Pong. I mean, my first video game memory was boxing on the Intellivision, and shortly after that, it was Pac-Man and Space Invaders, all the classics on the 2600. Atari's part of video gaming history for me, and just in general. This is mine, I called it. I just called it. Hey, for real, my leg, my leg. Hey, will you help this crybaby? Oh, for F's sake, man. It feels like we're at a dump. It's just massive trash bags everywhere, just complete chaos. Hey, I'm glad we came back over here. Yeah, no kidding, right? Son of a... Now I'm stuck. Oh, good God, man. It's like Tweedle D and Tweedle Tom. Hang on a second. <laughs> One of the ones sticking out right now is Smurf. Now, yeah, it was, it's from ColecoVision. Yeah, back in the day, ColecoVision would make games for the 2600. I don't think they'd get away with that nowadays. Uh, PlayStation saying that they're going to make an Xbox game or something like that. But back in the day, man, that stuff was going on all the time. One of the games in this lot that we found, um, a lot of people may or may not know about it. There's a Mario Brothers on the 2600. Um, obviously the graphics aren't as good, but the graphics for what it was, not too bad actually. And personally, that's one of my favorite games on the NES is Mario Brothers. Not Super Mario Brothers, Mario Brothers. Yeah, but at least we succeeded. That is true, we found stuff, so that's good. Hang on, I'm not done though cool as it is that we found the 2600 games, it's kind of just whetted our appetite. I'm not done, because I am i don't know what else is in here. I'm gonna keep looking. I'm going to exhaust all possibilities before I walk away from here. So we're not done here yet. Is, oh, I don't know. <laughs> I don't know about this, because remember. Sketchy, is that a bad oh, idea? Dude, don't do it. Although it would make for a good video. What if I die? Yeah, <laughs> go viral. <laughs> no, nah, dude, don't, don't do it. No, that's good, that's safe. You know what? Billy might be taller than me, but I'm more agile and athletic than him. I'm you're going not. up like a spider monkey. I'm no, going up. Not. Yes, I am. Yes, I am. Yes, I am, dude. I'm way more athletic than you. Whatever. You know how I can prove that? You broke your freaking ankle on the rocky steps. <laughs> hey, I'll make sure you don't fall. Yeah, support me by my butt. We're destroying this back place. That's kind of funny. I wonder if that's all the stuff he had as far as games go. We found them. <laughs> I told you they were back here. Hey, um, do me a favor and put that with the rest of it, would you? Oh, hey, sweet. Hey, what is it? Hey, we can look through it a little bit later. I'm looking through it now. I know you are. We have another box of uh, 2,600 goodies. Boxed games this time. For some reason, for you can find a lot of box Atari stuff. Now, I love the NES boxes, but I really love the 2600 Atari uh, boxes, the Intellivision boxes. Man, the artwork on them were freaking cool. They have that watercolor look to them, a lot of them. The artwork on Atari games is, is like none other. That's part of the reason why I love to collect boxes. It's just simply for the artwork on them. That was mine. Dude. Really? <laughs> that one's mine. I find the box is just gonna claim everything. The boxes are mine. Actually, is this a, that's a 26. Oh, this is the, uh, I thought that was a 72. And Atari 2600 Junior. It's smaller, they dropped the wood grain. It came out in 84. They were basically just trying to squeeze every last dime that they could out of, out of, you know, the, the 2600. That one's mine. And one of the games in here that's caught my eye already is a game called Infiltrate. Uh, you go up and down trying to find the documents and then uh, the secret agents that are trying to kill you look more like fry guys if you ask me. But you have to go up and down elevators that are constantly moving and stuff. I mean, it's, you know, it's your basic 2600 game. Only because it looks like uh, a <laughs> stupid movie you uh, like. Logan's Run. Logan's Run. Hey. I like Logan's Run. Hey, hey. Logan's Run's a good movie. Is <laughs> Logan's Run's not a good movie. Well, of course I hadn't seen it in 20 or 30 But years. it was good when you saw it, right? 
Yeah, it seemed like it, was, it had Farrah Fawcett in it. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> With the exception of the gratuitous nude scenes in it, uh, the movie freaking blows chunks. Don't you call yourself the Kingfisher? <laughs> It is. Look at the dumb look it on his is. face. <laughs> he had it like on his license plate or something. Uh, <laughs> is he serious? No. You had it somewhere. It was like a bumper sticker or something. <laughs> Come on. Dude, you're lying now. Oh. You're freaking lying. I never had it on my, my license plate. That's the thing about being a redneck. They want to go game chasing, but the car breaks down. Guess who's going to fix it to keep them game chasing? Me. That's who. Yeah, I need some light back here. There you go. Nazi. Copenhagen, wake up, crack the cold one. I feel like we should just keep it on now, huh? No sh Sherlock. Having Billy's cousin Chris be our cameraman is uh, entertaining, if nothing else. Sometimes you got to hit a and mute button, though. Yeah, of course Bigfoot exists. What are, you, what are you stupid? I know I've had I've had encounters with him, and what's wrong with these guys? <laughs> Where'd you set the other camera? Huh? Where'd you set the other camera? It's over here. Really? <laughs> that was just chilling back yeah. there. Mine. Put that with the rest of it, please, sir. Oh, man, I don't have the Telegames version. I don't either. Now, this is the Sears version. And again, just like the Junior, no difference in the gameplay or anything. I'll just have to I'll double. put in the maybe pile. <laughs> the maybe pile. <laughs> All right, I'm finally satisfied. I feel like I have gone through every nook and cranny of this place. I have Eyes of the Hawk. I found this. <laughs> Technically, that's all mine. Some of it I have, some of it I don't, some of it I need, some of it I don't. Hey, so since I found these, technically they're all mine, right? You know, we're gonna hit this guy with a with with an offer for everything and see if he bites. They're all mine, right? Sure, yeah. Uh. The only games there in that entire thrift store, and boom, it took them like a good hour and a half, two hours to uncover them, but they found them. Pretty amazing, if you ask me. So, uh, well, what are you thinking on all of it? Um, one thing to consider if you're going to make an offer on, on a, a bulk like this is how much of it do you have? Did y'all count them? No, I did not. Now, if neither of us had a 2600 in games, we'd be willing to pay a lot more for this lot. I'm not trying to pay super high dollar retail price for it. Uh, at the same time, though, I don't think this gentleman wants super high dollar retail price. About 50 bucks for the lot. We'll do it. So both Jay and I look at each other and I think we both realize that, you know, $50 for this lot is is a good deal. Well, we yeah. really appreciate you letting us I, I appreciate you guys coming down. Your time. Uh, appreciate it. Yeah, you're gonna enjoy that. Did we find anything super rare? No. But that's not what it's always about. Would I like to find a Samson or a Flintstones every time we go game chasing? Of course, but it ain't gonna happen. And anyone who, who does what we do, whether you're on YouTube or not, you know exactly what I'm talking about. You know that there's a lot of hit and misses. More misses than there are hits. You guys get to see the highlights. Um, but to find this much Atari stuff and to find it cheap, yeah, that, that, that's a success in my opinion. The North trip out here. Plus, it's always fun to just rummage through stuff. Oh, yeah, absolutely. This was a really cool change of pace to come across something uh, a little different for a change. No, I'm not. I'm not coming off the phaser battle. I might. I might let you take it home with you, but it's mine. You're not getting it. Well, I might not ever see it. Just like my AVGN DVD <laughs> season one, volume one. Volume one. Yeah, I haven't seen that since you you borrowed it. I was, borrowed I, it I, I was honestly. I was honestly hoping you forgot about I that. I didn't forget about that. <laughs> so stupid. <laughs> I'm sorry, I'm not gonna go down on my knees. I just put my coonskin cap on. I'm gonna go out in a blaze of glory. I'm gonna go out a free American. Well, I'm a floating head. Uh... We're here at MacFest again. Um, hopefully it's gonna be a little bit bigger, a little bit better, and uh, a lot of bit fun. Our third.
third MAGFest in a row. And of course, just like all the other MAGFests, the highlight of this is going to be hanging out with the boys once again. I love MAGFest because it, it basically gets a chance for us to just hang out with all the retroware guys again. So MAGFest is the retroware party essentially, so that's cool. Um, I'm really excited because I get to meet my Twitter crush, um, Ian, from the completely unnecessary podcast that Pat, 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 Pat does. Meeting Ian from Stupid Pat's channel was uh, was awesome. I, I said, I've always wanted to meet Ian. And me and Ian, I think, are going to bond both mentally and physically. But we, we, we'll see. I don't know. So Pat, like he always does at every convention, he brought a stash of doubles. He's coming to this convention with a lot of really rare and uncommon games on pretty much any system you can think of. Lucky for us, the convention hadn't started yet, and we got dibs. I'm getting from Pat a Snow Brothers on NES. Really hard game to find, and it's actually a really good game on Nintendo. <laughs> I got some wacky races from him. It won't, wasn't bro prices, but he was still hooking it up pretty good because he could have taken those games down on the floor and made way more money than he made off of us. For whatever reason, Pat just has rare and uncommon games rain into his, his, his panties you know, whenever he walks through the flea market. And I don't know how that is or why that is. I guess the only explanation really is that San Diego flea markets are just like candy lands or something. I don't know. I got Jimmy Connors Tennis. I got ALF on the Master System, which is the one of the rarest games on the console. <laughs> It seems like every year there's less and less game vendors, which is less and less chance to catch someone slipping or for a hookup. There are a few booths here at MAGFest that are offering um, fairly fair market value deals that um, actually for convention prices are okay. It's always nice when we get gifts though. I don't know if you have, if you have it, whatever, but you could always use two, I guess, you know what I mean? Yeah, check it out. Let's see what it is. I think it's a little more up your alley anyway. Oh, look at that. I don't have one of these actually. Yeah, man, it's yours. That's freaking awesome, man. Thank you. No problem, man. That. I appreciate what you guys are doing. I watch the game chases. That's what keeps me collecting, dog. Otherwise, I'd have quit. It, it's awesome. It's one of those awesome things to have that I never did. It was way too expensive at the time when it came out. I could not afford it. I, I don't like that. Jay's um, undeserving. I like Tekken. If anybody should get free stuff around here, it should be me, because I'm a handsome one. Our collecting panel, well, hang on, I can't say R because Billy wasn't there. The collecting panel that I was on with Rue and Pat went really well. Um, probably because Billy wasn't there. Billy apparently had some kind of fucking headache or something. I got a migraine. You see, little known fact, I have back and neck problems. Progressively getting worse. Hours and hours and hours and hours and hours and hours and hours of editing will do that to you. Really? One of the side effects of having neck pain and neck problems is migraines. Some of these migraines might last three, four days. This one in particular is lasting me 24 straight hours. Take some fucking Excedrin and you fucking nut up and you go. 24 straight hours. Oh yeah, so not only did Billy miss the panel, stupid Melvore walks in 20 minutes late. What, 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 I mean, what's going on? So, so it's a little past midnight at this point and I decided I was gonna, you know, actually try to enjoy myself instead of filming for these two chuckleheads. And I decided to go to the, uh, the arcade and play some games. And I had a good time for about an hour and an hour and a half or so. Then I started getting sleepy. Oh, that's, what else that's, is that's new? unusual. You wake nice. up and you're Do you mind? You wake up Do you sleepy, mind? Be quiet. I'm trying to tell a story okay. here, all right? Okay. Hey, hey, okay. He, he was awake for an hour and a half, so of course he got <laughs> sleepy. <laughs> Being Human was amazing. They uh, played on the main stage. I think they were actually the the like highlight band. Have you ever seen those old like, TV footage and stuff and of the, of the Beatles playing and you see a bunch of girls in the front and going, oh, they're screaming, that was me. I felt like a groupie. I wanted to go up there and do the robot and I was kind of debating whether or not 
I should, considering there was like security on both sides of the stage just waiting to tackle me if I tried something like that. Yeah, they were pretty badass. Uh, as usual, they were badass last year, badass this year. They'll be badass again next year. Travis got it made, man. I could sing. <laughs> the concert was great. I loved the concert. Man, those guys can play. Those guys are good. Yeah, I'm jealous of their handsomeness and their talent. It's always nice to see. It, it's, it's pretty bad when you disgust your own self. I know. Prime time on Saturday. Good stuff. Fully retro wear TV go. It's always um, really cool when somebody walks up to you with a big bag of goodies to give. And it's their way of just showing their appreciation, you know, for the videos and stuff. And, you know, anything at all that people decide to give us is always appreciated. <laughs> Ryan gave us a painting that was us double dragon and we were kicking the shit out of Pat and stupid Eric. <laughs> It's too me. That is freaking awesome. Look at the Dongo and Melbourne up here. Who did that? Did you do that? Yeah, I grew up in Tanel. I still got some pain in my fingers. If anytime anyone busts on Eric and busts on Pat, yeah, day made. I don't know, baby. We should do that for a second. This is going on my wall, seriously. That's that's badass. I really think it is. Uh, that shit's just great to me. <laughs> yes. Yes. All right. Going I already like this. So I get handed to me some Ninja Turtle magazines, and that's awesome. And I see Jay get handed a game in a pink little plastic thing. No way. No fucking. Are you serious? First thing in my head is this son of a bitch. <sighs> we have some great fans. Jason from Canada. He gave us an action 52. Completely speechless. I'm completely speechless right now. <laughs> Don't happen often. I get handed a cart and I'm thinking, oh, well, dude, if he got action 52, what did I get? I open the thing up. Do you want to? Yes. Black Rabbit, uh, Scott. Berry and the Green Berry. Where did you get these? Uh, buddy in uh, Cambridge, Ontario. Wow, yeah. that is, that is, I don't even know what to say. That is just freaking awesome. Dude, that's insane, man. <laughs> Dang, man, that's, I'm, I'm speechless, uh, that's honestly. Why I got a Regina and asked her if you uh, had those two or not. Oh, you did? I was surprised she actually knew that I didn't. That is freaking awesome. I, I can't even like... Yeah, I mean, dude, that is... That's not something you expect, you know? I was speechless. Like, I couldn't understand. I didn't even know what to say, like, at that point. What do you say at this point? What do you say when somebody hands you an Action 52? Holy shit, man. I just can't say thank you enough. Like, there's... You, you, can't, you can't put into words how, like, awesome and great and... Just how much, it's just awesome. The fact that somebody would spend this kind of money just to give something like this to us is freaking incredible. Why would anybody give us two chodes of an Action 52? This is a legitimate question. Why would anybody give us two chodes an Action 52? Billy didn't deserve the Action 52, but it's one of those things where you can't get one of us something and not the other uh, because it, we the other one will act like a complete and utter little little crybaby bitch like a freaking seven-year-old like where's mine? That's exactly what would happen because I'd have done it too. It's not anything on Billy. I could stink. I'd have given one to Eric <coughs> Just just to spite Billy and Scott Scott was mad Scott's face was priceless Oh, I want to hear the, the, uh, the, what is the fucking Price is Right music right here, right now. The look on Scott's face was absolutely priceless. Now, Scott had the same look on his face that Jay had on his face whenever I picked up the Flintstones. Did you see this shit? Yeah, I saw that shit, you piece of shit. Are you jelly? No, I'm not jelly. 
you know, it, it burned a little to uh, to see those two scumbags get something like that. So it definitely it definitely got my uh, my blood boiling. I'm happy for them at the end of the day. I'm definitely glad that my friends have some games, but those undeserving scumbags. You know, usually when we shoot these interviews, we're shooting them in the perspective of things happening at the same time. I think it's important now to kind of go back and look into the past and kind of break the fourth wall and say that this MacFest in particular was um, bittersweet. Um, I was fortunate to actually spend a little bit more time, one final time with Ju Wario, Justin Carmichael. It was, it was, it was especially nice to see Justin. With the chaos going on at MagFest and everybody running around trying to get everything done and all their obligations, and it was nice to just to just sit there and just shoot the breeze with them and talk about video games and favorite gaming series and stuff like that. Uh, one of the biggest memories I will take back from our last time with Juvario is the fact that during the pub quiz, which we came in second place, almost took first place once again two years in a row, was that he was wearing a Game Chaser shirt the entire time. The entire time he was wearing a Game Chaser shirt during that. And he did that for no other reason than to just say thanks um, for, for us helping him out in the past and just wanting to do nothing other than to just, you know, kind of say, hey, Game Chasers, thank you. And, you know, I'm going to try to try to plug you guys. And it was just, you know, it was just a good gesture on his part. He was just being a good friend is what that was. Yeah, you know, he, I'm sure he has like a million different shirts in his closet, yet he chose to wear a Game Chaser shirt. That's special. And he was just the same as always, you know? Jubilant, um, cordial, friendly, warm, inviting. I mean, I'm glad he was there, I'm glad he went, I'm glad I got to see him one more time. I mean, what, two weeks later, he, he wasn't with us anymore, so. Hey everybody, I'm Jim Wario. Fest was fun because it's it's basically hanging out with the boys time the arcade it's, it's always good had a great time hung out with the boys got some stuff better actually because we came back with some games I remember the first time we went to MacFest man that was a nightmare second time a little better this time definitely better with the games I I did I you know what I I don't think I bought anything at MacFest now that I think about it Everything I got at MacFest was a gift, which is very appreciated, thank you. So a couple things I did get at the convention that were not cut on camera because for whatever reason, Melville just decided he wasn't gonna roll this whole time. I started getting sleepy. I got Castlevania X, very good game, underrated, underrated Castlevania game. And I got Scat, another really good game on the NES. <laughs> He hooked me up on this. Like there was like somebody who was like a fan, and um, everybody else was selling this for like 80 bucks. And he had one. He had. He goes, "Hey, I got a stash out here in my backpack. You want to see it?" And it's like a stash of what? He goes, "Video games. You want to see?" And I'm like, "I don't know, man. There's a lot of people around us. We're kind of out in the open." He was like, "It's it'll be okay. Just look at." He opened it up. I see Scat just sitting there, and I pull it on. And go, how much for this? He's like. 50 bucks and I'm like, 40 bucks. And he's like, okay, let's get uh. So at this convention, there were no pat pranks, which um, was very, quite disappointing. However, um, you know, both of Jay and I were under the weather a good portion of this convention. If you constantly just tear a man down, just constant, then he's more prone to snap. And then the joke would be on us. So we gotta pace ourselves a little bit. You know, we can go one convention without giving the, the poor little guy a wedgie, but next convention it's on. It comes down threefold. So Pat, watch out, Game Chasers are coming. <laughs> Thank you.
There was no happenings, no goings-ons, no shenanigans. Not on my part anyways. I was sick most of the convention. You take some fucking Excedrin and you fucking nut up and you go. On the way there, uh, I started feeling a little under the weather. And as the days in convention progressed, I progressively got worse and worse and worse. This was a weird ass convention. Just all around. Like us being sick, things happening that I can't talk about on camera. I go back upstairs to, to go to sleep. I knock on the door. And mind you, there's like five other dudes in this room at this point. Nobody will get off their lazy butt and wake up to open the door for me. And I'm sitting there knocking and I'm knocking. So for about 15 minutes, I'm doing this until I give up. So I had no other choice. I went back down to the, to the game room. I, I played games as best I could until almost five o'clock in the morning. I didn't even know part of this. You were in the room. How do you know I was in the room? Everybody was in the room. There were times where I wasn't in the room. There were times where I was sleeping in the floor of some random hotel room. <laughs> what the f went on at MacBest? What did I miss? This is a great part. I feel like I'm kind of like involved in this group. Like, uh, you know, I'm kind of like, you can go hang out and whatever and, you know, do this crap with you. But I'm not so close with y'all that I'm getting dick pictures yet. That, that's, we I'm can change perfect, that, I'm right? Perfect, we, God, we, I swear, we can if change I get a full heart on a bait bit, Eric, I'm gonna be pissed. Did you still have it? Oh, no. Uh, really? Really? Of course he has it. It's saved in a folder on his phone. Man, I don't know. Your wife walks in. Oh, my God. <laughs> No way you explain that one. So Billy went game chasing without me, which is not uncommon because, you know, we're always looking for games. So I met this guy at his flea market booth uh, about two weeks ago. Got some pretty good stuff, made a new contact, and this dude told him that he had more stuff at his home. Now the flea market's not open today, it's not the weekend, so we're gonna go by his house and see what he has. I like get on YouTube, no right? Kidding. My channel feed, so I'm like, boop, 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 boop. And I see like, eight, like I don't even like, I'm not even subscribed to 8Vic Eric because I know what kind of shit he posts. And then this douchebag goes on there and likes something on his freaking channel and shows up on my freaking feed. Did you see so that? then I have freaking nutsack and tidy white. Did you guys not say? Feed. Did you guys see the twerking video? Uh, he did? I know. <laughs> no, I didn't. I don't have any dip. I gotta go to the store. Now, whenever I first met up with this guy at the flea market a few weeks ago, I scored big time. I got Feria on the NES. Really hard game to find, and a game I didn't have and needed. So, I'm just hoping that he has even better stuff at his place, or even comparable. We pull up, and I see a barn, basically, full of uh, literally junk. And it brings a smile to my face. I'm ready to dive in and see what we can find. Hey, look what I found. Look what I found. So he's got a, a toolbox here, and it is full of games. However, I think I have pretty much all of them, just about. This toolbox full of games is, is pretty much a bunch of commons. Some uh, Xbox stuff, some PS2 stuff, some uh, Super Nintendo games. Uh, stuff I've already got. Space chimps? <laughs> really feeling the pressure to get something here, because we came out all this way. Basically, you weren't getting the job done, so she thought something was wrong with you? <laughs> Correct. <laughs> Bugs Bunny lost in time. Now I'm seeing Bugs Bunny's Lost in Time. Uh, you know, it's a game that came out in the wake of Super Mario 64. It's an action platforming game. I don't know how much action there really is into it, but it's a platforming game, 3D platformer, and it looks pretty interesting. I love Looney Tunes, and, you know, this thing's five bucks. I might as well get it. So the great thing about this is that I know he's not going to yell at me for looking at the disc. I guarantee y'all they don't gonna work. If they don't, you switch it out or get your money back. You know what, what I'm doing. Yeah, no, it looks it looks pretty good. Nah. What's up, Doc? Where are the video games? Like what kind? Like uh, the older stuff, like Nintendo, Super Nintendo. That's probably all I'm gonna have. You know, I told him I wasn't sure how many I had. Okay. Oh, you don't have the uh, the rest of the ones that you sold at the flea market. Like the, no, they're up there. Oh, okay. good building. Okay. So the gentleman's telling us that this may be all he has. Uh, we drove a pretty good ways out here. We're not ready to give up. So is there a chance that you have more stuff? Mm -hmm. Is there a chance you have more games somewhere? There's a chance. There's a chance. Okay. Dude, look at all the bins full of DVDs. Like, like it, it, it would be over this section. 
this section over here? Yeah. We're going to jump right in and start swimming in these boxes, see what we can find. Come through. Do yeah, what you want to. You need to gather up about $500 a month. At this point, we're here. We have to, we have to dig. This is good because when he falls and breaks his neck, all the games are mine. Oh, by the way, I did spot something. Well, at least there's something here. I'm looking at a tub of consoles. I'm pulling it down right underneath between Jay's legs. I don't think he saw it. Take the hat. Just consoles? Controllers? Any, any like, any S or anything? PS2. PS2. Unfortunately, I have every system in here. <laughs> it's, I mean, it's your N64s, it's your Sega Genesis, it's just things you run across all the time. And unless these were like two or three bucks, you know, we're, we're not going to be getting any. And the only reason we do that is because we can trade them into a local store that gives some pretty decent credit. Um, this guy, you know, it's, it's, it's part of his game to, to buy and resell video games, so I don't think we're going to get these for five bucks each. Oh, no, we're, digging. we're digging. digging for them. I do, however, see a zapper. And you can never have too many zappers. Need a zapper? I don't actually. Do you put it aside? Get it. Put it aside. Your stupid cousin. I've gone through probably like four or five through the course of my collecting that that stopped working for whatever reason. Maybe I'm breaking them or I don't know. Damn, cookies give me gas. I mean, you can always use a new zapper, I guess. That's just kind of dumb. I guess you could really have too many. You know, if if your entire room was filled with zappers, that would that would be too many. That'd be too many. What do you ask on this? Ten bucks. On a zapper, ten dollars is, as some people would call that high. I'm at five, um, just because I already have a few. Yeah. I would call it high personally because I already have a couple of zappers. This is just one extra for me, so you know I'm not willing to to, to go that high on it. I do you five. Old. I will do five bucks for an extra zapper. Why not? Some Genesis games. I have all of them though. Nothing I need in there either. What'd you find? Some Atari stuff. Found another box with some random wires and an occasional Atari game thrown in. Now it's all the common ones like Combat and Pac-Man and, and all that stuff. But it's still, it keeps you, it keeps you going, you know. It keeps you saying there's games here, so we gotta keep looking. Which game is that? Monopoly. Happy that we found them. Hey, on last episode, we, we finally ran across those that, that Atari bunch, you know, so we're, we're not going to leave any stone unturned here. We're just going to keep going. Come on. We come across this red tub. We got a good feeling about this one. Something. Damn it. Blankets. This might be worth pulling out. Yeah, you know, I was just about to open that up too. Great. <laughs> I like the silver game cubes, cubes the best actually. Oh, you have one, so it's all yours. I have one too. What about your stupid cousin? We've been here probably an hour and it's looking less and less and less likely we're actually gonna find anything. What's in here? Back to the Panic restaurant. Oh, there's a controller at least. Yeah, we found some games. Uh, nothing that either one of us are going to really take. Um, 
this point is kind of looking like a wasted trip because this wasn't exactly close. The pants are getting tight. I don't have to worry about my special $14. Now, I've been down to look at something over there. Don't <coughs> check out my ass. At this point, we're, we're just getting desperate. We want to find something. We want to find something that we need. Is that a dino ball? <laughs> if it is, it's mine because I'm holding it. No, there's so <laughs> watches. <laughs> In Melbourne, we're just mistaking watches for a dino box. <laughs> I'm stuck there and I have to listen to all of the, 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 the just mind-numbing babble coming out of these two. No, this is a big deal. After all this time, we finally find something. All right. I, I just spotted something down there. This is why we do it. This is why we dig and we get dirty and we do it for hours and upon hours upon hours. <laughs> a Commodore Plus 4 in the box. Commodore Plus 4. I just absolutely love old computers and especially like the artwork on the box and stuff. I love them. Finding this Commodore makes the whole trip and this whole hour of digging worth coming out here. Finding any old computer in the box like that, as far as I'm concerned, is a score. Typewriter. There you go. South Broad Emma. We opened it up. It's a typewriter. <laughs> No Commodore plus four. Typewriter though. A typewriter. A typewriter. <laughs> See, if the actual console was in here, we would have had awesome games like word processing, spreadsheet, file manager, and graphics. But look at those graphics, man. There's a moment in game chasing where you just gotta say, hey, it's not your day. Those days you don't find it, obviously. At this point, I'm done. I'm, I'm, I mean, if Billy wants to keep going, he can, but I'm through. I'm tapping out. That's it. Game over. I don't know. I think maybe it's a sickness, but even after that, I still can't give up. Found it. A couple of. Dreamcast games, Time Stalkers. Time Stalkers on Dreamcast. It's, it's busted up, but. And it's. But it's a game. Put that on the maybe pile. This thing is not in good condition. It's not gonna play. But damn it, it's a video game, and I want it. Looks like someone ate it and shit it back out, though. Well. Alrighty then. Let's go to Taco Casa. Yeah. They motor yard way around here. All right, uh, do five on that one too. Fifteen, fifteen there. Um, this one I'm thinking a little less because it's pretty banged up, um, and I don't work money back guarantee. Love that, great customer service. However, I live forty minutes away. I'm not gonna drive all this way for a five dollar game. Uh, if it doesn't work. I'll pass on it then. Yeah, because I'm not, uh, it's looking like really bad out there. So I doubt that's even going to work. I'm just going to pick it up just to pick it up. But I was thinking a dollar on it, but. Yeah, I'm not feeling it now. Yeah, hey, y'all drove Marty, go ahead and take it. <laughs> this guy. Sweet. Yeah. Um, so pay the man. <laughs> that all y'all getting? You're worth it. Um, yeah, I mean, like I said, there was just everything we came across. I mean, like, yeah, we already have. We have a lot of this stuff, so. So this guy's usually posted up at a local flea market, and we're trying to convince this guy to take us out there because he, he has games uh, there there in his booth, and it's it's not happening. The weather's right. I'll be up there next weekend. It'll be out. Okay. Y'all won't come up. I guess we're just going to have to visit the flea market another day. You win some, you lose some. That's just the way game chasing go. Don't get me wrong, I'm grateful that he opened up his garage and let us rummage through it, but 
you know, it's disappointing when you don't really find much. Sorry, that's all we do. No, it's all good. Hey, sometimes it just happens. Yeah. 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 Billy wasted our time. He wasted my time. He wasted Melbourne's time. He wasted Chris's time. Um, <sighs> you screwed the pooch on that one, dude. I don't want to do my who. You. How's that my fault? Wow. Is it your fault? I'm not mad, except I'm mad because he was like, this is a sure thing, this is a sure thing. That's not my fault. I mean, it's, I, it's, I, it's, you know, if it was like, yo, we might get something, we might not, I might be like, all right, well, you know, hit or miss. But he was like, this is a go, this is good, this is, get your nasty fucking foot away from my fucking hand, you disgusting fuck. <laughs> $10 for a dunk cut, uh, freaking... Hey, I talked him gun. down. So oh. five. Five five is a duck on gun. Where it's called going? a zapper. Oh well, Excuse left. me. You know. I think it wasn't I mean, was that bad a trip. We got to go to redneck country and, and do redneck things. Hey, you know what? We we got the, the last and the memories, right? Yeah. I was drinking the whole way there, I had my flask of whiskey, I was taking shots and drinking my beer, and we got out there and I, you know, so I just started, you know, talking redneck to these two guys, you know, I started talking to them about, you know, what tractors and trucks and motors. We're going to Movie Trading Company. Billy knows one of the managers here. We're going to Movie Trading Company because... For the longest time I've been bugging them because they have these Sega Genesis empty cases that they put up on the, the wall as a display when somebody trades the Genesis games in. I'm like, can I have them? And for the longest time he said no, but I think they're gonna repaint the wall or something. They just wanna get rid of them. Wrap it on the wall, so. Yeah, I'll get you a ladder and you can just take those, whatever, all the cases, man, take all those cases up there in that wall. Like for free, right? Yeah, they're yours. Okay. What are you gonna keep? Sweet, man. Awesome. Awesome. I'm gonna be doing something different. I'm gonna be doing some woodwork. Yeah. We're the guys that we want things to be gotten rid of to us. Huh? both have some loose cartridges. I don't know about y'all, but I personally don't like buying loose Genesis games. So now I got a list of cases that I have that I just need games for. So if I run across these games, boom, I got the box. Mutilated the cases, look at this. <clears throat> Get out, you stupid turk. Well, there's been lots of times where I've not bought a game because it was loose and it's just like, eh, icky, it's, that's gross. Get it away, it's a loose Sega Genesis cart. That's disgusting. I need the box for it because I'm, I'm, I'm a tight collector. I'm an anal retentive collector. Yeah. There's a really good mix of games here. Um, some that I already know I need the cases for, which is awesome. But man, they're filling up these bags and these boxes really quick. And I'm wondering where I'm gonna store them. I mean, he could easily say, hey, guys, dollar each for these things, but he's just giving them to us. Which, I mean, I guess it's kind of like, well, I mean, we're offering labor. We are we are the ones taking them down, so I guess he's paying us, paying us in Sega Genesis cases, which, I mean, heck, I'll, I'll take that as payment any day of the week, even though the Genesis kinda is not as good as the Super Nintendo. I don't care what Joe Redifer from GameSack says. I think he's calling me right now to or texting me to say, you son of a- It's just one bag or two. Oh, there's another one over there. So it's up to Billy to store all these Genesis cases because, um, well, my apartment looks like an episode of Hoarders. I've got games and season one DVDs. And my game room is full. I do not know where I'm gonna be sticking a hundred Sega Genesis freaking cases. I think it's Billy's turn to get cramped up a little bit. He's probably gonna put them somewhere where Regina's gonna get pissed. I guess I could put them in the hallway. Hey! What? <laughs> Bigfoot makes a sound of his own. When big, when you hear a Bigfoot call, the blood will literally come out of your toenails. It is a, it is, it is that weird. It is, it is scary. It is unnerving. Well, I'm a floating head, huh? 
But you ain't all polite. Look at him. He's trying to. He's no, no, no. I am polite. I'm the most polite one in this car. No, you're not. Yeah, I am. No, you're not. Yeah. So we're headed down south again and following up on the man who let us rummage through his barn and we didn't come up with anything. He can't meet us till a little bit later in the afternoon. So we're gonna take this opportunity to hit some garage sales. Multi-family estate the address? sale. The address? Oh! I don't know where I've been. At least I got the fact that it's not seven in the morning this time. <laughs> At this particular house, I don't see any video games out, but I'm looking down and I see Fireball Island. Pull it out, voila. I'll hold this, you pull the baggie out. I've never played Fireball Island. I remember seeing commercials uh, when I was younger, but um, I just never, just never had it. I mean, if it didn't come through Toys for Tots, we didn't get it. <laughs> <laughs> I always saw the commercials for this, but I never actually had it as a kid. Oh, no, dude, we wouldn't have had, ask, ask Melbourne, he'll tell you, and Dodongo, we wouldn't have had Christmas of one for Toys for Tots. <laughs> oh, we are collectors of retro video games. So since we're here, and I know I'm going to be buying this Fireball Island, might as well ask them if they have some games. You know any retro video games? They like Nintendo, exactly Sega. What we yeah, exactly yes, we, we surely do. Games! Them to our three sons, they but they don't have time to do them anymore. Steve Wilco, Roger Wilco, this. All this with that See, we collect, we collect it all. Yeah, we if we don't have Atari, 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 can we take a look at them? Yeah, that would be great. See what it would be of value to you. I'm like a kid on Christmas. I'm ready to go. Ready to dig. Holy crap, he does have games. He wasn't just pulling our leg. So are these anything you're looking for? Oh yeah, definitely. We like the old stuff. So at a quick glance, I have a lot of this stuff already. There's you know one or two titles in here that I need, but one of the, the main things that I'm eyeballing here is the, the Genesis box. I need a box for a Genesis. Oh, that's what I'm thinking. Yeah, that's what he took to college. And everybody goes, Pac-Man, Frogger, what do you mean? And he was at Texas Tech with that. Your son was? Yeah. That's awesome. I have the action set. I don't have this particular box, so I'm very interested in this. Um, this is mine. Hey, no, this is mine because I don't have this one. I do have this one, so this is yours. Okay. So you're a Genesis guy. It's true. When you ask for video games and they bring them out of there and they've just been sitting there for years, decades even, they rarely want you to just cherry pick. I want this game, I want this game, I want that game. They just want you to take all of it. I think we should get a good deal on this stuff based on a couple of reasons. They have admitted to us that none of their kids want the stuff. Two, it's been sitting around in, you know, in a closet somewhere for 20 plus years. Three, we're cheap as shit. What are you thinking on price? What are you thinking? No other idea. Uh, well, hold on. Let me go get the box. The box? He's <laughs> a good negotiating <laughs> skills dad. <laughs> we're in a really good position now. Um, we're not gonna be paying eBay prices for it. I mean, hell, I could hit this lady with two bucks, but you know, I'm gonna hit her with 50, see what she says. I'll start at 50 bucks. Good place to start and finish. Yeah, so that's what you sold. I don't know, I forgot. Yeah. I would say sold too. I personally think it's a fair starting offer. Um, I'm sure we're gonna be paying a lot more than 50. The game's a lot higher than 50. Yeah. a little higher than 50. Yeah, we are cheap bastards. We're not gonna be paying top dollar high-end money. If you're gonna go buy a car, you're gonna go buy a house. You want the best deal possible, right? It's the same thing. Why, why should it be any different? Would you say 100 for our way? They came back with 100. Uh, is that too high? Honestly, no. It's a little too high for us, like right now. Yeah, um, we're gonna do 100. Yeah, I don't wanna pay that much, uh, especially since I have most of it. And that's, 
That's one of the biggest determining factors for me. Seventy-five. Yes. Seventy. Would you have seventy-five? Seventy-five. How do y'all feel about seventy-five? Seventy-five. I feel better at 60. Be How old's your 60, number? 65, how's that sound to y'all? How about 62? 75 about, is very a good deal. 65? I know that for a fact. All right, we're just cheap. <laughs> That's just really what it boils down to. <laughs> Either we're going to buy it cheap or we're not going to buy it at all. Stupid game chasers. I don't want to keep not, it. No, I'm not, not, I'm not, not at 75. Not at 75. Is that your final offer? That's my final offer. Okay, then. So we're kind of at a stalemate here at $75 and we're trying to get a little bit cheaper, saying, oh, take this out, take that out. So it's all or nothing, basically? Yes, I don't want to keep any of them. If I sell one, I'm gonna sell all of them. I think we're getting tired of just jacking around with each other here, so we're gonna go ahead and do 75. Who's all that? 75. 75 it is. All right, all right. All right, thank you. Thanks a lot. All right, thank you. They're happy with it, and honestly, it's not a bad price, so. Screw it. Let's take it home. Thanks a lot. Enjoy. Enjoy. Yeah. 75 is definitely a good deal on all this stuff. Um, it's not a game chasers deal, <laughs> but it's a good deal. Man, there's lots of stuff. Got some maniac mansion. Got some some shit I ain't never even heard of. Oh shit! Jack Nicholas Golf. I think I have played Jack Nicholas Golf. One of the worst golf games ever. I mean, and granted, yeah, they spent a load of money, but that was only because it was a load of games. When you buy in bulk like that, sometimes it's it's a reward to do it. So I think they did good. I think they did real good. Wake up and I see that my brother was already dressed. I said, I hope he don't find my stash. It's good score all in all. <clears throat> no, I don't want no scrubs. <laughs> Scrub is a guy who can't get no love from me. Man, we've had some luck already. Let's have some more garage sales. That box is in good shape. That Genesis box. Yeah. You don't have a box of Genesis? No. Do now. Yeah, you do now. Sometimes it's hard to shoot this show in terms of going to garage sales because people don't like having cameras brought up into their property. And I can understand that. You're always going to have the few people, especially Whenever we're doing the garage sales, they're not going to want you to film because it's personal or it's private. You know, they don't want to do anything like that. I honestly don't care. I point the camera anyways until they tell me to stop. Okay, Skype, scrap it. Doing all right, you? I uh, see so you got some stuff here. I uh, was really wondering if you had anything like uh, video games, any Nintendo. We decided to go ahead and sneakily mic ourselves up to go and ask questions, you know. Oh, okay. All right, no big deal then. Okay. We've got two serious gamers in our family. Okay. Well, well in that case, uh, you know, I guess I'll see you day. later and I'll leave you with this. <laughs> Have a good one. <laughs> it's always f***ing Christmas in Billy Idol's land, all right? Return of the Idol. Go off. So the rest of the day garage selling hasn't been as great as the start. Our cousins had an Atari. Oh, oh it was the coolest thing. So like I talked to a lady about some video games and she was saying how she wished she had an Atari. Yeah, we actually just picked up an Atari. Um, Did you? Do you? Atari, a Nintendo, and a Genesis. Oh. Yeah. Are you jealous? <laughs> do you want the Atari? I would love the Atari, but I'm not, I'm not gonna do it. <laughs> I have too um, much stuff. It, will you play it if you had it? Would I play it if I had... Here's the problem, I just have so many electronics in that my thing. That wasn't the question. Yeah, <laughs> if you put it in my house, would I play it? Yeah, of course I would play Kind of good hearing that, 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 um, that desire it, it is, is still in her life. I'll go, go get, get it. it for her. Where's the key? Yeah, no. <laughs> yeah, you can have it. We, no, both, okay. we both have one, seriously. Seriously? Yeah. But I don't have any games to put in it. Yeah, I mean, you do. It's like... Yeah, you do. I like educate my children. <laughs> yeah, These yeah. are games. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we actually, we both have an Atari and probably all the games that we picked up. It's probably maybe 15, 20, 22, 28 games, something like that. So, look at that. Are you sure? We, just, we both have an Atari. This is going to do nothing but take up space and collect dust. So let's just give it to her because we're not going to do anything with it. Let's just be honest. I think it's meant to be. Clearly, God is telling me I need to. 
playing more video games. <laughs> yes. Can't have that. Yeah, that's ours. Um, yeah. Oh, wow. This actually looks like it's going to go right into your television. So actually, you, you know what? that right in where the cable would go. Okay. This thing should fire right up. There's no controllers. I think I saw some paddles in that Nintendo box. I'll go look. Go but, look. Yeah, we'll go look in a second. Um, Drop them back up. Let me see. Here's your games here. Oh. Donkey Kong Classic. Oh, we are so having like Saturday night at my house. Frogger. Golf, Frogger. Frogger. Combat. Uh, great to. and Frogger. You remember Combat, right? Oh, my brothers. Oh, yes. Yes, yes. Where you shoot. Oh. Ooh. Honestly, if this is going to make her happy and kind of rekindle that love for the gaming that she grew up with. I think it's awesome. Like, Are you sure you want to give this? I am not, not like, I mean, like, this takes me back to my childhood. I, I literally have every one of these. Yeah, I have no use for this. The person we bought it from wouldn't let, made us buy it. <laughs> so, that's true. Actually, we, we tried to leave the entire stuff, and they're like, just take it, take it, so. Okay, yeah. all right. It's going to bring a smile to her face a lot more than it is to us, because we already have it. I mean, there's, it's not doing us any good. I'm going to go stay this way. Thank right. you no very much. No problem. No problem. Love your good deed of the day. <laughs> good day, guys. Hey, it's going to a good home. That's all we matter. That's right. It's a good home. Thanks. Here. Scrub is a guy who can't get no love from me. Garage selling time is done. Let's go get some games. Is it the same guy who sold us the Ghost Genesis? No, it's not him. I don't know what to expect here. Uh, the, the, the barn was a bust. You know, he assured us that he had way more stuff here than he did at his house, so let's find out. So in that green little shed right there is a stack of games that we're waiting to be opened. We'll wait for the guy to show up. He does. He's unimpressed with my methods or my hair. I can see it in his eyes, but that's okay. I'm not here for him. I'm here for the games. Like I said, we, we can do all the work. We just... I just don't want to be a mess in here. So we see the games, but it's just buried in junk. Um, it's more packed than his barn was. I already see one I need, Willow. I don't have Willow. Willow's mine. Hey, that's not fair, you can't. Say, second pick in the draft. The same. I have redeemed myself. I knew he had games. I knew he had games. Is this all of them? Just guessing. I'm looking at this thing and thinking there's like probably 50 or 60 NES games with some Genesis games thrown in. I already see some that I need. I know there's going to be some in here that Jay needs. I know there's going to be some in here that Dodongo needs. Can you narrow that down to like eight? <laughs> <laughs> he usually charges five bucks a game. Uh, but that's not going to work for us today. There's quite a few comments in here that I need. I don't like it on my comments. That one, I don't need that one. No, there's a lot of, there's a lot of... Rampart. Yeah. If we just cherry pick and, and get 20 games, he may charge us $5 a game. It, it, it's probably a smarter move on our part to buy the whole thing. It, it might be cheaper because we'd be able to get the games down to like three bucks a piece. See, the problem is, um... We have, we have a lot of these, but we don't have a lot of these. And we're just trying to decide whether or not it's worth it to buy the whole thing or not. Yeah, I understand. Three or three or so? Yeah, roughly. Roughly? Yeah. Yeah, I couldn't do no better than 150 on all of it. Damn, 150 bucks, that's a lot of money. But if you think about it, you know, you, you, have, you have to look at a situation like this on what are you paying per game? And that's, that's really what it boils down to. What are we gonna be paying per game? Well, we are the game chasers, not the game come lookers and then go awayers. It's true. In, in the end, it adds up to 150 bucks. But if you break it down, you can, you can mentally, you know, be a little bit better with, with your decision to spend that kind of money. Let's do it. He's not gonna go down lower than 150. So we, sh we should probably just go ahead and do it. We'll do 150, but can you throw this one in too? Yeah. Awesome. I, uh... Spent a lot of money today, but we have got a ton, a ton, a ton of stuff. All right, I guess we'll put back the stuff down. So I help these knuckleheads somewhat. Now the great thing about this though, is whenever we go to put everything up, that that's when things get interesting between these knuckleheads. Thank you very much. Thank you. Uh, and you got my number, so if you ever come across a big stash or anything, okay. Yeah, keep checking back with me too. I will. 
That wasn't good. I'll go check on that. <laughs> ah, you hear? <laughs> Everything just tumbles over inside that shed. Of course, they go and try and open the door back up, and it won't open up because there's too much sh in the way now. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Billy must never play Tetris in his f***ing life, so... <laughs> we thought we had it all stacked up. Getting ready to go. Almost got away scot-free. Until Billy sabotaged us. His new name is Saboteur. That's why you suck at Tetris. No packing. I'm not done. No packing, motherfucker, dude. That's what exactly what you are. Stupid game chasers. I'm always apprehensive about spending 150 bucks on anything, uh, but it really came out to like three dollars a game. So, yeah, we're fine with that. I think it's a good deal, regardless. A lot of money, but still a good deal. So we're gonna go back to Billy's house and we're gonna do a draft of sorts for who gets what. <laughs> Or drink in here. You got a drink in your in your fridge. I'm gonna go and get serious for a second here. Serious face, serious drink, serious smile, serious times. I mean, hell, you had eight picked out of here. We're gonna do a draft. Like we're doing all these first. First batch we got. I said just yeah, everything. Total. Here's how we do the draft. We'll take all the games. And me and Billy both will look up what we have, what we don't have. If I have a game and he doesn't, he automatically gets the game. If he has a game and I don't, I automatically get the game. If there's a game neither one of us has, it goes into the draft pile, which basically means just like an NFL draft or something, he picks a game, I pick a game, he picks a game, I pick a game. There's gonna be a lot of stuff that we both have, so it's automatically going to default to Dodongo on this draft. But that's okay, I mean, you know, Perks of the job, I guess. You gotta deal with me and Billy, so he, he, he's a lot of gamer too from time to time. <laughs> oh, hey, look. Dude, sorry. All right, when these jokers are like, oh, got it, got it, I can be like, don't got it. Give it to me, give it to me. Legend of Zelda book mine, Maniac Mansion mine. So who started this draft? Dodongo, like I originally stated. Legend of Zelda. That being because even my mom would wake us up in the middle of the night, even on school nights. Help me pass this level. Help me pass this level. Like, I'm trying to go to bed, mom, no. I mean, we'd have school the next day. It didn't matter. One o'clock, two o'clock in the morning, we'd be getting woke up. It's just the way video game playing go, though. The instruction manual, I loved it just because of the artwork. So I would actually open it up and read it. It was one of the few things that I actually liked reading as a kid. So, I mean, really, it's, it's a nostalgia reason why I want this. Chess master for me. I like chess. I'm better than Billy at it too. Super Bowl though, just I want to give it a try. That's all, I never played that one. Yeah. Pro wrestling? I don't think we got any. Got it. Even though me and Billy have a lot of this stuff in here, there's a lot of stuff that we don't have and that we need. Um, a lot of filler stuff, nothing super rare, super expensive, anything like that. I want an NES game. Yeah, me too. Freaking chode. Get it over, chode. Chodes. Nothing but chodes all up in this bitch. Give me that basket. I, the oh. in the basket. I picked Maniac Mansion because that's also one of my favorite games. And it's just a great storyline. I remember the first time I played it, we ended up at some sort of daycare somewhere where I think my mom was checking into different places, you know, into different daycares. And they had like a kid's room, they had a Nintendo there, they had Maniac Mansion for some reason. Yeah, like a bunch of six-year-olds can understand fucking Maniac Mansion. I don't fucking think so, all right? I'm happy with the draft. I'm happy with what I've gotten so far, but I think the thing that I'm most excited about is Willow. And, and I'm not a big fan of the movie. I don't think I've ever seen it, but this game looks like it's a little bit more RPG-E version of like a Zelda, and I love Zelda. Oh, are you guys passing the commando? For real? We have it. I have Dick Tracy. I uh, love Commando. Me and my younger brother Tim, we would always, Tim, Timothy, we would always play it. So again, that was actually one of our favorite games to play together as a two player. Had a lot of great memories actually playing Commando with Tim, to be honest, growing up. So 
Jehrazad, did I say that right? That's mine. Next, go. I ended up coming out with the biggest score. So, and I had no problem with that. There, doubles. I use this whole thing. The stuff that everybody has will go into a doubles pile to be dealt with, you know, at, at a later time. You know, sometimes we take stuff to conventions just to dump it off really cheap, give people good deals, um, trade bait. We know a lot of collectors. Can I get the bro price on one of those? Yeah, the Super Mario bro <laughs> price. <laughs> Marked off uh, quite a bit, actually. A bunch of common stuff that I needed. And since it's common, I'm always like, I'll get it later. So I guess now's later, huh? I'm loving the fact that we spent all day doing this and I've checked off tons of games that I needed for my collection. Ah, oh, uh, how many tongues have been on that thing? <laughs> well, see you later. All right then, Billy. Take it easy, sir. All right, man. My plan worked out in the end. Come to find out, a lot of the ones that they had, they both already had, so I just got them. And that's the way game chasing go. Well, I'm a floating head, huh? We're here at Super Bitcom Con in Oklahoma City. Super Bitcom. Um, it's not that far from us. I'm talking maybe a four hour drive. It's kind of nice to go to a convention that we don't have to spend two days on the road to get to. There's a lot of vendors here. Can't wait to dig in and see what we can find. That game's really good, but ridiculously difficult. So I came down to DFW because I want to go to Super Bitcoin, and plus I kind of want to hang out with the Game Chasers and Eric and OK Chief because, well, it's been too damn long. What you got on Pyramid? Honestly, if you want to check, then I'll work with you on all of them. Okay. All the NES titles are right there. Super NES are the ones before. And this was just me game charting last night. It's not my favorite pricing range, but... I love conventions like this where it's, it's, it's almost like it's all collectors and people just giving each other really good collector's deals as opposed to like really corporate-y type of conventions. I just ran across a Tandy TRS-80. To me, it's kind of kind of pivotal in my my gaming upbringing, if you will, because uh, we had one growing up. You know, we used to love playing this damn thing. One game in particular was called Mega Bug. We just had a lot of fun with it, especially with Mega Bug. Mega Bug's a Pac-Man type game. On Me in Mega Bug, whenever you would get hit, it would switch to this screen and it would show the bugs dancing. They'd be like, "Wing, gotcha!" Dongo gets pretty heated about Mega Bug. And Melvor, he beat the game. You know, very victoriously. We all saw it. One day, Dodongo is literally having the the play of his life, the run of his life on Mega Bug. I'm right there at the end. <laughs> Right at the very end, I'm on the last level. We know what level's the last one because we watched Melvor beat it before. He's literally one pellet away from beating the game. From beating this damn thing. <laughs> Melvor apparently thought that he should be the only one who could beat the game and flip the off switch on him. <laughs> <laughs> right when I'm about to beat this damn thing, he walks over and turns the game off on me. So, like an asshole, yeah. Yeah, TRS-80 in the bin down there in the bathroom bin. What do you want to do on it? What do you want to pay for it? What do I want to pay for it? Yeah, he's a, I think he just wants to get rid of it all. Five bucks? Yeah. Five bucks? Yes. Is that include the game? Yes. All right, I'll do that. Let me go grab some money real quick. No, I won't need it. Let me grab some money. He still, to this day, is going to say he beat, he's the only one who beat Megabug in the family, but that's bullshit. I beat Megabug. I don't give a f what you say, all right? I uh, just found the uh, TRS-80 with a game. Spectacular. Uh, pay $5 for it. So, yeah, I'm going home with more junk than I brought. I like that. I gotta say,
say you're definitely a little bit shorter person than I, I thought you would be. You uh, dude, everybody keep, everyone keeps saying I'm taller in person. You kind of look, you look like a giant on a uh, you well, know, screen. Yeah. Do I? I think so, yeah. One game I'm seeing right here that I'm kind of interested in, but not really at this price, is Dusty Diamond. It's kind of hard to find, but it's a really good softball game on the Nintendo. Um, $33 is actually kind of lower than it, what it usually goes for, but it's still not what I want to spend on it, honestly. I mean, what I want to spend on it, honestly. It, honestly. Thor Ackland came up with a box of goodies. Thor Ackland is one of the 1990 Nintendo World Championship winners. He was, for the longest time, the world record holder um, on the Nintendo World Championships card. I want Thor to sign my Tetris because, oh, well, I mean, because it's Thor. I don't know, it's just one of those, those things that I think would be neat to have on my gaming shelf. Look at this. 25, for what? My, a, oh, a, a I saw game. that. I was just about like three games for it. You don't run across the guy. Any interest in selling just the case? I think he said no, but you might go ask him. Is it him? So things are kind of wrapping up here, and I look down and I see a box for Batman on the NES. I love Batman on the NES. It's one of my favorite games, and I have never had the box for it. So seeing that he's got just the box and he's willing to sell just the box for $5, I'm totally in on this. Overall, the convention was good. Uh, there was good prices. It was the very first year that they put it on, but man, it seemed like this was you know year two or three. For a first time convention, it was really good. Um, Super Bitcom was actually really fun. I got to meet up with a lot of people that I knew all from Retro Palooza. So very impressed, and I can't wait to come here next time. Bought a bunch of crap, played a bunch of crap, got to meet Smooth McGroove, and well, it was a good time. Uh, that's the way game chasing go. Well, I'm a floating head. Huh? My hair's luscious, dude. Long flowing locks. We're in the road today, going a couple hours outside of DFW. Luscious is like the last word to use to describe your hair. Nauseous is more like it. <laughs> <laughs> luscious, more like nauseous. We're gonna go to a flea market or two that we've never been to before. I don't think there's any untapped places out there to find retro games anymore. However, whenever I go into a new flea market, that's always my hope, at least. This is our new stomping grounds, maybe. Fresh meat everywhere. And by meat, I mean video games. Hopefully, we'll see. I thought you meant men by meat. <laughs> I don't really have a feeling about this at all. It's, it's a flea market. It's new. We've never been here. Hey, let's start over here and work our way around. It's actually pretty big. Um, however, there's a lot of places where there's no vendors. So, I don't know. It's a mixed bag here. There are Bible really you don't, you don't know how to operate out here, I can tell. Well, we've never You're been to this walk, particular one. walk right by everything. Excuse me. At least it's something video game related here. Some NES controllers. Those controllers? Do you guys happen to have any old video games? No. How much are the controllers? Fine. I always need NES controllers. Everybody always needs NES controllers. You can never have too many NES controllers. Um, these things break especially when people rage quit on games. <laughs> We've all done it. I used to rage quit a lot, but it wasn't on NES games except for Battletoads. It was more N64 and, and wrestling. Buy for both? Each. Hmm. How about three each? Five each. This guy wants five dollars each controller. That's not okay with me. I mean, is that a horrible price? Nah, not really. But again, cheap, cheap, this guy's cheap. You guys haven't had any old video games? Oh, we should they have video games. I, 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 the only thing I had, I had no uh, 
handheld boy, you know. What, Game Boy? Uh, Game Boy. Game Boy? Oh, yeah, those were and that's just the old Game Boy. A part of the fun of going to the flea market is just the whole experience, the people you meet a lot of times. You don't have any of that for sale? No, I don't. I, I, I buy them if I can, you know. I, I buy anything and resell. Yeah. But I'm mostly in the wheelchair. Well, there's a Game Boy right there. Look at that. What's that? That's it right there. There you go. Tetris Plus in it. Then you do have video games. Five dollars. Five dollars? Yes. You know what? I'll, I'll, I'll yeah, take that. Let's, let's do it. We'll do it for five bucks. That's, that's uh, heck yeah, man. That's, look here, yeah, made it sell. Wow. Made it sell. <laughs> so Thank you, appreciate it. Thank you. Bro. Thank you, sir, appreciate yeah. it. Hey, it even, come, it even comes with batteries. Nice. I hate that snap. Does it work? I mean, five, five bucks for a Game Boy is a good deal. I mean, it, it is. I've been playing it. Oh, he's oh, been really? playing it. <laughs> man. He's been playing it. Yeah, but I don't understand it. <laughs> Well, if you've been having fun with it, I kind of feel bad for buying no, it from you. No, I'm only oh, you want the money more? Now. I want the money. <laughs> Man, I ain't in the Game Boy business. I'm in the scooter business. I have Game Boys, but for five bucks, why would you not get it? And plus, it comes with a, a game I don't have, Tetris Plus. It's like actually in really pretty good condition, so. We can give that to someone. Yeah. We'll give it to someone. So. Game Boy. Yeah. I mean, it comes with Tetris Plus. Now, back as a kid, I had the NES, but when the commercials for the Game Boy came out, it blew my mind. Just you could take video games with you whenever you go places. I could play video games on the couch when my parents are using the television. It was amazing. And now I can't even play the thing because the screen is just a, a green mess. It's hard to see anything. But back then, man, it was it was awesome. Yuck, yuck. <laughs> Should I get snake skin or skulls? Well, get them both. They're only 50 cents each. They look like a toad. They look cool. You look pretty f***ing stupid is what you look. You look dumb. Like legit, I think I'm the coolest person here. Watch around, Get out of the way. Hey, look. Dude, PS2 yeah, know, games. All right, finally we hit some pay dirt here. Uh, vendor with some games here that we need, some N64 stuff. Hmm. Skull Jagger. Yeah, let's see that. Mark. You seen something you want? Wow, oh, man. Let's see here. Hmm. I need the snow cross. I'm not really interested, or I already have everything in this lot except Skull Jagger. I don't know anything about this game other than it's a side scrolling platformer game. You know, a million of them on the Super Nintendo and NES, but still, one I don't have. What's your games? Uh, five we all know that shit ain't gonna happen. All of these, you said five piece, would you do three piece? We're just making even 20. Yeah, that's fine. Okay. We end up getting the lot for 20 bucks. If you do the math, that equals up to savings. I got all this for 20 bucks. That's not bad. 16? Yeah. I got some games for my Nintendo 64 collection that I needed. You know, so far the flea market is, is it, it's okay. I mean, not a lot of games, but again, I mean, I, I can go two minutes from home and not find anything. So there's no difference in two minutes or two hours. Well, except for gas. I take five of the drinks with the controller. Does it work? <laughs> now, when the Dreamcast first came out, I really didn't get into it. Uh... Does it have the, the, I don't see the uh, plugs for it. I got you. Since I've started collecting, I've gotten a Dreamcast and got some games for it. And, and it's a pretty okay system. I'm gonna get some hate for that. I just ran by my granddaughter a bunch of times, so I'm gonna go down there and get it. So all the all these controllers in the system for five bucks? Yeah, and the system got a good, and that, and that Dreamcast controller too. I mean, it, it's five dollars for the lot. You know, five dollars just to have a backup Dreamcast. You know, moving parts, lasers. Those get, but those game systems tend to crap out from time to time. I do not have Metal Combat. Cheers, then. It sucks. This crappy game. I don't want to have to bust out with the stupid super scope looking like a chode. But yeah, sure, I need it. it goes to completion, right? It, it does do that. Let's do that. This flu market could have been better, but it could have been worse. We could have found nothing. Do it and get it over with. Oh. Tell her to tie it up after that. Oh. One time. Then you, you know what? No, 
you're, you're looking at it all wrong. Because when that kid gets about Halen's age, you've got someone to play video games with. No, I got, I got somebody to fight over video games with. No, you got someone to play video games with. Trust me, trust me. We're going back to a couple of flea markets that we've hit before on this show. We're going back to the flea market where we met Don, see if we can scavenge for some more stuff. Before we go to Don's, we're gonna to go to this other flea market here that's really close. You got any old Nintendo's or any old games? No. Okay. Sports games? We come across a corner booth here that has a ton of junk. Yeah, would you happen to have any uh, old video games? She said these are four piece. No, there's nothing right here. Typically, if a vendor has all their games in one spot, there's usually not any more. So we give the place a quick once over just to see if there might be anything else. We don't see anything, we're starting to head out. But wait, I spy with my little eye something gray, and I reach in, I pull it out, and it's a rolling rocker. I was caught slipping. It's supposed to act as a controller. It acts as, as the D-pad, uh, you, you, but you still have to plug a controller into it to use the A and B buttons to fire or punch or whatever the case may be, jump. Um, but it, it basically, it's supposed to be a D-pad. What are y'all asking on this? All right. I think I'll take that for five bucks. That's a, I don't have one, I want it. I want everything video game. I like odd and unusual like this. This is a pretty cool find, something you're not gonna find every day. Put this into the system and you step on it and you're supposed to be able to control the game by moving around. The only hey, problem is- Get up there and do it. Yeah, I don't feel like falling on my ass. <laughs> but the, uh, the only problem was the thing would never work. I wouldn't say I caught Billy slipping on that. He just didn't see it. Uh, it wasn't in plain sight. It was one of those deals where Either you have eyes of the hawk or you don't. He obviously does not. What is a slip though, is when you walk past a vintage 1988 Super Mario Brothers 2 mug. I see it, I see it. My time to shine now. It's no rolling rocker, but it's a Mario 2 glass vintage. What the? Mario 2 glass. Look what I found, dude. <laughs> it's a beer mug. Are you gonna buy it? Yeah, of course I'm gonna buy it. What are you talking about? I'm just asking. This thing is huge and it's vintage. <laughs> uh, I'm assuming it's five bucks. Do you have more of these? Yeah, they might not be exactly like that. Because it's just it's video game related Mario, you know? Yeah. I'm legit gonna use this thing too. Now I wanna get in like every nook and cranny in this this one. Yeah, but we still got a whole field there. I know, I know. I found something I like. <laughs> How much is it? Five bucks. Okay. Five bucks too? What is this? Like the everything in here that's awesome five bucks day at the flea market? I'm loving this. So cool. I wonder if this is gonna work. This is actually gonna be my mug that I use to drink while I'm editing. Every now and then. Idiot. Yeah. Nerd. It's just stuff like this that just makes what we do so fun. Stupid game chasers. Do you happen to have any old video games? No. 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 No, you look suspicious. <laughs> no. I don't believe her. No, she, I don't she's have got any. the face of somebody who has a big box full in the back. It's true. I do not. You don't? All right, I guess I'll believe you this time. Okay. This flea market turned out to be a win. Time to head to Ron's. What I really love about this dude is that he just doesn't care. It's four bucks a pop on every game that he has. Good, damn it. Pretty good, damn it. I like that right, response. Again? Yeah, go for it. Awesome. So you admit the one that you gave me was not... Oh, that was rag, buddy. <laughs> you looked hilarious in that dang Yeah, you did. <laughs> by Actually, hilarious, he means gay. <laughs> yeah. Good to see him again. Uh, it's been a while since I've seen him, but uh, I always know I'll make money when they get here, so... So the untested consoles, what, what'd you say on those? Uh, well, actually, w one of them, uh, one of them, I I'm sure works. The uh, Nintendo, I believe that that one works all the way. Okay. It's been a little while since we've been out here. We knew he had a ton of consoles out here, and they, we, they multiplied since the last they, time. They, they, he's gotten more, right? <laughs> I just don't have time to do it. I understand. What do you? So where are you at on them? Uh, me. Like, like, what if, like, theoretically, one wanted to buy all of them? Well, theoretically, I just have to take an offer. I really don't have much use for them, and I don't have time to really play with them that much. What do we see on games over here? 
I hit something. I was just about to. Come on, dude. Really? I think I'll take that. Really? One. I know I don't have that one. Um, that's just thievery right there, dude. Is it? Yes. Is it? I was pulling this. Out. You know what? I'm gonna let you have it. Don't matter. <laughs> but yeah, that that's that's See what thievery. See what this guy's trying to do? Uh, I see. Get out of the way. Move. Like that's exactly what he did, right? Right out of my freaking hands. Yeah. <laughs> Already. <laughs> You can't have it, no game for you. What's wrong with these guys? <laughs> hey, help me pull all this out. Cause I'm gonna try to buy the all. I'm seeing crusty Genesis after crusty Genesis with the occasional NES. 10, 11, 12. I don't know if this is like a Sega Genesis graveyard he's got going here. Uh, we don't need that one. No, we don't need that one. Put yeah. it into a PS1 box over there. The reason we want these consoles, even though we have them, there's a local store we can go and trade in and get some pretty decent trade credit on this and it's just gonna help us, um, you know, better our collection, so to speak. Stores that give you a lot of trade-in credit for your consoles are amazing. Take advantage of that. If you got a bunch of consoles sitting around collecting dust in your closet, apartment, house, whatever, like we do, I can't play all of them. I've got one hooked up to a TV and seven sitting around doing nothing. <sighs> I can go and trade those into a store, get way more in store credit than I spent cash on the stuff and turn around and buy games with that. So that's really good when I see a $200 game on the shelf, don't got the money for it or just don't want to spend the money on it. And I got a bunch of spare consoles sitting around my, my apartment. Some of it works, some of it probably doesn't work. I don't know what works and what wasn't because I just hadn't had time to ever test it. I'm okay. too damn busy right now. I got you, I got you. They're, they're dusty. I mean, they've been sitting here for months and months and months. Yeah, it's just been here for a few months. I just piled it up. Okay. Um, and sometimes people come through and sell me something, you know. Right. There's not a lot of people around this area that really enjoy the games. You don't know what does and doesn't work. I, I've never tested it all. I know that uh, a couple of Genesis do work. I know that a couple of Genesis do work. So we're taking a huge risk, basically. Basically. Yeah, a huge risk. Yeah. I, I want to be fair, but at the same time, if he really, truly just doesn't care, he's looking to get rid of it, I don't want to overspend either. What are you What are you thinking? Ten million dollars. Ten million. I will start at ten, then. That is not the price you're looking for. <laughs> In my mind, if it's untested, it's been sitting around for a long time, that, that is just a better deal. If you say you can sell the PlayStation 2 is really easy and the, the Nintendo really easy, you want, it, you want to take those out? You know, if we can get these for like out the door for $5 a piece, it's going to be a huge score, it's going to be a huge win. I say let's take out the PlayStation 2s. Take out the PlayStation 2s. Because we're probably not going to be able to get what you're wanting for those. Right. It just make me an offer on a whole damn pile. 75 bucks. Done. Works for me. See how easy it was. All right. <laughs> <laughs> that, that was that was really easy. Yeah, I gotta argue with you. I mean, I could sell them online and probably make a, a few extra bucks. But as far as I'm concerned, these are some good guys. They treat me good, and so I'll let them have some good deals. Next time, next time I'll just cut the bullshit and be like, here. <laughs> You had 75 bucks in your pocket? I, I, yeah, I did. I sent it in my pocket, and that was actually the number I wanted to be at, but um, that's, that's well, hell, we'll take it. Awesome. Uh, sweet. Uh, that was easy. I mean, it's like he didn't even hesitate. It's like, whatever. He just wants to make a little bit of money, really, is what it boils down to. To him, it's it's just taking up space and collecting dust. So, you know, for him, it's like, get it all out of here. I ain't got to deal with it. I don't have to try to test them find the cords, the controllers, because not everything had, had wires to it. It was a win-win. He was happy with the price. We were happy with the price. Thanks again, sir. Um, I appreciate, appreciate you. you. We hit him with an offer of 75 bucks, and he was like, get him out of here. So I didn't expect him to take that one. I didn't either. When he said 75, but, you know, dude, I mean, like, legitimately, he's, like, one of the nicest guys I think we've ever run into. Yeah, he is. I, yeah, he is. I enjoy having him around. Like I say, I like to watch the excitement on their face. This has been a great day. Very, very strange in the fact that we found some really obscure video game related stuff. Uh, thinking about you shirtless gives me gas. <laughs> <laughs>。So we took all the extra consoles that we had saved up and took them to our local retro game store. Hey, here's a Genesis. I have one already in here. That's the Model 2. I'm gonna hang on to one at least. Yeah, sure. Make the guy with back problems carry it out. My back was hurting the other day too. 
Well, Piano Video will get you to 358 and still credit. <laughs> really? What? Can I see what everything broke down to? <laughs> yeah, sure, sure. Um, there's a few systems that we're having discrete issues. Right. We had to dock up a little bit for it, but of course. I mean, we still can find a home for it. So I mean, I'm surprised you can even take that in too. <laughs> well, we have repair guys that are able to, to usually get in there and hopefully be able to breathe new life into it. So. How, how much did you say? Three hundred fifty-eight dollars store credit. Three fifty-eight, dude. I was expecting like two hundred. Yeah, really? <laughs> yeah, like not anywhere near that. Got a lot of trade-in credit, and I used it on a game. Now they had this game listed at $170, but I didn't have to spend a dime because my half was covered in trading credit, and that's Final Fight Guy. Final Fight Guy is Final Fight 1 on the Super Nintendo, but they put Guy in it. Guy was originally taken out of the first Final Fight on Super Nintendo. Well, in this game he's put back in. Okay, so it's Minutes Beach, and then we got uh, Isolated Warrior. Right. They have a pretty rare NES game. It's called Menace Beach. It's a pretty rare game, but they got a pretty hefty price tag on it too. There's no way in hell I'd have spent that kind of money on a game because, well, I ain't got it. I've never seen a Color of Dreams game this clean before. The blue looks blue. It doesn't look any like puke green or anything. The label looks like it was just put on. It's probably fake. You don't want this. Now this game is super expensive. It's pretty rare, and it's not something that I would have spent $170 on. So it was either find this at a flea market for five bucks, or trade in a bunch of consoles, get the trade-in credit, and get it from a video game store like that. <laughs> That's the way game chasing go. Well, I'm a floating head, huh? So we're here at Too Many Games in Philadelphia, Pennsylvania. Me and Jay drove up here. Yes, we drove all the way up here. One advantage to being a guest at conventions is we get to uh, go out on the vendor floor, you know, a little bit earlier while people are setting up. Now, Melvor Dodongo couldn't get time off of work to come, so it's basically just at this point trying to find somebody to be the cameraman. It's on my shoulders at this point. I've never played the, the American video thing. The only thing I played Press was the, um, was, what was it called? Uh, the volleyball game. The Duke, uh, Venice, Venice Beach? Beach? That's yeah. it, yeah. I spy with my little brown eye a Mermaids of Atlantis. Brown eye? You mean your butthole? <laughs> yeah, I was, I was... <laughs> You said it to be 25 right now, day one. 25, it's... What it's a rare it game. Now? It's yeah. a rare game. That's what, Bubble Bath Babes minus the 8-bit uh, nipples? Mermaids of Atlantis is pretty much Bubble Bath Babes. For those who don't know what Bubble Bath Babes <laughs> is, it is one of the rarest NES games, unlicensed game made by uh, Panasian. So the alternative is Mermaids of Atlantis. It's a lot of money for one game, you know how I am. However, I don't see this being around on Sunday. Because no. on Sunday he might be like, take it for 15, but I don't think it'll be around on Sunday. That's the problem. I want to get a little bit cheaper. What can I, also, can I say? I can't really go any lower. If you can go lower, like let's say a $20 bill. 25. Probably not going to get much of a discount, if any at all. He's not going to bend right now because it's his first day. He hasn't even opened yet. It's not even first day. It's, it's not like, even first it's day. Not, we're not even open doors yet. Okay, look, I'll do yeah. the 25, but give me like some bull common that I need. Yeah, some crappy common. I'm not asking for like. Like, a, like, a, like this one? Hey, if this I need off-road, then yes, yeah, off-road. Let's see here. Yeah. Ivan Iron Man Stewart's mistake. <laughs> How about Thundercade? There you go, that's like worthless. What do you got on it? 25. 25, I'm in. Let's do that. Yeah, shake on it, yes. I mean, I, hell, I didn't expect any kind of discount. But me still being as cheap as I am, for 25, I get Mermaid's Atlantis and Thundercade. Actually, that's the only reason I drove here from Buffalo. Thanks for ruining my whole weekend. <laughs> for Thundercade? Yeah. <laughs> You gotta change that, man. I would have gone with dance aerobics, but you know. I have, I have the dance aerobics. Oh, yeah? Now, once again, I'm holding the camera and I see a game. Scott, stupid Scott, picks up a game. It's Kool Aid Man boxed on in television. But I, I can't get to it because I'm holding the camera. Billy wants it for 15, <laughs> but he's not holding it, so. Should I be that guy? Let me see it. Let me see it. I don't trust you. Let me see the game. You shouldn't trust me. I'm from Texas. Give me the exactly. game. Exactly. <laughs> Sense. Yeah, I heard you guys drove up here. Yeah, we did. So this is a no-brainer to me. I love Intellivision. I know he doesn't collect Intellivision games, so this thing is mine. Oh yeah! Oh yeah! 
Uh, it's Kool Aid Man. I knew I had to have it. He also had to have this. Unfortunately, he was walking on ice and got caught slipping. Hey, Billy. It's not, okay, look, it's not walking on ice when you're fing blocking me out like like a basketball, like, like a new bowl. How am I gonna block this big Neanderthal? That's like King Kong getting blocked because by Because your New York goes like two feet on the other side like this. I think it's actually my it's like love a handle. There's a ton of games here. I mean, I would venture to say even too many games, perhaps. That's cool. I played the hell out of this game when I was a kid. It was on the Atari ST. Hey, I'm gonna take $80. $80 for now, for me. Three for 10. Oh, oh. How many you got? One, two, five, Can I count them? Okay. So I'm over here taking advantage of this three for 10 deal. A couple of highlights for me were one, Popeye. Mine, for whatever reason, won't work on my console. So I picked up a replacement for, you know, $3.33. Three, three for 10 is a good deal, especially at a convention. There ain't no 9 for 25, though. There ain't no 9 for 25, you're right. So we're walking the floor, somebody taps me on the shoulder and says, hey, I got some video games in my trunk out in the parking lot, you wanna go look? That sounds shady as balls, but I'm in, let's go. Of course I wanna go look. What do you think I am? This is in the box, but it's just this and the box. You're looking at the games, aren't you? Yeah, there's not, I mean, <laughs> Donkey Kong Jr., I think, uh, uh, I think I have Donkey Kong Jr. I do too. If it was Donkey Kong Jr. Mass, so I would. Piece. Now he has a box here, some pretty decent stuff. I have most of it. However, what I don't have. And bases loaded for probably the only oh. rares. Uh, I need that. There you go. Merry Christmas. The only bases loaded I don't have. Now, bases loaded for, believe it or not, even for a baseball game, a sports game, it's pretty hard to find on the NES. What are you, what are you asking on it? Make me an offer. Usually around 20 or so bucks. Um, don't know if I want to spend that type of money on a sports game. I don't know. Five bucks. So, so, so. Bases Loaded 4 is definitely never below five bucks. So I'll take it for five bucks. I play Dynamite Heady. I don't have it though. Dynamite Heady is very, very good. I'm also looking at Dynamite Heady on the Sega Genesis. Now this is a game I've never had, never owned, never played as a kid. I did play it on the Sega Genesis collections on PS3 and it was really cool. It's weird, like graphically, that's one of the best games on a Genesis. What do you ask about? It's gonna be five bucks. Five bucks? Five bucks for a complete Dynamite Hattie? Hey, sign me up for that. I'll take that. Thanks here. Twin Cobra. Oh, this is a shooter. This kind of looks like kind of Tiger Heli. So I'm looking in it again, and I see a Twin Cobra. Twin Cobra is a shooter on the Sega Genesis. Sega Genesis had some really good shooters. Actually, a lot better shooters than the Super Nintendo did. I will give it credit for that. Do you like three on that? Yeah. I mean, a shooter on the Genesis for three bucks? Your mom's three bucks. Your mom's three bucks, so. Who's a foot? Where's the dongo? <laughs> the dongo's off fucking stone somewhere. And your, your brother pretty much is like constantly being told by all the people at Home Depot that he can't do shit. So here I am, Alpha Mega Sin, cameraman extraordinaire. Jay, ask us a question. Um, <coughs> what the f*** are you even talking about? Like, I'm even getting... Seriously? Like, what y'all even know. talking about, y'all? Yeah, yeah. What y'all like talking about? That's how you say it. What y'all talking about? What y'all talking about? You did say y'all. I wanted to help you finish your Dinobot collection so Melbar could be jealous. So I got you swoop. This is the only one I'm missing. You sure you want to give this to me? I got an extra, so. Okay. I went out of my way to get that for you. Really? It took me a while to actually find that. Because nobody wants to get rid of it now because of the movie with all the Dinobots in it. I think swoop was one of my favorites as a kid. I, I had Grimlock and uh, swoop. Billy gets it for free, like a freaking chode. And I got this for you. You're really hard to figure out what to get for. I knew you had a Teddy Ruxman. I do have a Teddy Ruxman. So I figured I'd get you the uh, the grubby that you can hook up to him. You need the wire, but he works. I had him Both plugged into mine. Nice. He works perfectly. He reads along and everything. Has the battery cover. He did, however, bring the awesome me uh, a grubby. Now, if you don't know, grubby was in the Teddy Ruxman line. Dude, really appreciate it. Yeah, no problem, guys. Thanks for everything. Thanks a lot. Yeah. Good. I don't buy collections. Complete now. Except Sludge is missing a leg, but other than that, it's complete. Uh, so I can 
link my grubby and my Teddy Ruxpin together and they can sit there and talk and have a conversation. That sounds like a video to me. <laughs> Let's make a video on okay. it. Okay. Let's make a video on it. <laughs> Look at this. I'm already blown up. <laughs> My friend, I have repressed anger from because you opened my toothpaste when in Canada you ripped it open, He's unscrewed it, and went. He's mad about that. What's mad about what's bullshit about that? When you lick his nipples, you took my property without even asking. Dude, that's dude cool. I needed to fucking clean my mouth. What kind of a man does that? Ape and Eric does that. Ape and Eric. It's time to go explore Philadelphia a little bit. I like to go sightseeing, especially if I've never been there. We want to go to the Rocky Steps. Why do we want to go to the Rocky Steps? Why the hell not? Rocky was filmed there. Rocky ran him. That's where he runs up the top, throws his arms up, and he's a badass. There's still more fuckers! Oh, shit! <laughs> Stupid, clumsy Billy misstep <laughs> and broke his Achilles tendon. Billy, Billy had no idea that he tore his Achilles. Uh, he could still walk. Nobody thought anything of it. So he's like, ah, screw it, I'll tough it out. And I'm gonna have to get through the rest of this convention with a limp. Uh, that's the way game chasing go. See, now we are following the game chasers in the wild, chasing them, as they say as they wander through this hollowed holes of nerddom, seeking the rarest of the rare. So it's the next day here of too many games. Right now they are wandering past the food court, which has no Nintendo systems. I believe they are quite lost. One of the vendors here is called 8-Bit Evolution. It's a stack of dollar games. Somehow I wound up with the stack first and unfortunately I have all of them. I'm all about dollar games. I, I think I have all of them. I think I have all of these. I, do, I have every single one of them. Let, let me check this one. Go ahead. I'm gonna let everyone else finger a pile of dollar games here. You're just getting caught slipping. That's what's happening. How do you get caught slipping? You're in the back of the line. <laughs> you sound like Eric now. <laughs> oh. Oh. You son of a bitch. You like that? No. I already have all these games, so I guess I cut all y'all slipping. Whatever. Yeah, I, you know what? Fuck it. When everybody else says I got caught slipping, it's fact. I'm gonna say the game chasers got caught slipping. Awesome. Uh, just, just the boxes. Now he's also selling some boxes here that he, apparently he just doesn't need or doesn't want. One of them is low, low two. Uh, that's a little rough. rough. That's a rough. Oh, five bucks. I'll give you five for it. You're not gonna take it. <laughs> well, I'm you have it in your hand. hand. I'll take five. <laughs> for five dollars, even though it's got this little rip on the front. I'll totally take that. What'd you say on that 25? I don't know if you ever tried it. No. I've heard about it though. It's Super Mario World Return to Dinosaur Land. I am huge on Super Mario World. One of my favorite games. Sure. You know what this is? I it's a, um, it's Super Mario World, but somebody took the hack, I heard about it, rearranged it. Yeah. Usually I don't do stuff like this, but I heard it was freaking awesome. Oh, I heard, yeah, yeah. I heard about it. It's almost like it's an entirely new game, which is cool, because it'd be like I'm playing Super Mario World for the very first time, which is an experience that I wish I could do, but I don't have a time machine. This is the next best thing, so I'm definitely in on this. I knew I had to have it. Chris is a good friend of mine, cut man. Yeah. So he texts me a picture of Luffy and one because he knows I'm looking for that. And I'm like, where'd you find this? And he's just like, ha ha, come over to my place later. I come over. Sounds like he wants to have sex with you. I know, so I totally did. That's exactly what happened, Eric. No. So I go over there, he's got them all like laid out. It's like Demon's Quest, yeah, Ogre Battle. So I just got word that DJ Cutman is apparently selling some games. Well, so those, all those are at the booth? He's got at, at the booth right now. He's had him back for the whole time. I told him, you sell that Demon's Crest, and kill you. All right. No, no, seriously, look at this. Stop and look at this. So I've been filtered three. It's a good game, actually. What? <laughs> so we're going to mosey on over there and try to swindle him. 
He doesn't really know the prices, so we're not gonna f with him. All right? Just keep we'll it. be fair. How are you gonna tell me this? <laughs> At this point in the convention, I'm kind of running on the empty in terms of funds. You can tell them what I paid. You know what I mean? Are you telling people how much your paint costs? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, I do actually. <laughs> this is definitely the most intense part of my weekend. <laughs> and I was DJing with four other guys last night. Amazing games. Uh, have most of them. I do see King of Dragons. Now I need this game. It's kind of like Rides of the Round, but better. There's like 23, 24 levels in that game. I need it. Um, and. It, it's, it, I don't ever I don't find it anywhere. I never see it anywhere. What, what would you do on that? It's worth about 50. King of Dragons by Capcom. Uh, let me look it up. Who do you want to pay for that? <laughs> He's going to offer you $2. Well, then, then the conversation will be over. <laughs> I'll say 15 So we're not going to f*** All right? Like, I'd get it if, it if it was 15 that, That's just me personally. with any of this stuff for $15. What? You, got, you have you have games well, less than yeah, this one. You want this one for fifteen dollars? Nah, I'd give you yeah. two bucks for that. I really shouldn't spend more than twenty right now. I would be willing to go th th up to twenty. That's not me lowballing. That's just me being not wanting to spend the money. Okay, I'm a, I'm a cheapskate. Yeah, the everybody, one of our attendees awesome has a bag. Well, he says yes on the twenty. So now I have King of Dragons. This is awesome. It's in good shape, right? It's like an old friend, and he was like, I'm just throwing away everything. It's fun to see them haggle. Oh, of course. It's fun to see you guys in action haggling because you know what? You guys are. so so much better at it than I am. Finally, finally have Demon's Crest. I love this game so much. Oh, look at me. <laughs> what is that? Milk shooting out of your <laughs> <laughs>It's late, the convention's coming to a close, and it's been a lot of fun out here. The convention was great. Good vendors with good selection and good pricing out here. It was a really fun convention. You know, got paneled, um, saw some panels, got some games, saw some games, played some games, had fun with friends. It was really cool. It's a community that, for the most part, looks out for its own and looks, it looks out for each other. It's a good. Sunday and we're gonna apparently head off to a video game store that's supposed to be pretty good. Like like right now if my heart's telling me to take my pants off. Just hope my ankle holds up. Well, I'm a floating head, huh? Man, Ryan can't drive worth the fuck, dude. That's Ryan's body double. That's that's a stunt double oh. that's driving right now. Who is that guy anyway? I don't know, but he farts bad. <laughs> He looks like far worse than us, dude. Doesn't he look? <laughs> no, that's bad. We are heading out to a classic game junkie. And they were just at the convention all weekend. Can I claim a Samson? Well, yeah, we're here. We have I mean, one. It's hypothetical. OK, if I see a wacky, wacky races, it's mine. Bubble Bubble 2. <sighs> um, got that. We met Frankie, the owner at Too Many Games. Awesome dude. He, he wanted us to come and check out his store in Philly. Now, unfortunately, I'm not doing too well. Last night, we went and visited Philly, ran up the rocky steps. I ripped my Achilles. It's torn, but I'm at the point right now that a doctor visit really isn't going to do me much good. So I'm just going to have to fight through it. He looks like he took a shit and he's trying to like get to the bathroom and clean it up. Can't walk a flight of steps. He's like a Bigfoot. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, dude, I saw the Game Chasers in there. I was like, it'd be fantastic if they came to my shop, you know? Everyone and their mother's here with us today. I mean, it's literally, I think, half the convention following us out to a classic game junkie. There's going to be a lot of people here, and there's going to be some potential for some slipping. The three of us, we have this pact where when we go into a store, we get permission to film, we set up. You're not supposed to be looking around. Right now, everyone's in there looking around. Look at these guys. Look at these turn guys. around, turn around. Look. Trying to catch a slipping. We have an ace up our sleeves. But here's the plan, because they're so impatient, okay, there's a basement down here that none of them know about. We're going to go in the basement and not tell anybody until we're done. Circle oh of trust? Circle of trust. Circle of trust. Go Deal. team. Go team. One, go two, three, team. team. That was horrible. And we're going to do it covert, like very sneaky style, because, well, because fuck them. We're hoping that the rest of our group aren't really bright enough to pick up on the fact that we suddenly disappeared even though this store is only like one small room. Lights are huge. 
Yeah. You need to just have the whole tune happen after that. But it changes. You can make it anything you want. You do the, the, the whole thing it does, and then it needs to do the banana, 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 banana. You gotta creep people out. Do I feel shady? Nah, I feel in my element right now. <laughs> Yeah, I'm good. We got permission from the owner to go down there. We just didn't tell everyone else we were going down there. <laughs> well, you know, usually we don't let people go into the basement because I don't want people rooting around in our stuff, especially since I only know about half of what's down there. It just keeps accumulating. But these guys got so excited that I knew they weren't gonna fucking rip me off. Hey, I already caught you slipping. Ari, <laughs> 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 I already have the damn thing. That's crazy. Man, there is tons and tons and tons of stuff in here. I guess it's kind of creepy looking. I hope there's no shadow people down here. <laughs> oh, shit. Maybe I should find some dog bone controllers, dude. A lot of common stuff, a lot of overstock. There's a lot of obscure stuff down here, too. Odyssey, too. It's a maybe. It's a maybe? I think that might be in my maybe pile. I'm beginning to think that there is one of each video game console created within this basement right now. You don't need Intellivoice? Turbo Graphics? Just a random Turbo Graphics? Yeah. Huh? Intellivoice? No one? We are down here. No one knows where we're at. I'm sure at some point people are going to be like, yo, where's Billy and Jay? Everyone's telling me that, you know, the Chaser's here, Billy's here, Jay's here, Eric's here, but I don't see them. So I'm looking around wondering where the hell Billy and Jay ran off to. And then I realized literally the first time I met them, they were completely naked. Did you tell them that kayfabe coming down here? What? Did you tell Frank and... His... No, I didn't tell anybody we were coming Frank down Frank knows here. we're down here. Well, what about that girl? The 3 do A Jaguar. Dude, Jaguar. Okay. There are some things that I didn't even know existed down here. Oh. What's this? Hey, 3DO, Billy? No, I got one. That's the, the one I found in Antique Alley. Is this another 3DO or is this? So I run across a console here that I'm honestly not too sure what it is. I mean, I don't know everything there is to know about video games. No, dude, look, it plays cartridge right there, it plays disc right here. But what's the cartridge? It looks like Genesis. Okay. Look, look at the controller ports. It's Genesis. An XI, man. It's a Sega CD and a Genesis. Look. We're not experts on shit. We don't claim to be experts at shit. And we give no fucks. So we pretty much do what we want. Stupid game chasers. Oh, for real? Yeah. Oh. My. It's in my hand. You gave it. It was in mine first. This? I yeah. handed it to you. Yeah, and then I didn't know what it was. Okay, are, are you a player on that? Yeah. Not you. I'm talking to him. Let's see how much it is. So to put it in your baby pile. I heard Pat wants one of these. Fuck Pat. Well, then it's mine, for sure. Maybe pile. Okay, look. Oh, I, wait, 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 listen. You're down here. If you tell anyone else I'm down here, we're gonna have to beat you down. So you can't leave this area. You're stuck down here now. I hate the fact that these guys didn't tell me that they were going to the basement. This is like a video game graveyard. Look, show shame. Oh, wow. What was CD that doing? Genesis, like? right? Yeah. That's Sega Genesis and Sega CD. It's an XI. It's the system I've been looking for for like five years back where I'm from. That's a hard to find rare console, man. Mine. Mine. Jay's claiming it. Oh. Fuck Jay. It's Jay's. I, I this place is 2600, right? Yeah. So we're going to put Shane in our little circle of trust here. Kind of because we have no choice. <laughs> <laughs> He's actually one of the more intelligent ones out of us. Uh, he has morals. He actually wants to go somewhere with his life. I have no idea what the hell he's talking about. I don't know about you guys, but I didn't agree to any circle of trust. Really? <laughs> I don't think I did. What the fuck? Complete virtual boy, anyone? I'll fuck hit you so hard that your mom's gonna fucking have an odyssey too. Yeah, but you'll slip on the way. Black bass. Oh, son of a bitch. <laughs> right. A wild alpha mega sin appears. I noticed that there is a lot of missing Billy and missing Jay and missing Eric, and that means that I'm missing something. I think people are starting to ask questions and ask where the hell we've been. 
Don't tell anyone else we're down here. It's a circle of trust right now. No, absolutely. This motherfucker is probably all huddled up and like, all right, here's our plan. We're gonna go downstairs and not tell anyone. Run, 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 Alpha Mega said, run, 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 run. No one needs a CDI, really? I don't have one, but I don't want one. CD's nuts! Are they even looking through these boxes? No, they haven't. If you're gonna invite us into your store, expect us to literally go through every crack and crevice. I'm not handing it to you, I'm moving it to the side. So... Okay, my hands were on it first, y'all saw it. There's so much stuff, it's like you don't know what you want to get. I'm slow. <laughs> yes, sir, uh, I don't um, want it now. Oh, look at me, I'm ready, I'm small. No, I'm from I, Philly. I'm going to give you the history of the whole town. Actually. So Frankie has an XI upstairs. He's asking 120 bucks. He said the one upstairs goes, is going 120. He said he knows it works. He said he's pretty confident that he knows that one works too, but it's untested. He's like, I'll test it. I'd rather assume the risk just to get it cheaper. 120 is a lot. I know. That's basically like, just go get it anywhere. Um, we're going to pass on it because basically it's going to kill our budget for any kind of video games. A television too? I have one of those. If you're looking for one with good action, I'd hold on to that one. It's missing a controller. You ran on it? Anyone? Trackball? No? Actually, yeah. What's he want for that typically? Oh, yeah. At this point, the jig is up. Pretty much everyone's down here. Everyone has discovered where we've gone or where we've been. First reaction going into the basement is, thank God I'm up on my tetanus shots. Well, I guess our circle of trust is now like 10 people in it. Uh, that's the way game chasing go. Oh, boss! Are you serious? Are you okay? I'm fine. Okay. This is not the best area for me to be in right now. <laughs> Dude, <laughs> Billy just Wait. tore my shoulder out. Oh, you, now you'll you be okay. Off. I don't know. It. Why don't I hold yeah, your stuff for you? Well, you, you can go walk that off. Oh, oh thank you. I appreciate it. Let's go get you a, let's get wow. you a glass of water. How does this even happen? Did someone just take a bite out of it? I was hungry, okay? Yeah. It's mostly systems down here, but I see a game that I don't have. That's one 20, 20th Century Fox game I do not have. There's still chaos. Yeah. I have Alien. Yeah, I have Alien too. It's basically a 3D adventure game. But you gotta really, really use your imagination, of course, because of, it's 2600. That's just an Intelli voice. You put it into the television, and, and then it goes yeah. B17 bomber. There's only like two yeah, games bomber. that work for it. It's a B17 bomber and bomb squad. The first gaming console I ever had, true story, was an Intellivision, which we played so much as a kid we actually wore the wires out of the controllers. We had the we had the voice synthesis module, um, and we had I think there was only two games for it, but we had B17 Bomber and uh, uh, Bomb Squad. As you can clearly see, I love this show. I like that behind the ear. Here's something. Does anybody know what the f this cartridge is? Schmegma. Turbo graphics game. That's uh, TI99. What the f is a Texas Instrument Alien Texas Edition? No, that's yeah, generic. no, that's a no, Billy. Who? That's a no, Billy who? Game Chaser fart. That is oh, a man. Billy fart. Okay, you fart down here. It's gonna be like filling yeah, up. Yeah, you you, you do under. <laughs> do it, 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 spit it out. <laughs> the canary is gonna be dead in the cage. <laughs> Dude, that's a rowdy fart. fart. <laughs> now it's laughing gas. <laughs> <laughs> you. <are cute. laughs> Why would you do that? Why, why would you do that? It's not easy being our cameraman, is it? This is fu I need fucking combat pay for this assignment. <laughs> this is what digging deep for good deals is all do, about. Do you have a new respect for MC and fucking Dodongo? No. <laughs> this is my baby pile. This is part of my there baby pile. There you pile. go. But all these consoles that we pulled out thinking we were in here. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know. I mean, I have a maybe pile here. I have some stuff that I'm interested in, but at the same time, there's a game upstairs in that case that I know I want. The Odyssey speaking module. Billy, dude, dude. dude. I'm good, I'm good. This is the uneven floor. Oh, man. <laughs> I've seen these guys have followed them around a convention, and these chump stains, chump. chump stains right here, have thoroughly disappointed me in the one area of gaming I happen to be an expert in. You know what that is? PC gaming. I don't even think they've looked once at the PC game rack. The only gaming, in fact, that matters. PC games rule all, and they always have. You guys <laughs> don't know sh And me? That's why I do what I do, and these guys hey, Walter are Cronkite. down here. You're not hey. saying anything no one already knows. We don't you know, know 
it. You You're don't right. know it. <laughs> Y'all don't know what it is. There's Foodies Wrestling Challenge. I mean, during the console wars, everyone always talks about the Sega Genesis and the Nintendo. But there was a third party, the PCs, which were always more powerful and they had by far better games. You're down here in this <laughs> balls dripping basement. <laughs> They were better then, and they're better now. I'm up there in the convenience of air-conditioned comfort, looking in this bargain bin, buying all these nice CDs with great games. The thing is that we don't really care that we don't know shit about PC gaming. How do they even... Hey, here's the thing, because you're actually down in, you're, you're down in the ball dripping know. basement with us right now. Only to tell you what f***ing losers <laughs> you are. <laughs> Bye! Woo! There you have it. <laughs> Woo! Thank you very much. So pretty much uh, we're tired of having swamp ass down here in the basement. So we're gonna go upstairs where it's a little bit cooler. Remember when I found the Luigi's Mansion that was in the, uh, was Animal, the Crossing. Animal Crossing Oh, yeah. now there's the case. Yeah. So I'm gonna try to get I'm the case for cheap. Today I'm basically just grabbing any NES games I don't have. And what do you know? One of the games I was looking for, Baby Boomer, is in this drawer. What, what is that? Nothing, Billy. Eric? I need Baby Boomer, and that's why I'm not really saying much, because I'm trying, trying to keep my cool, keep the three C's going right here. I mean, it's in terrible condition. Yeah, it is. It's kind of. It's not beautiful. I no, I'm that. telling you, you don't want it. It's in terrible condition. Oh no! Condition. Uh, yeah, I'm gonna fall for that. <laughs> <laughs> I finally got that son of a bitch. Beat the fucking living crud out of this. Eric, fucking Scott rolled you up earlier. You think the rest of us can't fucking do it? I'll, I don't care. I'll get one fucking handed. I, I can't really say anything. It's a good find. He caught me slipping on it. It was right underneath my nose. <laughs> Fuck you. Hey, you don't want that baby boomer, man. It's in fucking wretched condition. It's fucking horrid looking, but it's I'm gonna terrible fucking, condition. I'm gonna fucking figure something out, man. This is gonna be the day where I shine. Oh, so you don't even know where to look. You think so? Hey, I'm good. Let them fight over there. I have Baby Boomer. Baby Boomer's kind of cool. You you you, you get shoot the baby, or you, well, you don't shoot the baby. You shoot the objects around the baby in order for the baby to get safely where it's going. In order for the in order for the baby to get safely where it's going. As soon as I saw Scat and Baby Boomer. I knew I had to catch Jay slipping. Did you catch him slipping on that? Yeah, I did. And he finds scat, but I got scat. So that's cool. We can have scat. Shades. <laughs> 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 Billy, hand me those two games, please, sir. Everyone's finding uncommon stuff, me included. <laughs> okay, keep doing it. <laughs> Found a little stunt kids here. And Romance of the Three Kingdoms 2. Uncommon game, and Jay needs it, so he's picking it up. Sierra Jones in the fast lane, cult classic. Uncommon oh, game. Just got the manual. Oh. Uh, Another game I'm seeing right here on the shelf is Midnight Resistance on the Sega Genesis. Uh, I'm drawn to this game in particular, just from the back of the uh, box here, because it looks like Contra. How much is it? Let's see what the average is. It's 16. Is that a pretty good boot price? I don't know, because I was just like, what's Midnight Resistance? And I looked on the back end, it looks like Contra. I mean, it looks okay, judging from the pretty little pictures here. It looks, it looks in the information down here, it looks, it's, but I, I don't know anything about it because I've never played it. I think we'll get this. Looks interesting. Okay, so between me, Billy, and Eric, we have a little budget here. We're 305 with everything we have right now. Yes, sir. I want to take one more sweep of the store because I really, yeah. honestly, have not had a chance to really sweep the look store. Up Nobody's done it in a freaking week. It looks like it. <laughs> and we sweep it? If we, act, if we literally sweep it? Get <laughs> no, I'm with him. Can we get you literally, literally sweep my sweep. cooler, we'll go right down to 300. I'll get you the, the, the really ghetto broom, too. We got a lot of shit here. Pulling the old bundle routine, because individually this stuff would, you know, probably be way more than what we're going to spend on it here. Bitch. I know, I'll take some. No, I'm just asking how much. Just those comments. I'll let you have some, whatever you want. No, don't say just those. I'll pay you back, dude. I'll give you 20. I don't care, I mean, if we're at, we're at, we're at, I'm not, I'm not getting anything. That motherfucker owes me, dude. That mother, you know what? I know that motherfucker owes me games that I've never collected on. Fucking chode, fuck. I guess dignity is out of the window this season. Hey, I'm waking you. It. It. And 8-Bit Eric is going to do his Hispanic domestication abilities. What are you thinking? I'm thinking, what did you charge me on the uh, ColecoVision controller and, and adapter? 
The two ColecoVision controllers and adapters were at 25. I'm going to take the ColecoVision controllers out of this. So where are we at? 280 was where we ended off. 280. All right, so I've had my eye on a game this entire time that I knew that I wanted to try to get. So we're at 280? Yes. Is there anything else? I think we can get a little more for our money here. Now, if I can get this game for cheap, er. How long have you had that Lords of Thunder in here? Probably about two weeks. TurboGrafx 16 was not even on my radar uh, growing up in gaming, but I've actually grown very attached to it recently. It's highly sought after, very pricey, and I'm a sucker for shooters. What's the lowest you'd go on it? What's it say? I want it. 129. 110. What about 90? Don't want to go under 100 bucks. What about 100 then? Yeah, 100 bucks. <laughs> <laughs> I don't like spending this much money on a game. I, it ha I have to be able to bundle it with what we already have. Are we firm on the 280 on this? Do I want to take some of the stuff that I have in this pile that we've got here to make room for the Lords of Thunder. 260 bottom dollar. 260. Eat, eat a dick if you don't like it. <laughs> <laughs> well, okay, hang on. Pull it out. <laughs> there you go. He's going to eat it. Fuck that. <laughs> I'd be comfortable with 350 for all of it. 350, all this, and the game, because you came down to 100 on that, right? So, just another 10 bucks. I already have it on the computer at that, so we're already done. Yeah, I was, I was already prepared for that. All right, that's wow. exactly where I wanted to be. Wow, good to <laughs> Perfect. <laughs> so who won? Um, I think we both did because oh. we're happy paying it and you're happy taking it. So there we go. So 350 for the entire bundle. <laughs> a big portion of this is stupid Eric's. I think Eric made out like a fat rat on this one. I officially reached over 500 NES games today. <laughs> and let me guess. 500 games, I got 505, slipping. <laughs> Meeting the fucking game chasers was an exercise in frustration and entertainment, okay? Knowing Billy and Jay made me feel a lot better about myself. I mean, I, I thought I was a man child and then I met these two. Dude, the, the best places we've ever been have always been the places where we can just dig stuff. Classic Game Junkie was pretty amazing. All right, there you go. Hey, uh, we're actually seriously having a great night. I hope you guys come back, right? Oh, we will, for sure. Uh, he said there's oh, a for sure. The store itself, is has almost a spirit to it. It's a lot of a lot of vintage memories. If you don't want your games clean before you leave, which is the rule here, you can eat a dick. Frankie's one of those dudes that like you know, you start talking to him and he's like you're instant friends with the dude. So um, I know that if I lived in Philadelphia, I'd probably be at this place every day. I bet he's a good snuggler. It was really weird watching these chodes pick through these mountains of plastic equipment and toys and games. It was it was like watching them monkeys look through an elephant graveyard for shiny objects. They were just barely comprehending what they were finding. This guy's awesome. Yeah, one of the best stores in Philly. I haven't been to many, but starting off good. No, I, I like it a lot. Like all the stuff I got here. I come back. Troll, go ahead. Put in the comments. Jay's a chode. Put it. Go ahead. And really, that was the tale of the night, was uh, watching Billy and Jay just go into a really, really prolonged haggling session for the better part of about an hour and a half over every individual item uh, with this guy. Uh, that was an experience. Um, <laughs> hey, I thought it was awesome that we got to go into a video game dungeon and then got, got to go exploring, even though some spelunking mother didn't go and invite a certain individual. Hey, call the spelunkers. Uh, 